let's go. It's gonna take a little bit for people to get in here. I gotta post it on, you know, post the community tab, all that good stuff. So I will give that, give the link to you guys if you guys wanna do anything with it in a second. Um, let's see, you guys, if you guys, let's get in here. All right, I'm dropping it in the group chat. Whoop. Yep, 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 yep. Um, I'm gonna let people get in here and then, I mean, I feel like the title is pretty self-explanatory, just ranking JJK character designs, but you never know, you never know. Um, so we'll, we'll get into it in a second. Um, are there any characters just while we're, just while we're waffling for a little bit, you guys are, you know, good or bad, excited to talk about character design wise in any capacity? Um, <laughs> yeah, there's a character in particular that I think I'm actually really excited to talk about. And that is, um, the first finger bearer curse <laughs> oh, because, <man. laughs> you know, that would, well, I won't, ex I won't spoil yeah. too much on why I like it, but I, I think that character is really interesting yeah okay 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 sounds good sounds good uh what's up what's up chat what's up chat how you doing justin leo creams what are what's up with y'all what's up with y'all creams want to be mod that's crazy blue wrench <laughs> <laughs> bro think you getting mod in here that's insane <laughs> i don't don't think i forgot what you said about shoko i saw what you said on twitter creams uh i'm not letting that slide um, I might have to agree with what Cream said on Twitter about Shoko. Jesus. Oh, yeah. I'm Okay. All right, bro. That's insane. You, you know what? No, nah, that's hurtful because you know how I feel about Shoko, though. Because Cream, he just came from a place of ignorance, right? He didn't understand you. I, feel like I don't know how you feel about the character. We've, we've talked about Shoko on stream. What do you mean? <laughs> bro, I must listen. have blocked it out. That's crazy. That's insane. Okay. All righty. All righty. All righty. All righty. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? What's what's today? Sunday? How y'all doing today? Everybody, chat included. Oh, what's up, Cloak? What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up? You're of course you're a mod, Cloak. You're the homie. <laughs> um, but yeah. So today's stream uh is going to be uh me, uh Tessero. You guys may know him from a couple of other streams. He's he's been on here pretty consistently. He's part of the you know one one of the homies as uh, unintelligent as he may be uh, you can say what's up real quick yo what's up chat <laughs> so yeah me tesoro and then live harder uh if you guys follow the podcast at all um you would probably know her she's a mod over there pretty big help she made this stream's thumbnail makes a bunch of other thumbnails and she do be making videos now so you know yo so i'm the kogane yep 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 she has an interesting uh obsession with Kogane as well, so. Uh, Listen, Kogane is gonna save us all. That's that's all that is. Yeah, so, you know, you guys can understand that. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be here as a, as a trio, ranking these characters, ranking JJK characters based off of, or based on their designs. Um, so, no power, fortunately. Uh, no, you know, no, not necessarily their, their character, how good they are within the series. Um, but just how they look, does their design fit them well? Do they look good for some of these characters? All the different kind of stuff going to go into it. So that's going to be, uh, that is going to be the trajectory of the stream. And we got quite a few people to get through here. I think we got like a hundred different ones. Some of these guys are just going to be minor. So, you know, you know. And when we say people, we're not just talking people. The curses are on the list too. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Uh, curses, some, some curse spirits are on this list, right? Uh, curse spirits deserve to get ranked up here too. So that will be, uh, you know, th that'll be fun. I think there are going to be some some interesting discussions here. Uh, so I think if you guys are ready, if you guys, you know, want to start off, we can, we can go uh, with Angel. Angel is the first one that I have up here for me. Do you guys have specific opinions on her, on her character design in any capacity? What y'all thinking? Um, you know, I feel like her character design d design goes like, uh, there's not really, how do I say this? It, it feels very angelic and doesn't, I don't know. <laughs> bro, I don't, bro said angel is angelic. W, so she, w articulation, uh, bro. Um, <laughs> no, okay, continue. Sorry, 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 sorry. Continue, continue. I, 
I don't really know how to. I guess what I was expecting from a character named Angel, created by Gay Gay, was not to be angelic or mm-hmm. nice or gentle or anything like that. I was mm-hmm. expecting the exact opposite. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. But I guess her her design for the most part is pretty is pretty cool. I like the little curls in her hair and the wings. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Pretty dope. Got you, got you, got you. Okay, okay. Oh, what 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 uh what tier would you say you'd put her in just off of a you know a gut reaction? Gut reaction, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm. Wings are pretty cool. <laughs> uh, so I'd probably say B for B now. Team. Yeah. Got you. Okay. Okay. Liv, Liv, you you agree? You got any different you, different things you want to add on that? She needs to work on how she wears her oversized sweaters. Um, it's a little bit frumpy to me. <laughs> the oversized halo is cool though. I mean, that is a giant halo. Uh, not a huge fan of the boots, to be honest. <laughs> I'd put her in C. Jeez. Okay. C tier. C tier for Angel. You don't, you're not liking the fit then? Is that is that what it is? Like it's mostly a like a, a fit check type of thing. Yeah, it's a fit check. Um, the bob cut is fine. I mean, that kind of works for everybody with a bob cut in the series. But yeah, the frumpiness don't work for me. The frumpiness does not work. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> the fr- <laughs> the frumpiness. Okay, that okay. That's a that's a new word. I'm gonna add that to my vocabulary actually. Um. I'm cool with I'm cool with sitting at like at like C C for now. Maybe maybe if we see relative to some other characters, maybe she'll move up. Because I think JJK got some ugly motherfuckers in here, so we'll see. Um, I uh I I think her being kind of like average, her being average so far is okay. Uh, to follow up with somebody that may not be so average, we have Awasaka, and I, I want to start off this one. This guy is ugly. This is just an ugly dude. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, where'd Luigi go? Don't yeah, he's he's pretty ugly. He's he's gross looking, man. I gotta say he's gross. He's just a, he's just a gross. He, he's just a gross looking oh, dude, man. He just looks ugly gross. in the he looks like face. A, but... <laughs> he's like I don't know. He works at a circus. That's what he looks like. Works at a he circus, does look huh? like that. He gives uh-huh. those vibes off. Hmm. Okay. Okay. What are you guys thinking then? Definitely ugly as fuck. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Any any disagreement for you for uh, on that one, Liv? I think Angel and him could probably share clothes, so you can probably put them right next to each other. Right Ain't next no to way. Angel is crazy. The <laughs> frumpiness is doing that much. It's a problem. How are you gonna fly if your sweater is getting caught on everything? Hmm. <laughs> Jesus, like, I feel like what you good are the wings with Angel? I'm not gonna lie to you because I'm like. Listen. I feel the same way about Yuji not tying his shoes, to be honest. Don't talk about Yuji. <laughs> Does Yuji not ever tie his man. shoes? Nah. Nah. That's nah, kind of stupid. I'm not going to lie to you. But, you yeah. um, know. I mean, he can still hacky sack a flashbang pretty well. Yeah, he sure can. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I was like a, I was like a doobie looking kind of. I don't know. I don't know. I can compromise and put him in D tier, maybe. But in the same tier as Angel, I think is 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 wild. Same tier. But here's my Angel. thing: is like there are a lot uglier motherfuckers on this list than just Awasaka. For sure, for sure. That you know, it it do be. It do are be. there? Yeah. Well, you gonna put people... Awasaka next to the smallpox curse? Well, I don't think the smallpox curse is attractive, so <laughs> I, I, I would I would rank that thing on different standards. Mm, gotcha. Yeah, the, you you did mention like the curse standards might, are, are slightly different than 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 the ones we have for human ones. I don't know. I I feel like D tier is fine because you're right. I was like, it is not the ugliest person that we're gonna have on here. Um, but he he don't he don't be looking great. He don't be looking great. Um, and uh, and and Shad, just to clarify, because I see some see some confusion in here. Uh, for, like, characters, for, like, the human characters, the ones that I think are, like, <laughs> like, for example, when we're looking at, like, I don't know, like, the adult characters, like, Awasaka, I don't know, Naoya, just people that we know that are, like, older and just humans, it's like, yeah, we're gonna be ranking them based on how attractive they are, but, like, other people, like, the curses especially, I think Gege didn't make the smallpox deity try to look attractive, like Tessera mentioned, so... 
we're going to be ranking it on slightly different standards, just to let you guys know. Now, next up, we got Charles. And I feel like Charles in my head ends up being uglier than he actually looks just because of his, like, attitude towards Akari initially in their first fight. He just, like, the him being such a a loser, to be honest with you, it do be, it do be making me, like, warp his actual facial features in my head. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, <laughs> I, I'd be, I'd be thinking about, I look at, I look at his image, right? I look, I look at how he looks in the manga. I'm like, yeah, that's not bad. But as soon as I like picture him, I'm just like, nah, this guy's a loser. I don't know. What do you guys think about Charles? Uh, his hair is a, is a mess. I, <laughs> he has like four different hairstyles going on <laughs> in one hairstyle. Like half of his bangs are pushed backwards and it looks like for the like sides in the back of his hair, he used his pin to like give himself a an edge up. <laughs> he like really messed himself up. He's really he just got hair grown in different directions all over his head. Yeah. yeah. And that's an L in my opinion. <laughs> all right, all right. So you think like like in the Awasaka did we put him in D tier, you think? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, probably not Awasaka level because I feel like if Charles like fixed his hair, mm-hmm. um, he'd probably be like pretty average looking. Mm-hmm. So I'll give him that much, but yeah. I don't know. Like he woke up on the wrong side of the bed for all of his <laughs> life, I guess. <laughs> okay, okay, fair, 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 fair. All right, all right then. Let's take a look at, at one. I think I think we finally got one that I I think we can agree is, is going to be high rope. We got Shoso. What? Is the consensus on show? So I know you guys are both uh both uh Choso fans, both enjoy enjoy the character a lot. So I'll, I'll defer to you guys on this one. I'll let you guys speak on the topic first. Liv, you go first. <laughs> His face can do all the things, all the things. <laughs> <coughs> I'm not sure what you mean by yeah, that, yeah, but yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I may have to disagree. Oh, I have. I is there elaboration? I have to, there, I need more than that. All right, uh, S tier. <laughs> S-tier. Um. Whoa. S <laughs> tier definitely, definitely belongs in S tier. Oh man, S tier. Reason being, we've never seen anybody cry more beautiful than that. I That's disagree. true. No way. What? That is true. That is a beautiful qu- cry. A beautiful cry from a beautiful man. Uh, I mean, and if you think about it, Yuki's sitting there only thinking about herself, like shallow black hole for life. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then Choso's the one poising or like posing the real questions. Am I a human? And That's real true. tears. It's okay. beautiful. Mm. Like I can get behind the Choso appreciation, right? Like I, I'm, but S tier, S tier. That's I what mean, I mean when I say that his face does all the things. Mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. like his facial reactions are unbeatable in every situation. Really? Thank you, Jaku, for all of those. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But, okay. But past past the facial, just the facial reactions. If you just look, just take a look at his his face and how his hair complements his head and stuff, amongst other things, Choso is just like a conventionally attractive human being, and that's what he is. He's a human being. <laughs> for anyone in chat, he's no longer a curse. That's a human being. Okay. Okay. I can get by. I. 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 I can. I can concede the S tier. I mean, I like his clothes a lot too. Um, or would you? I would put him in A. Like there are when I think S tier, we'll get into them, right? I think like three or four characters, and Choso to me isn't like those three or four characters. So I think like typically I would I would get to A. I guess we could talk about it. Like like I said, these this isn't like the permanent ranking. We can move stuff around if we if we see fit, but. Yeah, I'm fine with for now putting putting Choso in S tier. I like the fit, like you said, hair hair is cool. His face is, you know, his face is fine. So yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> um, uh, no. I would continue. allow an A tier ranking for him based on those Doc Martens that he's got with his parachute yeah, pants. It's Doc just Martins, not okay. The Doc Martens are hard. Hold on, why am I defending tra- the Doc Martens? Are hard. That's crazy. Th- those are like Doc that's... Martens taped ankles though. It's crazy. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know, man. I like. The fit to me, Joso's fit is the coolest thing about like his character design. Like that's the part of him that I think is the most that I like the most. There's something like you would think just just in like concept that the what he's wearing would not be hard, 
but he just he just pulls it off. He just pulls it off pretty well. It's because he's Choso. It doesn't matter what Choso is wearing. He can make any. He could wear Angel's big old sweater, big frumpy <laughs> sweater, and still make it look good. I was about to say he does pull off wings better than her too. He does. All righty, that's that's crazy. But all right, all right, I'm I'm cool. I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. The Doc Martin slander is crazy, but I'll I'll let it rock. We'll put him in S tier for now. Um, jumping to the uh, other end of the spectrum uh we got we got coat rack guy the guy who fought gaku ganji we got him juzo juzo what 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 what's the consensus on juzo what, what y'all thinking about him um hmm he's not uglier than awasaka <laughs> yeah but that's a pretty ugly pretty <laughs> ugly dude uh, yeah it's like <laughs> he just yeah, I mean, I I kind of agree. I don't think he's I don't think he's a tier above. And the thing is, it doesn't even get saved by the fact that did somebody say hear me out? Hear me out for for Juzo is crazy. <laughs> hear me out for Juzo is actually insane. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, yeah, nah. Uh, Juzo is Juzo. Juzo, I think is like. I don't know. I guess it works with what he's like. He he be dissecting people for like furniture or whatever, or curse tools or whatever he be doing. Coat racks, I guess. Um, but I am not liking the apron. Like just the just the oh, straight that's apron what I like, on, bro. I'm yeah, not... well, there's aprons. That's Beautiful. Your problem. Really? Your problem has nothing to do with his face. It's his <laughs> apron. No, I'm saying no, 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 no. What I'm saying is it's a mix of him looking ugly and I don't fuck with the apron, right? I'm saying it's a, it's a combination. It's a dynamic duo because I don't think just based off his face, he's ugly enough to be D tier. Like he he would just be like a a somewhat subpar looking dude, right? But I also think the apron's whack. So it's like a mix. You know what I mean? I like the apron. You do. It, it his vibe is serial like crazy serial killer right yeah and he he comes in wearing an apron pants and like some goulash boots with a, with an axe and he acts all crazy and stuff like hmm. his persona and vibe is cool it's actually really cool but he's just really ugly but i guess that's the point <laughs> yeah and he's so nice he too well. i mean he's nice he's the one he's the one that made haruta that like sword that holds his hand yeah okay um, the one that yep. almost killed nobara i will say he's also the guy that wants to turn people specifically an old man into a coat rack so I, I'll, I'll say he's it's, calling I'll, gojo an old man um oh yeah he doesn't want to turn uh gaku Gandhi into a coat rack he wants to turn him into like what what does he want to turn him into it's like some, some a, a wallet. wallet yeah a wallet a purse. An yeah old, an old man leather wallet like um mm. Mm, I don't know. I also hate Haruta, so I don't. I don't know. I don't know how many how many uh, points he gets for me for for helping him out. But I think he's okay. So would you say because you like the apron and the vibe, he's above D tier though? Like is that is that? Uh, no. Okay. Not to me. Live you. Nah. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 Good. Good to hear on that one. Good to hear on that one. Uh, and I think I think Chat kind of agrees with 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 that last one. Uh, now up next. We have Dagon. Dagon's design, like I want to clarify, not not attractiveness. Design, I kind of like it. I like Dagon's design as a cursed spirit. It's nothing crazy. Useless wings. All right, he be flying though. All right. Um, Dagon's design is kind of hard. Like when he first jumps out of the cursed womb and he just like he's floating over everybody. That's cool. I think I think Dagon. It's not the. I don't. I actually think. I probably like it the least out of the disaster curses um design but i still think it's a pretty cool one i think it's it's like i don't know to me off of just like how cool he looks and kind of how menacing he was i feel like i feel like i put him at least in c tier yeah i think dagon although he's not my um, most favorite disaster curse design mm -hmm. his like evolved version or his true version it it looks really cool i mean yeah. Although he he ended up getting packed up by Toji, mm -hmm. Dagon looked like a a monster um before beforehand. He was he was handling everyone. Yeah. I don't know, and he did it all in like um in response to his friend dying. So I felt a little sentimental towards him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dagon Dagon's pretty cool. I I personally would put him above Angel. Okay. I, I think he's he would be our first B tier okay. if if I had my own choice here, but. Mm. Yeah, I like Dagon a lot. Okay, so so what what do you think, Liv? 
I hate his wings. <laughs> They're just like butt wings for what? Like why? Why are they there? He can fly though. He can fly. They useful. It's the physics don't line up. But <laughs> that said, maybe maybe better O lineman than Hanami would have been. So, like Chad, don't this guy look imposing to you? Like he just he just look kind of he look kind of scary. Which I think is the the is the intended vibe. Lovecraft Dagon can never go out like that. Anyways. Um Wrong hello. I love wings if they're done well. <laughs> um Yeah, B's fine. I'm fine with B. Yeah, okay. Cool, cool, cool. And I, I'm fine with B as well. So cool, Dagon and B. Next up, Dido, which is the swordsman guy who pulled up on uh on Naoya. I full disclosure, he's got a sword. I gotta put him in bits here just off of just off of the like he held the sword, he cut up now, yeah. I my my knee jerk reaction is B tier. Bro bro yeah, bro gets Yeah. Me. I think my I can agree with that. Reaction. <laughs> like usually, you know, the, the trope for old men is they're cool and stoic and really strong and stuff, but he's like an old man that's really quirky and really eccentric. And um, you know, he has a pretty cool mustache, I'd say. He was he was cool, yeah. I, I definitely think B tier is like um uh, he's he's a man amongst men, I'd say. Nothing like A, a tier or S tier or anything like that, but he's pretty mm. cool. Yeah. I'd say like, you know, the samurai ish garb plus sword. I mean, I was yeah. one over then, I'm not gonna lie. Um Liv, what what do you think? I don't know, he looks like he looks like a fishing trip, so yeah. He looks like, like a fishing trip. <laughs> he does. He's got that like warm old man vibe to him. And also, how often in a series do we get the old man trope that's actually respectful to the sword of the girl that he's holding, you know? So, we gotta... Uh, uh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, we'll, 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 not yeah. very often. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. That is true. Um, that's very true. Um... All right, next up, next up, we got, we got Druve. Now, God, God, he's great. He's, he's, he's something. He's um, actually disgust. No, nothing notable about that character. He looks like he smells bad. He's like <laughs> skinny fat in a, in a way that's like very, very like noticeable. He almost wears no clothes. He didn't even say one word. Druve is an L. <laughs> Throw him in ugly ass. ass. Like, Let's be honest. He looks like one of Sakuna's fingers, kind of. Yeah. Someone, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, because you can't even say, like, it fits his vibe or whatever because he doesn't have one. He's not in the series <laughs> long enough for that. So he, so from our perspective, he's just gross, grimy, and smelly for no reason. So, uh, yeah. yeah. So, he just said, I just know that stadium he was in smelled crazy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, no, I I know because the thing is, it could he couldn't have been in the deadlock for power. I think Uro and Ishigori just couldn't stand the smell. I'm gonna be honest with you. That that's facts. Yeah, couldn't get too close to him. Yeah. Um. Cool. Uh. Ugly. Ugly. Ugly for him. Um. Next up, we got we got Esso. Now, um, contrary to popular belief, there is another character that has black. Um. Was Scalera? Like the black portion of his eyes, mm -hmm. um, that to me is just instantly. I I can't. I cannot like a character that has has that oh, as a feature. Don't do this to me. Oh Kisura. bummer! But, but before we get to line. that's gonna be a yeah, problem before down we the get line, to buddy. whoever else has that, I'll start with. I'll keep it keep it real with Esso. Those eyes are hideous, but um, more so than just his eyes, his back is <laughs> just his whole vibe is just got two stinky ones in a row. Thing. Yeah, it's just, yeah it's just bad. Esso like opinion. canonically smells bad too. Um, and then Chad, this like just in case you guys were wondering, this is what his back looks like. He's uh it's uh something to behold. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's really gross. I'm seeing A tiers for Esso. That's interesting. Um in in terms of curses, like if we just take away like him being gross mm -hmm. he, even in terms of curses he's not cool to me because he yeah. he doesn't he doesn't give off what i believe a curse would be just off of hearing the word curse he mm -hmm. just kind of looks like a phony mix-up between a human 
and a curse that went really like left left like left sided. Uh, I don't that, know. That's that's what he is. <laughs> like as well, it's literally, it, it, yeah, yeah, but it's like his I think his brother Ketchizu does that better than he does because mm. he just kinda I don't know. I, I don't yeah. really like Esso at all. Okay. Esso's trying too hard to be in JoJo's, you know? Yeah, yeah, that too. Jeez. Like the posing is intense. The, is he not a curse? I thought he was half curse. He's he's a mix. Like he's yeah, he's I mean saying he's not a curse is kind of wrong, but like he's just he's just not a full fledged curse spirit. He's just like he's he's like Troso in the sense that he is a curse and a human mix. That's that's it. Um, oh, I said JoJo's. Like he's trying to be from JoJo's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. I. I can't say that I like. Also, I'm not gonna lie to you. I rarely, no, nah, the Gege the the way Gege shows them in the manga too is crazy. Uh, I'm glad the anime gave him pants. I'm just, I'm gonna say that. I'm glad the anime <laughs> gave him pants because like he didn't have pants in the manga, and I'm like I'm I'm significantly happier that they decided. You know what? They don't have to change anything else. Just they just gave him pants, and I, I appreciated that on the anime part. I I really did. Um, they they could have easily just tried to adapt that, you know, very faithfully. That's what it is. That's what it is, Ronan. His, he's giving off per pervert vibes <laughs> in his like original design, and that's something that was off putting to me as well because it's like you're supposed to be like a like a scary monster like with crazy powers, but you just kind of look like a like I think Nobara says it when she meets him. Like he's just like a weird dude yeah. doesn't he kind of hit on nobara too i have no idea i don't remember but bro, i wouldn't bro, put it past him bro was strange yeah um uh, like i would probably rate him higher in the anime because i'm telling you the pants really really make him less like it make him it makes him more palatable but i would i'd be fine Wait, putting him in deep. ronan sh- show them this this image because i don't i don't know if everyone remembers yeah, eso like. was really <laughs> weird in the manga yeah 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 let's, let's let's pull it up here we go guys this is this is eso you know what i mean like he really he really was uh he the animators did him justice right the animators did him justice um <laughs> like in the in the in the manga yeah, see, see, everybody, everybody, everybody was like A, B, like really good design. And then I, I showed the manga and they're like, nah. So I think, I think that's kind of what me, Liv, and Tessero were thinking when we thought of Esso. At least that's what I was thinking. And I, bro, hear me out. No, mm-mm, no hearing you out. I'm putting him. Bro, that's drip. Oof. <laughs> yeah, nah, uh, no. No, even better is also crazy. Um, anyways, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put him I'm gonna put him D tier. There we go. Um, next up we have I think a curse that is ugly, but I think I like this 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 brand of ugliness, and it's the uh, the finger bearer. Now the finger bearer, in my opinion, there is only one curse above him. Um, in terms of design. I think the finger bearer, if I'm remembering correctly, being the first like big disaster curse. Well, not disaster curses in the like the family, but mm-hmm. in terms of uh, the threat he posed mm-hmm. to our main characters, and the way he just kind of looks like he he looks like what I would assume a curse to look like. Just this um just kind of crazy, mm-hmm. very powerful just off a of glance, and then he has like um some inhuman features in his like face. Yeah. And this, just the way he portrayed himself, I think this is like a ten out of ten curse, in my opinion. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Live thoughts. Did I just get swayed a little bit? <laughs> um, <laughs> he is kind of the perfect monster under the bed, and that mm-hmm. giggle is like Sakuna Junior to a T. Yeah, he, he don't compare he him to scary. Sakuna. He do be but... scary. He is scary, but not not Sakuna scary. Sakuna, I mean, like toddler Sakuna, Sakuna, yeah, you know. Sakuna is not scary because of how he, well, kind of how he looks, but like more vibes. Yeah, he do be like he. The, I I will agree with you. The finger bear. I, initially, I was like, "What is he cooking?" Um, but I'm kind of like li- live on this one. I think you kind of convinced me that he do be he do be looking cool, like, and not just cool and like oh, you know, it it sort of he fits he fits the mold, and then I'm not. 
I'm disgusted, but in a good way. You know what I mean? There's 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 yeah. good ways. I think there's cool ways and acceptable ways to, to make something look appalling or unappealing. And yeah. also, it's a very clear distinction between like this type of curse and other types of curses. Exactly. Like, like this thing far. shows up in like a floor length loincloth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, and that's regal looking and then it giggles like a child or like a gremlin that you fed after dark like that's yeah it's that's cool weird. and when he first shows up and you just see like we just see him and megami and yuji are just they're just froze right they're, they're just like they they just they just stuck uh while he's in laughing in their face yeah for sure i i think i i, I like his design a lot i'd say he has an eight-year design to be honest with you um, one more thing i'd like to say hmm. um we we see this this curse bef uh, after um Sukuna fights Gojo, right? Like one finger yeah. Sukuna. Mm -hmm. So it's like, and we we also know that Sukuna is like the king of curses before. Yeah. It to me this this guy he he comes after what the I guess final enemy of the series in terms of being introduced, mm -hmm. and then he does more and is more imposing than what what was shown to us at the very start of yeah. what you know what Sukuna was, and I think that that's really impressive as well. Mm -hmm. Although I do recognize. For anyone chat, this is like Sukuna's weakest version. It is still the king of the curses. Yeah, yeah. He gives off those king vi kingly vibes, and this like paltry motherfucker. He just he just did it right. Yeah. So yeah, I think A tier is great for yeah, him. For sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, next up here, next up here, we have Gaku Ganji, and Gaku Ganji, to me, is like in terms of just the design the epitome of the sort of stereotype of like the old dude in an anime except he's just not cool um he like, tries to be with his yeah. electric guitar <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah gaki ganji is just um i don't know man he just he doesn't to me he doesn't he doesn't move me one way or another like he's just kind of an old dude in anime which is fine there's nothing like particularly wrong with that but it's just very, very basic in terms of like how he's how he's portrayed visually, uh, at least so yeah. far. Like I guess like you could say there's an interesting juxtaposition between like with him and his like as an old man as he's holding his like electric guitar and jamming out. But that it doesn't do much for me, right? To me, it doesn't like yeah. it. It fits with his technique, but it doesn't fit with his character enough for me to like for it to really sway me one way or another. Yeah, um, he, he kind of looks kind of he kind of looks goofy in that image to me. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 definitely a really weird thing, and I think intentionally so. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Live live what you think. I'm just glad he's not pervy. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That's and I don't know. It kind of reminds me, like he kind of makes me want to go fishing too. To be honest, really. Like, He's like an old dude that thinks that his taste in music is better than everybody else's. He probably does. And, he, and you want to? He's go gonna be in the front row at the Metallica concert, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, wait. that's that guy. But can we zero in on what um, Frost Azul said about him? Hmm. No, Ga Gakuganji is a pretty interesting design in terms of a design. He gives off the vibe of a traditional person who used to be a rebel but gave up on the idea on the idea of changing the system. Yeah, I think it sounds pretty interesting. Yeah, I so it's I think crappy. I think conceptually that's that's really cool, and I could imagine my ranking of like his design and overall character moving up if that's the direction he goes. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. if because so far we've only seen the conservative side. If we saw like a past where yeah he was he kind of he kind of wasn't a bum all the time. You know what I mean? But maybe he got he was disheartened by you know like the conservatives never changing their ways or whatever i can see that i can see that upping it because obviously the electric guitar kind of kind of plays into that idea of the, of the stereotypical like rebel or whatever so yeah i can i can see that i can see that later down the line swaying me a little bit but like somebody brought up a, a decent point gakuganji to me isn't even the coolest looking or coolest old man designed character in jjk um mm -hmm. so i can't i can't really i can't really praise him too much because he he's not He's not out here doing anything crazy. You know what I mean? Like, he just, he just kind of, it's not a bad design, but it's not really a great one either to me. What do you mean? He killed Yaga. Yaga was special grade. 
man. Um, <laughs> had to had to had to reset real quick on that one. That, that that's a that's a crazy thing you just said. That's a crazy thing you just said. Yeah. Um. Mm. Yeah, he's cool. I don't know. Um, he's kind of middle of the road for me. He does still have all his piercings. He's got like what twenty in each year. He do be having a lot of piercings. That is, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a good placement. C. Yeah. Low C. Yeah. yeah. Oh, some goons coming up. Some goons coming up. So, um, this first one is, you know, that guy that was that was about to fight Kusakabe in Shibuya before uh before Jogo and Sukuna showed up. It was the guy who was like about to about to give the signal to fight. Uh, let's see if I can pull it up real quick for chat. Did he get bodied? Nothing. I mean, maybe, but like we don't we don't see that. You know what I mean? Because um here. I'll show you. Like, Kusakabe is like, these guys are fodder. I can't wait to just waste my time here. Um, but let's see. That's this guy. This guy right here. Down here. Actually, so from just a purely design standpoint, I was telling Liv this before we started stream. I like his design quite a bit. I think he just looks cool. Um, I just I just like the the like the head wrap eye patch like arm out of the out of the sleeves combo or whatever i like i like the way he's designed to be to be completely honest with you um, yeah i think i think he does have a pretty cool design um it, it doesn't even feel generic either he, he yeah. feels like pretty unique in yeah. my opinion yeah like yeah, yeah. Uh, Liv, what you think? What you think? i feel like he is a messy version of new combo Yes, he does look like Kamo. At first, I thought that was Kamo, but mm -hmm. then I saw Kamo elsewhere on the tier list. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. like Kamo shit is all tailored, you know? Like, it fits him, fits him. Did this it, dude uh... just kind of, you know, threw on a towel and tied it around him. <laughs> nah, that's Picked crazy. Picked up some of Gojo's old bandages. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Hot. <laughs> Jesus. Um, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't catch what you said at first. That's nasty. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I like, I like, like, dude, because just the way he just, he's just cool. He's just, he just, he just got a cool design to me. I don't know what it is. He might, he probably is a lame character wise and power wise. Don't get me wrong. I mean, Kusakabe thought they were fodder, but I just, I just think the way he looks is pretty dope. Um, I would put him in B2 personally. Um, yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah. All right, cool. There we go. Um, also another goon. This is the, uh, this is the, I don't know what her technique is. And I don't know. She, she's one of the people that shows up at like Ghetto's cult. Um, let's see if I can pull her up real quick. And she's in volume zero. She's the she secretary, was, right? She was in that same page you were just looking at, wasn't she? Uh, yeah, right next yeah. to him. Okay. Let's see. Let's pull it back up then. Yeah. Um, but isn't she also the one that like keeps books for Ghetto yeah. in the cult? Yeah, she's the one that like tells Ghetto to kill that old dude because he didn't um because he he hasn't been he hasn't been given donations to the church in a while, you know what I mean? Uh so mm -hmm. she she's this lady up here in the top panel. I'll try to find the volume 0 version real quick cuz I think we see a little bit more of her. Um Mm. Yeah, but while while I'm looking that up, what do you guys think? Just off of off of what you've seen, or off of how you remember her? I, I mean, she's in the middle of Shibuya with her jacket like that. She's cool. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Like, there's to me, there's nothing that stands out about this character in any way. Mm. Like, if 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 you covered one of my eyes and told me to stand twenty feet away, I'd just say, "Oh, is that Mei Mei?" Um, or she kind of looks. She kind of has a May May hairstyle a little bit. Mm. Throw in a little color, turn it white. Okay, it's May May, and you can't see her braid because it's behind her. I don't know. She just looks like. She just looks boring. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Liv, you remember people's names? You remember her name, so I can look look her up and see what she looks in the anime or in the movie. I don't believe that she has a name. Jeez, nice not even name. a name. Nice gay gay. Never beaten the allegation. Nah, I don't think this guy. Um, Secretary A. Secretary A. Okay, that's what she. That's she what looks she, like a star plasma vessel to me. That's what she also looks like. Oops, let's go back over here. Is she dead? Or like, as well, aren't uh, all Malibu Barbie? She looks better there. Um, yeah. 
a little bit because I can see more of her outfit mm -hmm. and more of her hairstyle. Yeah. But still the same sentiment. Manami is her name. Okay, let me see. Thank you, Heisenberg. Wait, Manami looks so different in the anime. Yeah, it's a complete... <sighs> yeah, wow, okay. Wait, why'd you know her name, Desiree? You have... oh, okay, whatever. Uh, let's see. Well, Liv said it, and then mm -hmm. I already... Heisenberg and Chad gave it to us. So. Oh, thank you, Heisenberg. How'd you know that? Okay, whatever, thank you. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, it's her. Yeah, she do be looking different. So. So. Complete <clears throat> different vibes and everything. Yeah. Um, like, I definitely get a more <clears throat> snotty vibe from her than than he she also scolds uh nanako for not acting her age yeah go. yeah so G -G those heels are atrocious god those heels yeah, are nah the shoes awesome. are kind of bad the shoes are kind of bad <laughs> <laughs> those shoes are kind of whack um yeah yeah i don't know does the anime okay so let me ask you this does the anime make it better, make her design better or worse to you? It um, makes Ghetto's design better. Um, <laughs> I don't know. So, uh, I, I think it makes it worse because I think her fit in the manga just looks better. Got you. Yeah. Okay. Where would you guys place her? What C tier, D tier? Um, like she's 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 definitely not ugly no one get me wrong she's not ugly but i think she's just kind of middle of the road yeah this average cursed heels in a cursed world is funny that's that's a that's <laughs> jesus that's funny um okay one more gets again before we get to the real thing what is this person's name live um what is the person with the heart heart thing yeah nips mcgee yeah that's larue larue i Nips don't like me. i don't like larue i don't like larue's character design Who is larue the, got a little bit of mass manipulation going on himself i believe this is larue uh let's see let me find a landa i'm so sorry i did not send out a staff memo i have failed you hmm. oh wow <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like he tries to be a pretty boy in the face and then his body is just like completely opposite to that god yeah. damn he's got like nanami's cheekbones yeah he, he does he, he, he does don't look pull like it off the same oh, no <laughs> yeah yeah i don't know maybe he should have tried cheetah print no no no, no, no yeah no, keep no. the print that would that would have made it worse i'm not gonna lie to you that would have made it worse cheetah print no mm -mm. maybe in the What's headband me? if he Ooh. if he did in the headband that'd be might be a little bit interesting cheetah print headband but um i'll give him points for like the the weird kim kardashian nipple stickers i think they're <laughs> kind of funny <laughs> yeah yeah okay okay <laughs> give him some give him some points over there that's fine um cool we'll put them what you thinking what you guys thinking i'll let i'll, I'll fall back on liv's okay. opinion at least c for the eyelashes c for eyelashes okay yeah okay we'll, we'll, we'll and, I'll, and i'll put him above gaku ganji just because he looks unique there we go um all right all righty ghetto suguru ghetto himself uh oh Thoughts, thoughts, questions, concerns, guys. Let's let's talk. Let's talk about this. I'll say controversy. Oh God. What controversy? Yeah. What are you about to say? What are you about to say? Uh, Ghetto is. Yes, he is. I, I, I have no idea what people see in that character. You're um, a lie. You're a fucking liar, life. man. Lord. You're a. You're so. You're so. You're so. You're, so, you're just, on something, bro. Hang on. What? Bro he's said, just. Bro said, it's just not it. it. Like I, I like, I like the young Ghetto's hairstyle. I think that that hairstyle is nice. But even, even with his best hairstyle, which again I think is young Ghetto, I still think Ghetto falls flat for me. Just, it's he's just not it. Man, bro, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh shit! Thank you, Funky Monk, for the fifty dollars. I appreciate that. Uh, I appreciate that a lot, man. I appreciate that. You always be showing up, honored one streams in over here. So you you real you real you real for that. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Um, That's now, can we get back? Okay, Tessa, you're you're looking at stream. Nothing. Not nothing happens. Not 
not that is not a flattering picture at you're not, all. You're not feeling an awakening? No, nothing. That's crazy. An awakening. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. No awakening. No. Okay. No. Thanks. Maybe it's just the long hair for me. I, I think like the long <laughs> Super Saiyan three hair is just like, it's just. It just messes up everything. Oh, that's crazy. We've seen Mimiko and Nanako brushing that hair. <laughs> like, and that doesn't make it any better. Listen, I will say, okay, okay, that, okay, let me ask you this. Am I, and I'm assuming you feel the same way about Kenjaku's design, or just is something about Kenjaku change it up for you? Well, Kenjaku's the one with the long hair. Oh, well, I guess Geto had long hair too. I forgot about that, but they they look the same. Yeah. Um, but I, I like Kenjaku's vibe more. But that doesn't yeah. change my opinion on the actual okay. design. That's interesting, yeah. bro. That's... I don't think he's ugly, but that... to me, he feels middle of the road. <laughs> I know, I know, a lot of people I'm don't agree with me, but... bro. Like, I'm, I'm actually like, I'm actually hurt. like, I'm hurt. I'm hurt actually. I think so. This what? is uh damn i like the bang the bang the bang the bang is banging but <laughs> I, I just don't like the long hair that's it just he, he can't rock the long hair like some people can okay okay that's 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 Sorry, crazy. Are Listen, speaking against my soul right so, now so like i will say like you know I, i'm not gonna leave you completely out to dry right i will say just I will. <laughs> listen i'm still i'm still a ghetto's an s tier <laughs> like i'm still a proponent of of, of having get to an s tier don't get me wrong right however there do be panels in the manga where ghetto do be looking like one of the ugliest people in the series i'm gonna be so honest with you there do be specifically examples ghetto? specifically ghetto like specifically okay. ghetto looks really gross you remember in volume zero when he calls you to like a womanizer or whatever like that exchange ghetto just he just <laughs> looks like listen I, I want to make clear, I'm still on the Ghetto's S tier train, but to make a quick pit stop, bro, just, hold on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull it up for you guys, all right, because look at this and be like, this is the same Ghetto you you know, let, let me, let me, look at this, look at this bottom panel, bro, bro is Dylan fried, is not looking on him, bro is at fried, all. bro is fried, bro, like, listen, I get it, in this panel, in this sequence, he's also literally dying, but he don't look that great. That's all I'm saying, bro. I, he I never know. really looked that great, but Ugly Ghetto is elite right. is insane. Ugly Ghetto is elite? No. Ugly Ghetto I agree with that take. A <laughs> lot. No. A lot, a lot, a lot. Like this one is funny. This this like he looked ugly here, but it's like clearly kind of funny. That's that's the intention. But get, there will be sometimes, and I think the anime does it too, where it'll warp his face a lot. And I get it, I get the, I get the the purpose, but it'll warp his face a lot to the point of just being, man. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's like the difference in personality between Ghetto and Kenjaku too, because Kenjaku just be sighing all the time, huh. just constant. Whew. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, he's a pretty goofy like <laughs> person too. Like, do you guys remember the panel where? He he throws his hands up in the air as he shrugs with his tongue out. <laughs> I, forgot, I think it's towards Mahito. Yeah, he does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But then, because the thing is, I think about that, and then I, and then it gets countered with this, bro. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't know, man. Tesro, like, that's just that's just interesting to me. That's just mad interesting. Um, well, I'll, I'll, I'll give him a compliment, okay? Okay. I think he has an absolutely well-put-together vibe. I, mm -hmm. He's giving very monk, like very, <laughs> very, what's the word? Um, he's super zen. He He's pretty zen for, I mean, <laughs> besides his crazy, like, ideology. Mm. I don't know. I think his design is nice. I just think he just doesn't, he, he just doesn't hit that spot, mm -hmm. you know? He yeah. doesn't inspire any evolution, so oh well. Okay, okay, okay. okay. All right, that's fair. I think we're still gonna put him in S, just because me and Love are pretty adamant <laughs> about it, right? I want to ask this now, Tester. I know your opinion because you think you think Choso's S. What do you think, Liv, about Ghetto over Choso in S tier? Are you yeah. right or are you wrong? Okay, you're right. There we go. Oh lord. Um, hey, do you like? Oh, hold on. Have you seen Kubo's drawing of Ghetto? Uh, Tessero? What? Have I seen Kubo's drawing? I Bro. think I have. Team Ghetto looks so cool in this. It's like, it's it's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. I, I, I Trust me, this won't be the image to change your opinion or anything, but I I just just thought I'd bring it up. Kubo drawing uh, Team Ghetto is, is fire. Yeah, uh, I think Kubo does it better. 
Yeah. I, 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 I That's would. That's okay. Yeah. Like, Damn, bro. Bro called something Kubo Drew okay. I'm sick. No, anyway. I mean, he, he, <laughs> Kubo, I think, is a better character artist. Mm-hmm. I'll just say, I'll keep it very specific. I think he's a very better character artist than Gay Gay, mm-hmm. but I don't necessarily think that makes him an overall better artist than Gay Gay. For sure, for sure. Okay. Fair, fair. Um, all we got, we got, get to up here. Now we got another, we got another one. Gojo. Gojo, Gojo, Gojo. Tessero, I want to start with you. Um, you seem to be pretty passionate uh, when it when it comes to talking about Gojo. So, so what do you think, man? Gojo, just just like in terms of power, how he stands above <laughs> everyone in the series, and I'll stand by that. He stands above everyone in the series and, and the looks department as well. Gojo is just, you know how earlier I said um, the Dida character was a man amongst men. <laughs> yeah, Gojo is a god amongst men. <laughs> okay, if, if you could give him his own tier. I, I I couldn't I wouldn't even be satisfied with that. Gojo just everyone else to Gojo is a flop. Mm-hmm. I'll just be honest. Yeah, bro. A god amongst men. Look on stream real quick. Look on stream. Yeah, a god, a god amongst men. God amongst men for real, for real. Um, yeah. That that's not a flattering. <laughs> that's not a flattering picture. I'll, I'll say. That. I'll admit that. Uh, it it looks cool, but it's not flattering. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm I'm down with Gojo S. I'm down with Gojo S. Um, Liv, where where are you at on this one? Gojo is one of those guys that came like pre-programmed with an algorithm. So like, I feel like there's no reason to rank him. He's just kind of. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, I it's... like that. There's a category for those. <laughs> yeah. And that's yeah. S plus. Give 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 Gojo his own tier. Let's be real. Put him in a box. Gojo's put not, him in a box. But Gojo's not the best looking one in JJK though. Like he's he, not he's the S tier. What? Gojo's not. Gojo's not the top one in JJK. Like let's be real. S tier for sure. But you're not S- being real. You're lying. The, the best. One. We're we're gonna get to the best one. I mean, I think you know who the best one is, Tessa. Like in, in your soul, you understand who it is. You, you'll see. You'll see. You'll get it. You'll get it. But I'll put him in S. Uh, okay. I'll put him in S. You'll understand. At least put him above Ghetto. I put him above Ghetto. That seems to be the consensus. I'll put him above Ghetto. Um, but Gojo, go, the reason like Gojo's not getting his own tier because he's not he's not number one. That's why. Um, yeah. So next up, I guess like taking like a couple of steps back, we got Gorilla Mode Panda. <laughs> <laughs> um, C tier. Yeah, see, I'm yeah. I'm agreeing. C tier. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, he's he's whatever. I think he's a gorilla mixed with a panda, and it's like cool. Um, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, thanks. that's where I'm at with that. Um, Hybara, kind of a nothing burger. I feel like in terms of design, he's just like just looks like a real genuine nice kid, which is the vibe. But I don't know about you guys. He doesn't do anything for me more. He's than like that. the mob of JJK hmm. with the bob cut. I accept. I think Mob's Bob Cut is better, but I think Bob Cuts in general are are really ugly. Um, <laughs> so I, he's pretty low, in my opinion. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, for sure. Um, yeah. Okay. Any any disagreements there, Liv? He looks like Yuji before his first body. So don't you ever. Oh my. Yeah, what? Why does she keep doing that? <laughs> That's the second time she disrespected Yuji. <laughs> Is that disrespect? I don't mind Yuji's scars or their migration at all. He said he doesn't a... try his shoes, and now you're saying he looks like Hybara? Like, Just Hybara looks oh, like no. innocence. So, man. yeah. Man, 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 man. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's. I think she's more talking about vibe chat. Like, I don't think she's saying they literally look physically the same. The, the okay. vibe they, they emanate sure, yeah. is like is like super wholesome, you know, which is is fine. Um. All right. Well, who, character I, designs. Mind, you know? Character designs. Mm, mm. The vibe right? he fits really well with is um, what is Tsunade's little brother's name? The guy that gets blown up as soon as he yeah. pops on screen. I don't know. I, I know exactly. There's a funny scene. The scene of his death pops into my head before his mind uh, pops into my head before his death. Uh, what the fuck? I can't speak. Jesus. Him dying is funny. Damn. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is funny. Because doesn't Hybara die too? Yep. Very quickly. Very quickly. <laughs> very, very quickly. Um. Yeah. I don't know. He's, he's whatever to me. Uh. Next up, 
we have Kinji Hikari. Uh, I will say, I will say, his original design is, is <laughs> swack. But I do like, I do like his, uh, I do like his redesign. Like his black hair design. Yeah, I didn't like it all that much. You kind of, you didn't like the like dreads or whatever. It, whatever. It, it could just be because I didn't see much of him. You know what I mean? We literally get like half a panel with his face in it. But I. I was not I was not feeling it all that much if I'm gonna be completely honest I like I like how he's designed more now but we've literally seen more of him now so it could just be that I'm not really sure but yeah okay let me cut in there chat I want y'all to listen when Ronan has just said although I recognize Hakari is not black he is one of the only black presenting characters and <clears throat> You know, as a black man myself, I thought his original design with the like twists or whatever was really cool, and I wanted to see him like that. When when I when I saw he switched up and his hair is kind of like like a sponge now, I I, I didn't really like that. Um, and Ronan says he thought Akari's uh, black presenting design <laughs> was lame He's or bad fucking, or whatever. He's such a fucking loser. Listen, Gage just didn't do it well. That's all it is. It's he like, did though. Oh he boy, didn't. he did not. You're lying. You lied to me. You're trying to lie to me right now. I saw. Wait, wait, hold on. Do you rem Are you? No, no I, <laughs> I know. It, when when Yuta shows up too, look, it's right here. I don't know. He doesn't. Mm -mm. That hair is fire. He got uh, the fade too. The, the, it is a clean fade. The edge yeah, of his nice. A clean fade doesn't mean the design looks good. Like I don't know. He don't. Do we look, even doesn't... see it other than neck up? Hmm. We even see anything other than neck up in that shot? No, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like I don't know. This to me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up the anime because it gives it gives us it shows them a little bit more. This to me is just not it. He just don't look cool here. So you think his his new blonde sponge looking Jesus. his new hair is just pretty ugly in my opinion. I'm he just got the natural swag to carry an ugly hairstyle. That's all. Listen, that that may be true, but I'm saying Gege did this version of Hikari worse than he does current Hikari. I'd be happy to see Hikari with that old hairstyle if if I was confident Gege could draw it well. Uh, hold <laughs> on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pull up, pull up these images side by side. Okay, I got you. Hold you're, on. you're capping, bro. You're telling me this hairstyle looks better than his old one? Yeah, bro. I'm saying, I'm saying. Yeah, tell me. Go ahead, yeah, say I, it. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying Hikari now looks better than Ooh. he did then. Oh no! Like, bro, look at this. This is this is the this is the haircut you want, bro. That all like, what is one. going on with Hikari? It looks like a brain is on the top of his head. <laughs> I do not like the new hairstyle for bro, Hikari. Listen, Tessa, be honest. You rocking this haircut? You getting this one? The all around? Nah, bro. I mean, don't lie, don't lie, because I have, and and points in my life, yeah, I have. People have made mistakes face, in the yeah. past. I'm saying, would you now? <laughs> yes, I would. You're lying, bro. I saw that. I I, I I felt the hesitation. I felt. The I hesitation. would get that exact hairstyle if if my hair could twist the way a car <laughs> could. I'd get that exact hairstyle. You're such a liar, bro. I'll let you. I'll let you. I'll let you rock on that. But you're lying. Okay. You're lying. Anyways, whatever. We'll take. A hypothetical prime Hikari, whatever you, whatever chat and you interpret that to be, that's fine. Where would you put? Where would you put Hikari's best design? I appreciate the like Fifty Cent "Get Rich or Die Trying" album cover wife beater that he wears when he's like yeah. first fighting Yuji. That's that's cool. <laughs> that's like that is cool. I agree. Like he has a, a really cool vibe upon first being introduced. He has a fur coat. You know, yeah, he's pretty cool. That's just the hairstyle. Is just, it, imagine this Akari with with the old hairstyle. It's hard it, to because I feel like Gage's style has changed so much. Like it's hard to imagine Gage drawing it the same. Um, he would just draw it better. Yeah, but I guess I just don't know what that looks like for Gage. I don't know. Maybe we get a flashback. We see how he got kicked out of school or whatever, and maybe I'll change my mind. But. I don't know, man. When he, like you said, when he pulls up here, it's just, it's just, it just looks cool. Um, I like the jacket, you know. I, I like, I like the fit in general. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Where'd you guys and, put him? And like, he got a, he got a baddie right, right next to him. <laughs> like, just if he had the right hairstyle, bro, <laughs> would be so golden. All right, where do you put him then? Where do you put him? Um, I think, I think he. Even with his bad hairstyle, I think he looks cooler than um 
old dude in B, right below Dagon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm okay. okay with B. Um, hold on. Somebody. Uh, oh, I. He does. Hakari does have a volume extra sketch. Let me see if it has his hair change. What is there. that? Yeah, I said baddies, Zenze. I did. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Nah, you spit. Nah, nah. You right. You right, Tester. You right. This hair. Yeah. Nah. You you spit and you spit and you spit. You right. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you have that one because you right. Right here with with Gage's like updated style. Yeah, I like Hakari's hair. Like oh. More. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know this existed. Yeah, that's that's yeah. dope. Yeah. That. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hook. This is this is the this is the best version of Hikari right here. This is this is prime Hikari design. Wait, yeah. wait hold on. What was Giga cooking? Change of the hair? Then I'm kind of confused if he could draw it like this now. What's, what's it's going on? uh the re rebel status, you mm -hmm. know, blonde hair. Yeah. Leaving school, gotcha. getting money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think it's I think his design's cool. I I'd put him in B tier. Like I'd personally put him above Dagon for uh. And honestly, if we're if we were taking if we were taking him with his like his hair, uh, like change in the new style, I'd put him in A tier. I think he looks really cool like that. Um, Wait, his hair is purple. Akari's I, official hair color is purple. That's uh, what I was it, gonna say. I didn't think color. that it was blonde. It's in the volume. Yeah, it's purple. like magenta. Yeah, let me show. That you. does not make it any better. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Look at this picture. Hmm. He's kind of giving me. Koichi vibe, you know Koichi from JoJo. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Whenever yeah. he cut it, <laughs> that was his worst haircut, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The purple is 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 all right. Like I like purple, so I, I won't hate on him. But um, yeah, I don't know. Damn, that's goofy. I I thought <laughs> it was blonde. Uh, he's just going down, worse down, like further and further down. But he did beat Kashimo, so his stocks are still up there. Him that mm, I'm pretty sure Kari says he didn't beat him, sure. but, but yeah, yeah. Look, look, leave it to Tesoro to not read. Anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, I like I don't know. I put I'd put him in B tier with the caveat that if you know Hakari was drawn consistently with like the dreaded up hair, he'd be in A tier. I'd put him above Finger Bear, but yeah, um, I'd put him in B with how he looks currently. That's how I feel about him. Any any disagreements there? No, I think Hakari's a goat. Cool, 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 cool. Um, Liv, you? High schooler. So, yeah, B tier's fine with me. Mm -hmm. uh, nep, up up next, we got Hanami. What, what's the thoughts on Hanami? What's the thoughts on Hanami, guys? What, where are we putting him? Where are Personally, we putting him? that's my favorite design of the da Disaster Curses. Okay, okay. That, the voice that... thing is cool. Yeah. Um, you know, the mother nature look is, 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 is dope. Uh, I, I, I think it's cool. Yeah. I think he's cool, but, or I think they're cool or whatever. I just look, if you just look at Hanami in terms of which one is just, it resembles what a curse is more so than the others in, um, the disaster curse family. It just feels like Hanami. He just feel like some primordial, like this. Ooh. Yeah, like when it shows up in the Goodwill event and it's got the curse that Gakuganji set free, like on its limb or whatever, that is terrifying. That is like a woodland curse. Exactly. Hanami just had a really good presentation. Um, and although you already know my opinion on Dagon, um, I just think Hanami, he just does it better. Mm -hmm. He's just cooler too. Yeah. Yeah, okay. and we get to see character development there too a little bit. That's true. It's like yeah, the design changes as the fight goes on. Mm hmm. Yep. Takes the takes the arm out of the bag. Wait, what is your opinion? Mine. Uh, yeah. I I would say I don't think Hanami's my favorite design of the Disaster Curses, but I would say it's better than Dagon's, and I would personally put it um in the same tier. I'd put the uh, Finger Bearers. In terms of design, I don't think I don't think Hanami's as scary looking, um, and it's kind of hard to top how I feel about the finger bear presence wise in terms of like presentation, mm -hmm. just because the finger bear pulls up and everybody's just like stop, run. Yuji's like I gotta switch out to I can't fight him. Sue gonna deal with him type of thing. That's Megami true. dips. It's like everybody, even though the finger bear is way weaker than Hanami, the sort of like vibe I get when their introduction is. We can't beat the finger bearer, but everybody kind of pulls up on Hanami ready to fight. Even though they have to do that, 
I get it, but the portrayal still still gives me like you know similar vibes. But I do think Hanami, where Hanami lacks in the um, the scary part, I think it has a little bit more. Uh, it's a little bit more interesting with uh, with detail. It's a little bit more unique, I guess. So I I, I would put them both up here in A tier. That's how I feel about it. Yeah. Okay. Well, wait. Are you gonna put the finger bear above? I don't know if the stream is yeah. delayed or not. No, I'm 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 gonna ha I'm gonna have Hanami above uh, above finger bear. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Now, next we have Haruta. Mm. Haruta. 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 Liv, you want you want to jump into this one? S tier. That's and bad. I'm gonna need that onesie too. The, that, um, the, the oh come on, the side this. pony. <laughs> Side pony is perfection. Like, you're, okay, you know, in so Shibuya, weird. his fight against Nanami, he goes through a whole series of like Kashimo esque like facial expressions. The way that he taunts Nobara is like hilarious. So, so if you if you jump onto the the hype train just to spite me with the Kashimo thing, you'll never hear the individual so unless you know. <laughs> you know what I think is funny, Liv. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I think I think Nanami sending him flying across the room in one punch. I think that's pretty funny. Oh Backhands him into the floor over Nobara's shoulder and into the pillar behind her. Like yeah. I don't like only it. one miracle though. He, he's he's like maybe if his hair wasn't if he didn't do something goofy with his hair, maybe maybe he'd be like pretty average, but the way he has his the hair. side pony is perfect with the off the shoulder or like one shouldered onesie. <laughs> one shoulder onesie. He just pulled a curtain off the the drapes and just <laughs> threw it on. Just like let me That's just. That's what I'm saying. I like to think that Juzo uh, made the onesie for him too. <laughs> yeah, I could see it. <laughs> uh, so I kind of I don't know. I think Haruta when he pulls up and is a little bit more menacing, like. When he, I think when he Menace. pulls up on, on, listen, listen, when he pulls up on Utahime in Goodwill, right, and, and the image I have up on stream, it's like, okay, cool, right here in this snapshot, I would say, I think his design is cool, I think, I like the, I like the menacing aura, whatever, ish, menacing ish aura, whatever, but he just, I just don't get this from him most of the time, you know what I mean, um, most of the, like, most of the time outside of it, he looks and comes off as a goober. Like, he's just yeah. like, okay, I don't know. He's... <sighs> he's like a misguided child that thinks killing people is fun, but when he faces real danger, he regresses back to... <laughs> oh, he starts crying like a baby. Yeah. yeah. What is that? Apologizing to Nanami? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he wouldn't talk like that to Nanami. Or did he say that to Nanami? He, he, no, he, he starts snotting all over himself saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's not it's not good. It's not the good. way he always just comes in, like, hits people with a, either a sneak attack or, like, when they're not looking is kind of... It's grimy. It's grimy. Kind of bitch, sure. man. To be honest, <laughs> I don't like, I don't like Haruta at all. Yeah. I'll, I'll, uh, I can... I don't know. I can I can put him in C tier. I feel like I can see C tier. I don't know. S tier is just S tier is a hard jump, man. Because S tier is Choso, Gojo, and Ghetto, and it's like I still can't tell if Liv is being serious with putting him in the same tier as Gojo. I redraw his character all the time. Yeah, this is <laughs> this this. this in memory, <laughs> after memory, after that memorizing. side pony is stuck in there. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Um. Yeah. Okay. M maybe we'll maybe we'll come back to horror to see see if something see if something changed. Thankfully, he got slumped. <laughs> Anyways, uh, another interesting looking guy. We got Hazanoki up here. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. I spoke too soon. Hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> what are you about to say? This is the hill that I, I want to die on. This is the one. Oh, no. Are you going to say S tier? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> my God. That. Oh, oh Ronan. I always I already thought his mullet was bad. Perfect. But Perfect. God, that image mm -mm. you just pulled up. Mm -mm. Bruh. It kind of. Mm -mm. mm -mm. That's bad. That it, it is, bro. I'm not. 
Like, don't get me wrong, Hazanoki is really cool. I really, I think he's really enjoyable to watch. But that hairstyle, it's gotta go. If you gotta I'm more, if I'm up. more fair, right, and I don't pick what is, in my opinion, him at his worst angle, he does look better. But the less mullet that's shown, the better to me, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, the mullet is like the best part. The mullet and the overalls. <laughs> the, a mullet it's overall perfect. combo is just it's just not working for me man i don't it know is what perfect it... <sighs> Ugh. Mm -mm -mm. man he's the only mullet... he's the only person that got like <laughs> beaten by getting poked in <laughs> poked in his butt like yeah. <laughs> hell <laughs> <laughs> their um, whole interaction is hilarious to me and i don't know the way that his kogane shows up too and lets him know that his homie's dead like cares about his kogane that's cute i don't know i love hazanoki a lot he's a lot better than that thing with the mullet that may may killed but wait what thing with them wait is that the um the curse yeah, no, the cursed user, the one with the Hazanoki, or not the Hazanoki. Oh my god, shame on me. The Konohamaru goggles in the mm, subway. What, it's the cursed user that may make kills, just some random. Okay, yeah. put up a poll since it's the one you want to die on, right? I saw some people saying, like, really, really, like, I don't know. I saw, I was looking at chat and I saw some people be like, yes for S tier. So I, I decided I'd, I'd throw it up. I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. Uh, <laughs> Wait, hello, said she's cooking a school meal right now. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> A school meal is, is nasty. Somebody said you are spitting, though. Like, there are some people that are like, yes, for S tier, which drip demon overalls. Hey, mm -hmm. yo, yeah. I'm saying. Oh, <laughs> love some Hazanoki's wild. Nah. Got that. He's just like, I don't know. He looks like the hipster that's doing it right. Like, I, <laughs> I believe it. Is he a hipster or a, like a hick, a hillbilly even? <laughs> No, because no, we had this conversation. Real hillbillies don't go shirtless under their overalls. Hmm. Yeah. The reason that they're wearing coveralls is for like ticks and shit. Like real reasons. Real <sighs> backwoods reasons. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I I can say since you're, you know, your meter burning for Hazanoki. I will I will place him like higher than I personally would think to like because because I'm going to have one that I'm going to need to beat or burn on as well. So, you know, I'm going to hope to get the same same recognition. <laughs> I'll put Hazanoki like high in B next to Hikari. All right. Uh, I'm Envy. He only looks 60 when he's missing his teeth and <laughs> like an eye when he's trying to, to trying grow to back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I Like. Yeah, because my my thought was like a fucking a low C, so I I'll put him top of B for the meter burn. All right, and there we go. I I, res I, I respect the doubling down on, on what you believe in. All right, I just um, need to know where he got those overalls. That's all. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah. Now, let's see. Up next, we have uh, one of Higuruma's like associates. I, I still don't remember her name actually. Um, Liv, uh, you wanna, you know her name? Yeah, 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 yeah. Which one is this? Is this Shizune? Yeah. yeah. One, yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> the black haired one is Takagi, and okay. then the blonde oh, okay. Babka is Shizune. Okay, so we'll put Shizune first then. Shizune, what do you think about her? Uh, blonde Babka. Wait, can, can you actually pull up a an image of her, yeah, I, like, I can barely see her in that let's one. Let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's pull up. Mm. Uh, oh, gotta go to the Higuruma chapter real quick. Um, yeah, Liv, while I'm, while I'm grabbing that, do you, do you have any opinion, like, I'm, I'm assuming She is the exact same thing as Manami to me. Just another star plasma vessel. Interesting. This is, I think this God. is Shizune right here. Um, and I don't think she has like a uh, a last name. We if just it, get yeah. Higuruma referring to her in conversation as Shizune. Got you. And if you're looking for a full fit, this is this is what she this what she be walking around the uh, the Japan looking like, you know? Yeah, she's she's giving me older Novara Nobara vibes. Really? But 
<clears throat> in terms of the hairstyle, and they both make some pretty funny faces. <laughs> but yeah. um, just average to me. Okay, I I can kind of get with that. Um, and I'll we'll just we'll just kind of tackle them. I think just because like at the same time, this is if not Shizune, black haired one is. Damn, I can't remember. Um, Please, Takagi. Takagi. Oh Takagi. Um, okay. She has the same name as the uh, shot put coach from Yuji's high school. Yeah. Um, I think she's cool. I, I I don't know. I'd probably place her in the same in the same spot. Like we don't see too much of her. I don't think. I think we see even less of her than we do Shizune. Um, but I think I think her design is fine. I think I'd I'd place it in the same spot. Like a. He looks like a Harry Potter Yuki. Oh my god. <laughs> my opinion just went down on that character now. Thank you for associating. <laughs> on Harry Potter or Yuki? On, on, no, on on Takagi. Because I was going to place her above Shizune. Mm -hmm. But once you associate her with Harry Potter, it's like, damn. I guess you got to go down. <laughs> Oof. Ah, you a Harry Potter hater. We love to see it, bro. We love to see it. I know you'd be Ugh. spitting on some things. Alrighty. <laughs> we'll put both of them in C tier. Uh, next one, uh, Higuruma. Higuruma's got a really good design. Like, he's ugly sometimes, but he's got a cool design. I, I think the lawyer aesthetic is very unique in JJK, uh, and it, it makes him stand out quite a bit from the, from the rest of the riffraff, you know what I mean? Now, don't get me wrong, Higuruma, I believe, belongs in A, because mm -hmm. I think he's pretty, his design is really really nice mm -hmm. and before anyone talks about his nose <laughs> there are people in real life with pretty big noses that are attractive but let's not let's not forget that and let's put his nose to the side because ask him to do his... that first i know sorry <laughs> <laughs> maybe that, not, that's not maybe if you just like look straight on Bro yeah like squidward for a said yeah, nah, nah. <laughs> bro, bro can smell the evil on people. I'm convinced. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe I, maybe I was not spitting. Maybe I just don't remember how he actually looked. God, <laughs> maybe B. Yeah, Jesus, yeah. bro, bro, bro smells evil. Listen, he's he's not. Listen, so here's the thing: his design does not come for, to me from him being like attractive at all. Like that's not where a lot of the appeal comes from. To me, it's just I just like the lawyer aesthetic um yeah i like it too uh, it's the contrast of him being um, a lawyer but when he first shows up also being kind of a bum sitting in a bathtub yeah i was gonna say i'm just gonna go ahead and point out the obvious that we run into higuruma fully suited up shoes on in a bathtub on a stage <laughs> we can expect to see him fight that entire fight with a wet suit on <laughs> at least a tier so gross so gross like so nasty bro is bro is in his lawyer attire it's yeah. just water yeah. ronan yeah we know it's, you don't like to shower but water bro, is not nasty i don't know if you think like walking around in wet clothes is fun you weird freak but i i, I can imagine <laughs> that fighting in it is not enjoyable like bro go jump in your nearest lake come out and just and just exist like that without drying off jesus <laughs> bro, yeah so, okay what water water not bad and, like duh <laughs> I mean, but I wouldn't mind watching Nanami fight in a wetsuit either. <clears throat> yeah, you're you're alone in that one. <laughs> Don't worry, you got you got you got some uh we got some Nanami drenched in blood somewhere in Shibuya. We can, we can, we can make that happen. What the heck? <laughs> it's extra extra crispy on the left side. Jesus. Um yeah. Yeah. Nanami vibes are more sad. Like they do have the same, like they do carry a same similar energy about them. Higurumi is just a little bit goofier initially, though. Um, yeah, I'd be fine with putting him in A tier. He's got, he's got a dope design. He's got a dope design. Is this the first human we're putting in A tier? Jesus. Okay. Um, Wait, is it? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It is. Um, oh wow. Yeah. I, everybody else that's in A tier has been a has been a cursed spirit. Um, let's see, EGG. Put EGG in D. He, he's got to work on the haircut. <laughs> yeah. Uh, any disagreement the on center your part? center part? Not at all. Not at all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Eno, I'll say this. Eno be, Eno's technique relies on him putting on a mask. Um, I feel What's like that supposed to mean? Nothing. 
It doesn't mean anything, man. It means it means what you think it means. I think Eno's fine, but he do be looking just like regular. He do be just be looking. When I learned Eno had like light brown hair, um, oh, that was, that was his, bad. It, yeah, his design went down. And also when I saw his like, how do I, like um, the way his hair, because I thought he 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 just had spiky hair under his beanie, right? Mm-hmm. Because of the parts of the hair that we actually do get to see under the beanie, like the mm-hmm. back part. But when he took off his actual beanie and I got to see his haircut, like that's that haircut is not it. He's got hair like Ryu, doesn't he? Uh, does he? Uh, hey, who is Ryu? Ishigori, I think. Oh, yeah. I don't like Ishigori's hair either. Oh. When it's down, it's fine. Post loss, Ishigori looks oh. a lot better than. Oh, this, 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 this anime picture is just so funny to me, bro. I don't know. It just just look goofy. Um, let me see. Where does where do we see you know with his with his mask off like all the way? When Toji rips, <laughs> rips it off. Oh, when, when Toji takes like grabs it off his face. All right, hold on. Let me go to that. That's funny. I was like, bro, bro never takes that off. You think that it's probably got a smell? I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I feel like he doesn't <laughs> wash it. Like I I just look at you. and I'm just like, nah. Let me see. That's probably part of the binding, though. Like, bro bro keeps it on while he eats. You know what I mean? Like, we see him eating a, a refined dinner with Nanami, and it's just on his head. It's bro, just a beanie. Bro has no class. That's not a beanie. That's a ski mask right there, bro. Bro got, a, <laughs> bro got the shiesty on at dinner. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> that, that That is... I'm, I'm sorry, but that's absurd behavior. That's insane. <laughs> But he's always ready. I mean, Bro. he's he's pretty cool, except when he meets up with Toji. Which is, like, the first time we really see him do anything in the manga. Uh, Someone so. said he ain't got no drip. That that picture Ronin still has on the screen is kind of <laughs> drippy. No. But it does no. look fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I just keep getting hung up on the navy blue converse with, like, the black sweatsuit. Like, yeah. you gonna yeah. do that? So, so this is what he looks like with, with his hair. Um... Uh, I mean, ignore this because this is a little bit of a warped perspective of his face. All right, but you know, for the two seconds that he has it off, uh, following why this panel? <laughs> following Anonymous footsteps is crazy because you know Anonymous went out way better. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Did uh, he? Yes, bro. He went out. He went out. Is Eno cool. dead? Uh, he might as well be, bro. He's dead to me. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, Jesus, man. Seeing his little eyes, his like his pupils move around. That's crazy. Sorry. I just got <laughs> just just the way Toji punched him in the face is absolutely insane. Um I mean and, it is Toji. Let's cut him some slack. Let's yeah, cut, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll slack. cut him. I'll cut him some slack. Like Toji's doing this to most people, but damn, that's unfortunate, bro. Um, yeah, I don't know. What what are you with all this? I mean, see if I you guess. keep the be- if you keep the beanie on, I think I think Eno <clears throat> can sit pretty high. C. if you take the beanie off, I I, I don't <laughs> know who he is anymore. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll we'll put a, we'll put a middle of the road C. All right, there we go. Put a middle of the road C. <laughs> Toji stole his shiesty and dropped him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. All right, next up, Inumaki. Inumaki looks cooler in Volume Zero. I said what I said. Yeah, uh, I I don't know what happened to his haircut. Glow down. Yeah. Oh well, bro, bro just and the turtleneck too. Like that teal, yeah. that kind of pops. Yeah, bro, bro just looks cooler. I don't I don't know what, who made him like. It's like he doesn't look bad in in season one or how he looks now, but his hair. I just, think he does. His hair. That bob cut is awful. <laughs> bob cuts are just an L. The only person oh. that can pull up a pull up Leo. a Leo, just mom. That's it. Just mom. Yeah. Oh, you Leo. Thank, thank you for the twenty five. Good luck to y'all. Also, L creams for that Shoko tweet. You spitting on all fronts. <laughs> um. Yeah. Appreciate it, Leo. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Means means a lot. Means a lot. Um. Let's see. Okay. So okay, I'll just ask this before and after, right? So Inumaki with good hair. Where do you have them? Where do you guys have them? Um, Inomaki. Kinda looks, a. He he gets he gets compared to Yuji enough to where 
didn't Gage had to make a tweet or like a not a tweet, but didn't he have to I say? Think he, like, I think he changed his hairstyle because of that. Mm-hmm. Like I think that's I think that's what happened. Okay, if he if he looks if he's like compared to Yuji, and you you already know how I feel about Yuji. I, I I'm gonna have um JJK Inumaki pretty high. I'll say A mm-hmm. with Liz. Okay, yeah. got you, got you. Cool, cool, cool. You know, it's funny though. Like I don't I don't really see it, but it's it's funny. Like sometimes I doubt the intelligence of the fan base because you know another person they got like they got Yuta and Megami confused all throughout like. Somebody, I remember after watching the movie, like back when people were talking about Volume Zero, um, people were like, "Bro, that was about that wasn't Megumi," and <laughs> that I, bro, it blew me away. It blew me away that somebody watched an hour and a half or hour and forty minute movie with Yuta as the main character, and only when they came to Twitter did they realize that they have it wasn't about born. megami it, it, but it was it was like it wasn't just one person it was dozens of people that i saw in one thread that were like what 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 i'm like bro huh maybe <laughs> they, they just like megami a lot they saw they saw a, a, a somewhat depressed looking guy with black hair and said that's gotta be megami i'm I, it was insane it was it was actually it was it was something different man it was different. Didn't Gege also make a comment on yes. Yuta looking like Megami? He he, he commented because he he I think he had them like side by side at one point uh, in like an extra chapter extra thing, and I think he was just like yeah. He did a lot of chapter extras where yeah. he was like, "This guy is not this guy. Yeah. This guy is not this guy. This guy is not this guy." <laughs> like, is that Megami? I'm like, bro, what? I mean, it, if enough Megami. people are getting it confused, that there's got to be something going on, right? Uh, well, I mean, it's like the Sasuke parallels, you know, he's literally a gloomy, black haired character. And also maybe like the idea of a prequel never dawned on them. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. It's possible. Um, all right. Next up, Ishigori. And you guys some, seem to have strong opinions on it. So I'm gonna let you guys fight it out for a second. I'm gonna be right back. I'm just gonna use the bathroom. So you guys, you guys, you guys have at it. So Wait. who's up next? Ishigori. Ha <laughs> ha. I like the pompadour. You like the pompadour? I, I do don't like the pompadour. The pompadour, I... it, it's like you know the 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 trope of pompadour characters and they're like all types of anime and manga. They're just like mm-hmm. those really cool, gaudy, gaudy characters. But Ishigori, he to me, he doesn't exactly give that vibe off. He he feels more refined and more about business more so than like trying to make people feel like he's about business with like his words and his attitude kind of just shows that through his actions so when he shows up at the end of what was it uro and yuda going back and forth uh, about fujiwara nonsense Mm -hmm. i think this is after the triple domain clash no this is right before this is when they're about to expand it he shows up and says that's enough words that's enough talking and he just starts pounding on his chest those are the types of things that I can't wait to see animated. Like, yeah. Pompadour or not, Ishigori is the only one that can pull that off. Just like Choso, like, running onto the battlefield after Shibuya. And mm-hmm. everybody there can hear his heartbeat. Like, those... That's cool. That's like a character design thing to me. I hate the Pompadour a lot. Damn, do you but... think it's just ugly or just, like... Uh... I don't like the, character. yeah, well, I mean, okay, so I like everything about, like, that Grease Lightning character, like, it's fine, John Travolta, that's, that's great, but, like, it might push it, okay, I'm, this is, like, serious nerd exposure here, um, it might push it closer to, to, like, the Danny Zuko line of things than the John Travolta line of things, I don't know, he's uh, a little bit greasier of the, the greasers, I guess. Um, are you talking about Danny Zuko from Greece? Yes, yes, I am. Uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely. I could see um, that. Yeah, I could see that. Where where you're coming? From. Yeah, like maybe a little bit more of the skeezy type, and then we get the flashback, and we see him, you know, hanging out in the red light district with. Let's not talk about that. I don't know what was going on with Ishigori's hair back then, but. Lord, oh, that's that his top knot, or that's how they did, yeah. <laughs> that was the style. That yeah. was it, that was it, that's how they did that, that little ponytail for bangs yeah. or whatever. Mm. 
I'm glad he changed that style. Nah, bro. Bro, peak, peak Ishigori style right here. This, Wait, this what does he look like with his hair down? I don't even remember. Good! Him and Yuta, oh my gosh, they're so <laughs> cute after their battle. <laughs> Yeah. Just sitting on the hill looking at the crows flying by. Uh, uh, fighting with a sword, though, uh, I feel like it's something I need now. I'm not going to lie. No, sword? you don't. Yes, I do. Yeah, you I already do. have Megami doing that. You don't need Ichigori doing it. Bro, listen, all I'm going to say is there's not a single character I can think of that would not be cooler if they also had a sword. Like, <laughs> I'm going to just be honest. Um, right. Listen, okay. but How does Granite Blast work with that haircut, though? <laughs> That's the best part. He made it work with the haircut. It's so aesthetic. It probably just appears in front of his skull. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like it just appear. It just happens that the pompadour makes it look a lot cooler. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's a uh, that's you know Ishigori's cool. Would did you guys did you guys end up coming to a, a consensus on on where you guys where you guys see him as? Because I'm 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 not too. Uh, Wait, I don't have too great of an opinion on on Ishigori. Can you hair bring up a, a yeah show show a picture of his hair down? Okay, so this is right after he gets hit, and I can find another one. Let me see. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think. He... Oh my God! Please, yeah, you got to find another one. That his hair looks like, like the <laughs> like the classic, um, cartoon. Oh, how dare you! <laughs> this is also this is also Ishii's way with his hair down in color. How dare you! Looks like he just stuck his finger. In an electric socket. Oh my, no. Here's another I'm one. Sorry, Here's no. another one. Here's another one. I guess I don't know. Ishigori in it. And he needs yeah, a pompadour. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna he need that pompadour. Fit, he needs a pompadour and all of those. So a God. Are you? Are you with Tesseron thinking that he looks really bad with his hair down? No, he's. That's. This is a tier. This is peak a tier. Well, hold on. This hold on. is. Ch bro. Chat. Look at that! Look at Chat. that! Just look at Chat him. Saw the color page and said hot. Nah, that's crazy. Yeah. See, I'm saying he's just. Bro. Look at it. It's just asking for fingers to be run through it. <laughs> what? He needs his it own it looks tier. Well kept, I guess. Like y'all are what? Yeah, yep. I can, but like I can see. Okay, whatever. I'll put him in. Uh, whatever. Uh, yeah. He looks like a wet dog in that. He kind of spitting, bro. Listen, I like I like Ishigo with his pompadour though. Yep. I'm not I'm not gonna show on Ishigo. <laughs> Ishigo. Wait. No. Say, oh. yo, <laughs> Ishigori. Jesus. Um. Ishigori in eight tier is fine. I like pompadour Ishigori. Yeah, pomp the pompadour is better just because his, his hair looks like when it's down, it doesn't look like it has much volume to it. It looks like someone dumped a bucket of water on his hair. It's kind of like sticking a to a granite his blast. Face Somebody stuff. dumped a granite blast <laughs> on his head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, bro's jawline is stronger than his curse technique. That's hey, an insane, no. statement. insane statement. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, granite blasted. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Anyways, next up on here we got Janichi. This uh, this guy, he's a big, a big. I feel like if you took Janichi's like his like kimono off, uh -huh. he'd be like really gross and hairy and just well, we smelly. Seen, we've seen him without his. Well, we've seen him without like the top part of it at least. Um, oh really? And yeah, um, yeah. I, I'll say this right. This is one of the few times I feel like Naoya was kind of spitting because he did say like. I if only you had Toji's looks, and I'm like, I mean, it probably wouldn't have hurt. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it, it probably it probably would have hurt. Uh, that is, you know, he's not he's not hideous by any means. He's just like kind of like a gruff dude. That's all. I don't know. It's like he tried to do Ghetto's hair, but messed up really, really <laughs> badly. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Bro, bro kind of got like that 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 hedgehog porcupine. Like hair back, I don't know. Um, yeah. Let's see. Someone's saying he's got a fire volume sketch. What does his volume sketch look like? I don't remember. Um, L genetics. Oh, yeah, he does. yeah Wait, he does. Yeah, L genetics is crazy. L yeah, that is, is crazy. crazy. L genetics is because you you know who else is part of his gene gene pool? Yeah, Toji and Naoya. So I don't know about L yeah. genetics. Bro, bro, just got the short. He just got the short end of the stick. That's all it is. Like, 
Yeah. I'm actually asking myself, like, whether to give him at least, like, B tier just based on genetics. No. No, don't, don't disrespect Toji. <laughs> Let's be real. No, I mean, that's, like, due to Toji. Oh, due to Toji. Okay, Toji pulls him up just from being so great. Dead ass. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like that perspective. I don't know about B, but I do like the perspective yeah. <laughs> of Toji being so attractive that he, he pulls up the other members. He literally pulls up people that are related to him. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, Jinichi's, Jinichi's fine and he's okay. He is all right. Yep, that's that's about it. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I think that's fine. Um, no way Ran we're giving him a genetics like... tax. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. All right, cool. Next up, we got a real goat. We got Jogo on the list. Let's start. We can put him in S tier. We all know we agree. What did you say? A real goat on the list. Jogo in S tier. See, look at look at that. The first two talks. Oh Jogo God. goat. Jogo oh, easily S tier. That's what I'm saying. Y'all get it. And I'm assuming you guys He's do too. He's cute when he cries. <laughs> yeah. I think Jogo looks. <laughs> He's the ugliest disaster curse, in my opinion. He's just, he just, nothing about him just, like, Hanami, Hanami gives, gives, like, the nature vibe in, in a unique way. I think, <clears throat> um, Dagon does the same thing with, like, his sea monster or whatever. Jogo just, he, it, it's like he's trying to do it in the most on-the-nose goofy way. Just a big volcano head. That is so Bro, lame. Hanami has tree branches coming out of his eyes. What do you mean <laughs> in such an over-the-top basic way? Let, let's be honest, right? But if you see I Jogo, said on the nose. Like, he's so boring. Like, at least Hanami's is, like, unique. He He's, like, one with nature, so he doesn't have any eyes. And instead, he replaces it with nature. And I'm assuming he just feels everything out with curse energy. Jogo is just, like, a minion with a... A volcano on its head bro he's a hothead that's why he got the volcano on his head it all makes sense listen you're not understanding Garbage. bro you're not understanding like listen 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 you're gonna look at this and tell me this this ain't a peak character design look bro look at these tears look at this peak character design bro yeah nah bro like <laughs> listen Listen, bro, the Jogo disrespect is absolutely insane. Oh <laughs> looks prone to get bullied. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I should ban you for that. Jesus, man. That hurt but it's my true, feelings. though. That hurt my feelings, bro. Listen, listen. If J Jogo sexy. Listen, if Jogo pulls up on you, Tessero, you're going to be scared. That's all I'm saying, right? Like just, just I'm gonna be just... scared because he can kill me, not because he looks scary. Bro, bro listen, you're telling me you tell... how tall is Jogo? I gotta figure out how tall Jogo is. How tall? I'll be Jogo like three, really? four. He's really short, or he's always hunched over. Uh, he's four foot seven. Okay. He also oh, gets wow. several inches shaved off of him quite often. <laughs> <laughs> Jogo top S tier. See some at least somebody knows ball in here. Yuji why why do Fuji? Why... Okay, he is an me, adorable like... little Oompa Loompa. Why do you like him, Ronan? What is so good about his design? Bro just bro just looks cool. I I I mean, I don't know how else to put it. Jogo just like looks. He looks cool. He to me it fits like him being a little a little imp, him being like a, a midget that that literally talks a big game but mostly <laughs> gets beat up. To me, it That's fits cool. his character. It just, it just fits. And yeah, you know, sometimes fits, he'd be looking intimidating. Cool? Sometimes he'd be looking intimidating. To whom? Where? I'm showing you, bro. I'm showing you. Look, 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 look. I got I got at least two examples of him being intimidating. Boom. Oh, nasty teeth. His bro, the diner like, don't fuck. count. The diner don't count. Bro, intimidation. Uh, listen, there is no there are no rules in, 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 in the, in the oh, world boy. of intimidation, all right? He's scary. Listen, Yuji literally like he, he starts shitting himself when he sees Jogo. Clearly that guy's scary, right? Clearly he's got he's got that X factor. Nanami, Naobito, Maki, all of them freeze up when he shows up. You want to know why? Because he's an imposing he's strong. force. Because he's an imposing force, bro. He looks scary. They they freeze up as soon as he pops into and in, pops into their world. As, yeah, okay. It's because he's scary, man. Yeah, but being scary is being scary good. Because you can be scary in a in a way that's not cool. He ain't like, scary. Uh, Pull up the panel of him and Choso like coming out of Gojo's point two domain. I'm 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 gonna show, I'm gonna show you something <laughs> scary. I'm gonna show you something scary. Look look at this. They they terrify. Everybody's is freezing up. They're scared. They're frozen they should be in freezing fear. up with a volcano around. They're, they're 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 frozen in fear. They're just stuck. Oh look different. at that. 
He he looks like a teenage mutant ninja turtle, but not My cool. My God, bro, you can't keep <laughs> cooking Drogo like this, bro. That's crazy. It's insane. All right, whatever. Yeah, I he's know. so menacing. Didn't kill any of them. Bro, not a they, single now, one. Now Nabito died. Now Nabito's dead. But I mean, he was already on death door. Later. Okay. Listen, listen, listen. Live. Jogo was the reason Maki got a character design. Like she, she's the reason she looks better. Come on, give some appreciation. Like, I like, won't even appreciate him for that. Maki crazy. looks good either way. Oh my god, bro. The glasses had to go. Those were going to be a problem in battle. Man, someone said El Tessero. The Who's, joke. <laughs> ass. You spitting, bro? You spitting, bro? He had everybody. I know. Four foot eleven. You, you're right, bro. Yeah. Oh, How the wow. fuck are you gonna be four foot eleven and not bow low enough for Sakuna though? Uh, like you're already <laughs> almost there. <laughs> Listen, no, Sakuna's not much taller, but bro, bro's like bro's like five <laughs> foot. So, so you're gonna like five foot, bro. All right. Pull up a picture of Jogo in the suit. I'm not doing that. Um You think <laughs> that's why Sakuna like spikes his hair up? When he takes over Yuji's body, I, I just to give that himself that extra bit. inch. You think Sukuna um, needs something superficial like yes. biking his hair? Yep. Please. He doesn't yeah. Look at Jogo like right that. here, bro. Look at Jogo right here. Scary, menacing. Bro's different. Bro's an entity of looks pure like destruction. Looks like an old man. An Bro's old, decrepit man. How many times has how many times has Jogo lost body parts before? He In died? every fight. I, I'm pretty sure it's Whoa, every fight he loses a bike. Ooh, the hot spring Jogo is adorable. Sure, if you want to go that angle. Whatever whatever gets Jogo higher up on the list, you know? I mean, Jogo, Jogo, if you wanted to look scary, he looks scary. Uh, if you wanted to look not scary, sometimes he's not that too. He's just if it goat. fits in your back pocket, it's not scary. <laughs> maybe That's it's crazy. the one eye. Maybe the one eye thing is off-putting. So or maybe it's his clothing. Liv, would you say a, a, a single finger of Suka isn't scary? That's that's pocketable. I would say that's pretty scary. See, things can be small what are you and scary. Talking about? I'm saying Jogo is a terrifying creature in a small package. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Like, I... <laughs> they, someone said, didn't they use this man as a soccer ball? They did. They used his severed head as severed head as a soccer ball. <laughs> it, it was filler. Uh, was it the, was, equipment <clears throat> was it in the manga? Um, yeah, no. The the anime. It might as well be anime. Anime. Uh, the anime butchered him. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop. Where would you guys put Jogo then? Now, Gojo butchered him. Sakuna um, butchered him. I think he I, personally, I think Dagon's design is cooler than Jogo's, but and that would result in him being where wherever Dagon is, but under him. Um, but that, that's what I'll say. He, nothing. There's nothing. There's no <clears throat> qualities that I personally like about Jogo. That it's like he doesn't do anything unique. My opinion, he just looks like a goofball. All right, <clears throat> all right, sorry, I just had a <laughs> almost that be for real. I am being for real. Hello, I'm being really real. I just had to wipe my tears real quick. Don't mind me. Um, <laughs> um, all right, guys, where, where are we put Junpei at? Where, where are we putting, where are we putting him? Junpei, yeah, where are we putting Junpei. I'll leave that to y'all. <laughs> I'll go for the next one. <laughs> of course he will. I'm going for the next one too, you <laughs> fucking loser. Um, yeah, he's. I mean, he he looks like he gets bullied. So, like in that regard, I I would say he you know he does his job pretty well. I would say C tier though. He doesn't he doesn't really do much than, much more than that. I don't know. I like his design better when he raids his mom's closet. So whatever that means. Dude, um, what does that mean? <laughs> C tier. Uh yeah, C tier's fine with me. C tier's fine with me. Now next up, you know, you know, switching the tone up a little bit. June pays mom. Um, so Tester, what do you think? What do you think? Amongst all the women in JJK, and I know probably a lot of people do not remember what June pays mom looks like. I'll pull up. But she here. is a top tier um female character in terms of design in JJK, and there's not a lot of them, <laughs> especially not a lot that are over the proper age. But June pays mom is just. Yeah, that's 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 a woman. <laughs> you 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 are indeed spitting. All right, yeah. you you are spitting, and I I can get behind that. Right, I can get behind that. I can't behind that. Um, yeah. yeah. In the case you guys needed a reminder, this is June Pig's mom. There you go. Um, <laughs> so yeah. I remember her bisected. Oh, for real, Frostizzle. That's how you remember her. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, we already we got her in the proper ranking. Upped in with ice packs too. 
<laughs> Why do you waste the design on Junpei's mom, bro? Gege, do not that be bad. Waste. Because we could, he could have put it on a different character, and we and we would have been, we would have been seeing this design for longer. I think that's the uh, wait, 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 stop spamming. Um, <clears throat> don't don't spam Harun. Hey. Let's see. Okay, uh, y'all are down bad. Okay, <laughs> and who said that? Harun. Oh, <laughs> Harun. Yeah. Look, if if you don't know how to see, like, if you don't know how to see beauty in in certain forms of art, Harun, that's okay. You can just admit that. <laughs> Yeah. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Oh, XTI7, thank you for the five. You guys really put Higuruma's nose above Jogo? That's criminal behavior. <laughs> Listen, I, if it were me, just me personally, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Um, hold on. Let's, there you go. Guys, stop spamming, yeah. please. Good show off the paint real quick. Um, all right. Yeah. She's, nah, a, she's mom, a mom, though. Why is that and? a detractor? But, but that, okay, hold on, hold on. Bro said that like that's like a negative. Like you take away points for that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like, like bro, don't take any points yeah, or bro, bro. What? <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways, yeah. So I put her in the right tier. So there we go. Uh, next up, at least no. We're not, I'm not letting you disrespect Jogo like this. We're moving on. Next up, um, <laughs> we have Combo in his first form. I actually like this design quite a bit, to be honest with you. Pigtail um, combo. Yeah. Uh -uh. Pigtail uh -uh. combo, best combo. Uh -uh. He, I think this is where his his vibe is put together the most, because he just feels like a snotty, noble-type character, and he mm -hmm. feels very traditional in his design, and he's also wielding a traditional technique. Mm -hmm. However, personally, I think his, hair, his haircut is garbage, so he falls really low for me. But his vibes are there in this design. Definitely there. I like Combo's design a lot. Um, his hair looks awful. Jesus. Um, uh, Combo looks cool to me. I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's like... I don't know. Okay, let me... I guess they're both the same character, so we'll end up talking about them. Do you like Combo's hair more now? Uh, Definitely. Yeah, Liv, I live. I know you do, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That is mad unfortunate. Um, it's just he looks so clean now. I don't know how all the male characters in JJK fight with sleeves like that, but I don't know. If archery is his thing, if he's going to be carrying a bow around and he's going to be uh, you don't want sleeves with that. Yeah, I can see what you mean. Plus, you're going to get all that blood puke that you're putting in Naoya's intake valve all over your sleeves. Blood you can't do that. Puke. Why are you calling it blood puke? <laughs> Bro, listen. Some of the some of the people oh, wait, he, he, up he, here. Some of the he did that, actually puke that, didn't he? Yeah. Some of okay, the people no. that are highest up here got crazy. Like we got Choso and S tier, bro. Look at his sleeves. What, what, what are we calling sleeves? His for sleeves now? are gone now. Yeah. Okay. Sleeve, okay like okay, sleeves so... have no place in the calling games except for on Kenjaku, and I guess Ura Ume, because that's how you say that. Arame. Yeah, for sure. It's Ura Ume. I Ura -ume. checked. Interesting. Uh huh. <clears throat> I checked yeah. more. Um, yeah. oh. combo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting both combos in B tier unless you guys have, unless you guys, you guys, you know, you feel like okay. He's but put the bit. new one, put the new one above the old one. Mm. Plus, Maki likes the new one better. So yeah, I hate Maki. So no, that's crazy. <laughs> um, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Um. No, sorry. That was that was just that was just some lingering anger from the Joko thing. It's a, uh, it's all good. Um. <laughs> Whiplash. Yeah. Whatever. I'll put them. I'll put them both in A tier. Um. Next up, the uh, clearly better John character. We got Kamo's mom. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, do you have some, you you have something you want to say about Kamo or? Well, you just got him in the wrong order. I just. Oh oh all. no! I I flipped it for you guys. You know, get you know being nice once again. Um. Broken now. You <laughs> back at it again. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Broken now. Yeah, is crazy. Um. Yeah. Anywho. Uh, Kamo, I will say Kamo's mom in the anime does not look as good. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't like her look in the anime as much. Let me see. What does she look like? Let me, let me pull up the full, full manga image. Um, she got that pre-development treatment. Huh? She got the pre-development treatment. I don't know. She looks cool in like you know Yuta's clothes. <laughs> what? Okay. The I'll scene where they're in the kitchen with Kamo's little brother, and they're all at the kitchen table. She's got like a, 
like a white thing on that kind of looks like you does. Like the special grade garb, almost. B yeah. Is a top oh, G. Do saying. not say that, bro. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Do not say that, bro. <laughs> Don't fucking say that. Kamo's mom is dead. What are you talking about? She's not dead. I thought yeah. she was living her best what? life. Yeah, she's literally living a normal life completely fine. What? what? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> We just got a flashback after the Sakurajima fight, you know, when Kamo was getting carried off the battlefield by mm -hmm. Maki. Yeah. Bro reading sorcery fight. <laughs> <laughs> Bro reading spiritual uh, battles, I'm not going to lie to you. Noritoshi's mom is fine. Oh, uh, Lamillion. Yeah. Or not Lamillion, sorry. Adnib. Come on, bro. Are you, wait, you disagreeing? Yes. What? Uh, like her fit. Look she, at she that got posture. The, she got the fit together. She knows how to dress. Like mm -hmm. she got, she got some fashion sense. But what she don't got together is a hairstyle. The hairstyle ain't it. <sighs> I can't be too work. mad at the hairstyle comment. Mm, I don't know, bro. I don't know. She got, she got that fit on though. Um. All right. Uh. I'll put her top. That kid does totally look like the kid that Yuta saves from the convenience store curse. That oh. totally does look like it. I thought I if it had a star on its hood, I, I thought, would buy it. I thought that kid was. I thought the one Yuta saved was a girl. I think he seemed like a little. It girl. is, but you never know in the story. You know. You just... That's true. You never know. Right, I guess that's technically true. Yeah. All right. Next up, I guess we're just following the mom motif. Um, we not got... not quite Landa, by the way. Not quite. Hmm. Sorry. Yeah. Um, Kyori, <laughs> Yuji's mom. Lord. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I I mean I. I'll say this in the best way possible. <laughs> I'm sure Yuji Yuji's mom is a beautiful woman, but that picture looks like she was. And I know how Om knows this is gonna sound, but I think that's what makes it funny. <laughs> it looks like she was possessed by a demon and forced to make a face she she would never make in her life. Like I feel like she just doesn't look like this normally. Yeah. Um I I She know. looks creepy. Yeah, she yeah, literally she... looks really creepy. Yeah. Like for bar, even barring the head stitches, like that's not even a disqualifier in my book. Yeah. But it just looks creepy. I think I think what makes it creepier is knowing that it's also Kenjaku. Like yeah. it's knowing yeah, I don't know. It, it fucking trips me out. Um, I, I think her design is fine, though. I don't really feel too strongly about it one way or another. Um, she's no Junpei mom, but, you know, like... I mean, yeah. Like, no. Nah. She's, 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 not, she's not bad. She's not bad. The, hair, the hairstyle, I, I like her hairstyle. Yeah, it's cool. Hairstyle's nice. What'd yeah. you think it Liv? I expect Megami's mom to end up having those same exact eyes. I don't know. Something about, like... The lashes, A tier lashes. <laughs> yeah, the lashes. Okay, for a second I thought you meant the way, like the the way she's staring and stuff, because mm. her, her eyes are the most creepy part on her face, in my opinion, and this image specifically. But mm. the lashes are nice; they're lashing. Yeah. It um, is crazy how Kenjaku always ends up looking like Kenjaku. Yes, yes, <laughs> you're right about that. That just blows my mind. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Her neck is kind of long. I will say that. Like, <laughs> bro, bro was, uh, bro was reading, Tokyo, bro was reading Tokyo Revengers when he drew this one. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I it's, it's not, it's not too crazy. It's long and dude, I'm not even about to read that all. I caught myself because I was, that was, that was, that was, that was fucking stupid of me. Um, I'll put it. I'll put it. I'll put her. I'll put her. I'll put her fucking B tier. I'll put her right here. Um, Kenjaku with the transcendent drip. I I'll give it to you. Kenjaku does have transcendent drip. Process oh, I like oh. that comment. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> uh, am I gonna have to fight for my life on this one? I don't know. Next up, we got Kashimo. Ooh. Kashimo's A tier. What, what what are we doing, guys? We all agree, right? Now I don't know if you you guys or the chat remembers what I said mm. earlier, but not everyone can pull off long hair. But I feel like Kashimo does it really well. Let's fucking go. I, thought you were I gonna really go like there. Kashimo's design. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Kashimo's, Kashimo's dope. Kashimo's dope. Kashimo with the white on white on white on aqua? 
it kind of hits. It's perfect. Yeah, Kashima, Kashima just Kashima's just different. Um, Do we know what color his lightning is? <clears throat> purple. Uh, oh, that's a little off putting, but who cares? It, have you to seen me, the, the purple uh, is. I think so. I think I'm looking at it now. Hmm. But purple wouldn't be what I was looking for. I thought it was black. Ooh, should have been black. cooler. Black lightning would have been kind of hard, though. But it doesn't affect his design either way. Yeah, I think it's cool. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I've come around to Aqua Hair. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat. Um, Kashima with white hair would probably be, like, really peak to me, but... Um, white hair? Like, yeah, I think so. Because yeah, that, that's yeah. just how I imagine him as. Like, kind of like the... I most, too. Most lightning types kind of have that. Um, it, but yeah, I, I fuck with it either way. I still have him in A tier. Um, all right. <clears throat> Next up, we have uh, good old, good old Catchy Zoo. Good old Catchy Zoo. Um, what do y'all think? Catchy about? Zoo is like he's a classic, classic idea of a curse in my opinion. Because goddamn, does he mm. look scary? Yeah, yeah. I, he kind of looks like Jogo's cousin. Yeah. Oh, oh my God, no. No. <laughs> no. What do you even mean by it, that? They're both short. They're both pocket sized. Yeah. yeah. You gotta stop. <laughs> you one's gotta... got too many mouths and the other one's only got one eye. Might have a full face at the end of the day. Wait, do you think Kogane is Jogo's cousin too? <laughs> no, leave Kogane out of this. Okay, it's pocket size though. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, true. Pocket <laughs> size, pocket size. Um Dang, that that image of Choso is so cool. He's clean. Too bad he sucks, but his design is that image of Choso. Yeah, <laughs> Choso? Did you I say Choso or Ketizu? Yeah, you said Choso. Oh, oops. I meant to say Ketizu. <clears throat> Bro, Harun, what is good with you? Like, are what? Okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man, calm down. Wait, like, what? Did, he can fit more than if you know. In the wow. middle of the afternoon. Like, bro, it, it is. It is three o'clock on the Lord's day. Can you relax? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, bro, God is out here, and you, you talk about catchy talking like about that. curses like uh, that. I'm sick, but yeah, I think it's, I think it's really good. Like, I'd put it, I'd probably put it in A tier. I think it, I, I'd probably put it lower on the A tier, but I think I like, I just like Kechizu for, you know, he be he be scary looking and shit. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So yeah. Uh, next up, Kenjaku in Geto's body. I mean, I I feel like we already ranked Geto, so. It's kind of established where he'd go. Um, and then Kenjaku, but like back in Kashimo's era. Um, I do not like Fujiwara Kenjaku at all. Interesting. interesting. Can we get a close up on that yeah, image? Yeah, I got you. I got you. I'll, he I'll looks like a creepy little weirdo. That's what Kenjaku is. He is a creepy little weirdo. Yeah, but it looks like he got the body of one this time. So it's like. It shows shows. Ghetto's a creepy <laughs> little weirdo too. <laughs> don't don't cap. <laughs> it's a spectrum. <laughs> it's, a, it's a spectrum of creepy little weirdo. Yeah. He, I will say, he do look like a little bit of like a Wait. little weasel. He do be look. He do be looking a little weaselly. I really like. I really like that that high the high high ponytail. Be only because it fits like the samurai vibe, mm -hmm. and he's also wearing like the um, appropriate attire. I don't know. He looks pretty good here. Yeah, that's cool. Um, not better than Ghetto, and you already know how I feel about Ghetto. But I think his design is pretty interesting here. Yeah, bro, looks like he evades taxes, huh? <laughs> What? <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Oh my gosh, you are so right. Bro, I don't know. I, I, I Jesus. Um, I don't know. He looks cool to me. Old uh, Kashimo, heart, heart. N no. <laughs> <laughs> Bro said no. no, no. Um, yeah. Uh, I think he's. I think he's fine. I'll put him in like. I'll put him in B. I'll put him. I'll put in B next to uh Kyori. There we go. The two. The two other versions of Kenjaki that we've seen. Um. Next up, we have Karara. Uh, I, I, I really like Karara's design. Uh, regardless of <clears throat> what pronouns you would like to use to refer to this individual, I think Karara's design is really, really nice. Yeah. Karara Kar know how to put a fit together. I'll say that. Um, I don't know. What do you think in B, A tier? 
Um, uh, probably, probably somewhere in B tier. Okay. Or may mm, I don't think Carraro looks better than Yuji's mom. Okay. I think I think I think it's probably somewhere in C tier or okay. or below Yuji's mom gotcha. somewhere. Okay. Cool. 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 Yeah. A. All these people are saying A tier. Interesting. Hold on. I'll I'll, uh, I'll do a quick poll real quick. And like, while, while I'm throwing this up, you can let me know what you think. I don't like the uh the like hybrid flare bell bottoms. Okay. Like uh, they drive me nuts. The jeans. Yeah, I don't like I don't like the jeans at all. It's like back to the you can't fight in that thing. <laughs> It's not. Let's let's be honest. Carrara doesn't need to fight. Like, from what I, mean, I remember, she does she, need to run. She does need to run. She what? It, what kind of mm, footwear is she wearing? She wearing heels. I don't remember. Nice. It's like it's like chunky. I don't know. Choso shoes. Choso shoes. Well, I like <laughs> Choso shoes, so that's a plus for me. Fucking docks with bell bottoms. Let me see. All of her shit is like reactions to their fight. I'm trying to find a full one. Like she um, kind of looks like um, what what is the um the name of the? Do you guys know what a gongoro is in Japanese culture? Uh uh-uh. uh. Wow. Uh, let me send you a picture. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh my god. Uh, I'm not. Never mind. Yeah. I didn't say anything. <laughs> forget it forget about it <laughs> never mind I, I will say the star in grower's eyes are pretty cool too at some at some characters so nice, nice little nice little flair yeah um, yeah i sure. like the uh like the aesthetic switch up from middle school kirara that we got in the chapter oh, like the chapter yeah. extra this girl to this. way better the jesus. glow up is crazy yeah jesus man um yeah because this is this is this is the, this is the before and after, and Karara just, just, just essentially got a personality. Um, yeah, I, I like, I like this version. Wait, we got to see Karara. What? Yeah, I didn't know Gege gave us that. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's a, that's a really interesting glow up. I, I yeah. like that a lot. Yeah, for sure. Found for who sure. they are, so <laughs> that's cool. Mm-hmm. Um... Melon Lord, that's wild. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess. Uh, good, good job. That's in, that's influence right there, at least you know. Um, so yeah, I'll I'll, I'll put her I'll put her decently I and B. Let's see. Mm. All right, Haru, we get it. You don't like Karara. <laughs> uh, stop, uh, stop calling her ugly, though. Yeah. Right. Uh, if you want to, if you want to talk about something ugly, we can talk about Kurushi, the cockroach curse spirit. Yeah, I think I, 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 I'll speak for myself. I'm sure a lot of people hold this fear, but cockroaches are pretty, pretty. Even though they're not like, like threatening, they're pretty scary. No one likes seeing a cockroach. Like yeah. you see one and you jump at the sight of one. Well, yeah. at least that's how I do, and. I think it's cool to put that in the form of a curse and make it like creepier, but to me, he just feels like one of the lamer curses. Yeah. In my opinion. Mm-hmm. It's boring. Yeah. Got you, got you, got you. I will say though, like and I, I don't think I disagree too much. Um, but I like when he first pulls up, he's coming out of the water and he's all like he's completely cloaked. Um, he just looks really, really Ooh. imposing. Um, like just that's straight. one of the things. Hmm. Sorry, Go ahead. that's one of the things that's actually kind of cool about him too. Is like he's got a little sound effect of his own, hmm. and like when he attacks with the swarm, like all the people that were hiding in the gym or the auditorium. Yeah, like you can hear that chitter, 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 chitter coming yeah. at you, <laughs> and <laughs> that's gonna make my friggin' skin crawl. Yeah. Um. Also, I don't know how you'd have found its mouth. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you locate it on that thing? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Yeah. Um, I think it's really creepy that it has actual hands rather than, like, I, I guess, like, feelers. Yeah. Or whatever cockroach. <laughs> now that I'm seeing it, <laughs> that, really, that really bothers me. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, just like it just just sort of has like humanoid hands. It's just like yeah. Well, it's got humanoid shikigami bits and pieces too <laughs> for its curse technique. Hmm. Yeah, Yuta really lips to cockroach. He sure did. He sure did. Um, and he's voted for it. His sword is cool, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a pretty cool sword. I will say that adds, that adds to the design a little bit. It's the design a little bit. I, I like Kurishi's design, to be honest. Um, I I don't know. I don't know. To me, he does he does his job just as well as Kachizu does his. I don't know. Um, but I you think he looks as creepy? I think so. Yeah. Because are you scared of cockroaches? Yeah. Um, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That that may contribute a lot to it though, but I think Iggy plays off that pretty pretty well. I think he plays off that 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 creepy factor that's already embedded in everybody to be scared of cockroaches is uh is And then I, it's I also it's like even if it dies as a player, it'll come back automatically anyway because of that inherent creepiness. That's mm -hmm. just like ugh, you can't kill something like that. Yeah. Except that your name is Utah. <laughs> 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 yeah he's okay. peak cockroach yeah i agree for him poppy he is peak cockroach <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah um okay let's see next up we have kusakabe um he's he has a sword and the volume cover is cool i'm not gonna lie to you i will say though he looks so stupid most of the time he's in the series like most of his in series time he looks really lame. Um, oh my god! Like I, I, I just got to be honest, bro. Like the sword tax and the volume cover tax is going crazy, but Jesus does he! And if you look at the anime version of him, dear God, bro, this is this is. Wait, horrendous. let me see the anime version. Um, and Donnie Darko, keep that same energy when we get to <laughs> Nanami calling Kusakabe boring. Oh on. wow. Why does he look Whoa. like he looks like a monkey in, in the anime? <laughs> like he like he's supposed to be Curious George or something. <laughs> yeah, bro is. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that's not good. He's like I don't know. He's like messy businessman. Uh, like his his suit doesn't even fit. Like look at his look at the inner piece of his suit. Oh God, just just <laughs> what is that image? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, bro. <laughs> he's so goofy, like he's trying to rid someone. <laughs> <laughs> bro's looking at so he bro staring somebody in their eyes while he's looking a lollipop, thinking he's doing something. <laughs> yeah, nah. Okay, never mind. I maybe I was just like operating under some cool, cool idea of Kusakabe <laughs> that I had, but he. <laughs> he's he, he's actually kind of like below average in looks in the looks department, and he is kind of boring. Yeah, bro, bro just got a trench coat and a suit on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say like, if he only existed in the volume cover, he'd be dope. But he doesn't, so I got yeah. his one big feat is so fast that we don't even really <laughs> see the cool moment. <laughs> Not not feeling Kusakabe that much. Kind of lame, kind of lame. One toothpick changes everything. Jesus, man. Um, That's a stack, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, w Sword mm -hmm. Skills, though. You're right. We'll put him up to C tier. Um, let's see. Next up, we have Mahito. Mahito base form. Mahito, Mahito, Mahito. Ow. Mm. Uh... I don't. I'll, I'll let y'all both go before me because I I don't even know what to say <laughs> about Mahito. Okay. What do you mean by that? It, it could be good. It could be bad. But you'll find out my thoughts <laughs> after you both give yours. I'm starting to wish we played that mini game. Um, Mahito <laughs> would be fine in S or A to me. Okay. Uh, I'm really not going to be mad about S though. Yeah, for sure. Um, Maito's cool. Like, <laughs> I will say that, like, my, my, my stance is, uh, he's definitely not in, like, if he's an S or A, it's not because he looks good. This motherfucker is busted a lot of the time, bro. Be, 
And I think I think that's part of his appeal, though. Like, I think those warped facial expressions, like him being super, like he's like super antagonistic to Yuji and like his dialogue and like poking fun at him all the time. I think when I think of Maito a lot, I think of the like him and Sukuna laughing at Yuji panel. Mm -hmm. And I think that, I think that, like, it really shows how Mahito, to me, Mahito works so well because he's, like, a humanoid being that just has the attitude of a cursed spirit, right? He's super grotesque, not in his necessarily always his facial features, but in his attitude. And it, like, ends up warping his face. He, like, he pulls these, like, super crazy, insane expressions. I like his design a lot. Um maybe for different reasons and live i don't know um but mm -hmm. I, i'll put him i'll put him i i'd put him in s tier to be honest like i <laughs> like his design but <laughs> i feel like he's like the perfect like character piece of play-doh to be whatever yuji needs to you know yeah get yeah. To where yuji needs to go and the fact that he's literally like flesh play-doh just makes that perfect um Agreed. And he gets to be playful with it. And that's, I don't know, that's kind of cool too. Seeing him just try stuff all the time. Yeah. Like, he doesn't care whether his cheetah print tie is tied all the way up until exactly 6 o'clock. He's just here to see what he can do. And that's exactly what he looks like. Like mm -hmm. him turning into a child to run away, like that's so typical. Yeah, my Children run away. He's cool <laughs> enough to make me like ignore his stupid hair sometimes, like the, the like the little little tied back stuff. Hey, Meme did his hair just a little bit sideways. <sighs> he he do be looking cool though. He do be looking cool. <laughs> um, now Tessro, now now that we've talked about our, our opinions, what is your super mysterious opinion on Mahito? Now, if I can separate Mahito from his personality, <laughs> from his impact on the story, and how I feel about him as a character. Maito falls down pretty hard. Just design wise, he, he's pretty he's pretty pretty butt ugly. But if you include all the things I just excluded, obviously Maito goes he jumps up to A or S for me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think I think we're of the same opinion in that regard then. I think we're of the same opinion in that regard. Um yeah. Okay. I do not hate. Uh, I am not a Mahito hater, Frost's old. Don't get me wrong. I really love him as a character and a villain. Yeah. Okay. Kind of ugly. Next up, Mahito Monster Form. I think that's the best curse in all of JJK. Jesus. Nah. No. Mm. In design, in design wise. Really? Okay. He just looks so cool. To me, I like this a little bit less than Mahito's base form. Really? really yeah i don't know it like it's cool and it's ugly but not necessarily like a oh i'm gonna rank it low way but i don't know i mean uh, it's because the thing is it's like it's really cool looking it's really like imposing when he just he just sheds his skin and comes out and like wish me a happy birthday i'm like all right well i'm a little scared now for you g you might I, I i was i was definitely worried um but I don't know. I think it might be because the a, a lot of the reason I like Mahito is how expressive he is, and the crown on his face kind of makes it hard for him to emote like that. I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, so he can't look creepy anymore. Yeah, yeah. His, his his creepy look is static. You know what I mean? Um, his I, I think a lot of Mahito's emotive abilities were why I like him, and because he loses that in his monster form, I am like. Yeah, I think he's cool. I think I'd probably put him in A tier, but I think I think it, yeah, I don't know. I like I like his design a lot though. I don't want to I don't want to make it seem like it's bad. Yeah. What about I you, think Liz? it looks a little bit too much like a finger bearer. Interesting. Okay. In a good way or a bad way? Like did he do it better? Well, in a is that a parallel in the plot type of way? But his his humanness did disappears with his face kind of like ronan said but at the same time like having a mask on and a mask that stands for like ego and pride and hubris and all those things that you know humans do it makes sense but i like mahito giggling in the halls of shibuya a lot better like mahito in the uh the photo booth 
like yeah. waiting for Nanami at mm. the end of Shibuya. Like that's it. That's that's Mahito. But yeah, maybe I would say I wouldn't put above a finger bear at all. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Moving bro, Harun, Harun is wilding out in the chat. <laughs> Relax, yeah. bro. Yeah, Har Harun is Harun is uh just going a little crazy. Now, I think this would probably be my favorite monster design up next, and it's Maharaga. Maharaga, I I I was I was so hyped to see to see him come out. He just it just looks to me, Maharaga just looks absolutely fucking insane. Um I What like does Maharaga look like again? Damn, bro's a fraud. I'm gonna grab a water before you pull that up. Okay, <clears> okay. <throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Maharaga, Maharaga. What the fuck? What did I just try to say? Maharaga looks dope. Let's see. Mm, right here. Here we go. Yeah, man. Maharaga just just an imposing figure to me. He's he's cool. I like I like his uh I like his design a lot. He just he just like it. it I can't say it fits well with the idea of him being a trump card. You know what I mean? Like this is this is this is the best Shikigami Megami has at his disposal, and it's this thing. It's just this. Oh, monster. that's why you like him so much because he's related to Megami. Correct. Um, but I mean, <laughs> <laughs> in all seriousness, I think it's just I just think it's like a really well done monster design. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. What do you think, though? Hmm. So, <clears throat> in terms of well done monster design, the only thing that I feel like really stands out on Maharaga is his face and like the weird thing coming from the top of his head, like the tail and the little bell thing mm -hmm. or the wheel. I think those are nice, but to me, it's like to me, Mahito did okay. So it's like my if if, if the only thing that's important is the head mm -hmm. and like any accessories on the head, Mahito did that better because other than that, he's just kind of a buff a buff like curse mm -hmm. with like a blade um i i don't know i just feel like maito did it better Amber like whoa a sword. like whoa. it kind of looks like a clicker from um the last of us yeah i ah uh, yeah i don't know what well, live, live came back you came back seeming like with with a strong opinion what, what what she what she got what she got this is wings done right so what? say practical <laughs> Those not at all but he also doesn't fly hmm. i thought those are face flops those are those are not wing. those are not face flops those They're, are wings i guess that's the same thing in this case <laughs> oh they are wings wow okay. yeah okay so here's why i like maharaga a lot i hate its name that's obnoxious divine um, maharaga that doesn't that doesn't really or Div divergent sila divine <laughs> general maharaga that doesn't just you know that didn't just roll off the tongue for you no nah. <laughs> um that thing on his chest is cool the chest piece of course the wheel is cool there's questions there obviously it means something cuz sakuna walked away from his domain with it but the sword like duct taped to its arm <laughs> Is so like, I don't know, mummy ish. Is that is that a good way to put that? It's almost like, let's see, how the inverted spear of heaven had like the hook taped to it so that you could attach whatever you wanted. It has like that archaic weapons vibe. Yeah, I can that. definitely see what you mean by that. Yeah. And it's its whole arm. And this thing, can we get a side by side of uh, Jogo and Maharaga? No, um, you can't. You can't get a side by yeah, side. That will not be it. That, yeah, well, it's <laughs> probably not visible anyway, right? Um, <clears throat> it's just imposing. So I feel like even the sound that that thing would make or the creak of that wheel turning on its head. Also, I'm so sorry, Tessero. That is a horn slash tail done way better than Ishiki Atsutsuki. <laughs> okay, <laughs> did, you th did you think I was going to defend Ishiki? <laughs> well, I never know when it comes to Ishiki. Ah, man, that's crazy. Comparing a JJK anything to Boruto is kind of nasty, but, you know. At, at the horns on the Atsutsuki on are so cool. 
I just yeah, they are cool, but Ron, Ron, mm. it's okay. Ron is just a hater. Yes, That's I okay. am. I am a hater of Boruto. Boruto's bad. It's a bad. It's bad. Everything. Well, about we need to bad, move on. Except Naruto and Sasuke. Jesus, need to move you're on. talking about a Sasuke student, you know? I don't care. <laughs> like what? I don't care. Boruto is in L. Um. Anywho, yeah, anywho, yeah, Maharaga's Maharaga, in my opinion, is probably the best monster design. Like he's he's uh he lives up to the hype, in my opinion. Ooh, I also like that all the other Shikigami like show up and make a aisle down to him. Yeah. That reverence is kind of cool. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, S tier on God. You spin, you spin, you spin. Yo, chat, switch up the conversation. A lot of y'all are about to start getting banned. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You're funny for that. Um, don't worry, chat. You're safe. You're safe. Um, <laughs> um, all right. Next up, we got my um, not sword form. You know, human. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> In sword form, I didn't put her up here because I thought that would be kind of crazy. But in sword form, she would be S here because she she'd be a sword. Swords are cool, but in in base, I mean, she's I I guess. Um, you I went know. out of your way to make that comparison. That was wild. I did. <laughs> I did. Um, I really dig her onesie. Her onesie in the Goodwill event. You and Nobara apparently. Um, Oh, that dress is great too, but I was talking about the onesie that she fights in because mm, dresses yeah. aren't easy to fight in. Got so you, you would got you, got you. Yeah. Is it is it a onesie? I thought she has a jacket. No. It's a drop well, I mean Let me see. she has drop crotch pants on and then the jacket. But... <laughs> Someone says she's wearing a wig. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my just looks like Megami. Fan Megami. You're, oh my you're, God. you're delusional. I'm gonna be honest mm -hmm. with you. That's delusion. That's She's, a... uh, wait, wait, you said mm hmm. <laughs> she actually <laughs> looks like Toji every once in a while. Don't oh my. my... No, 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 no. I'm so serious. Uh oh. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, mm -mm. oh no. Nah. Mm -mm. mm -mm. mm -mm. Show me. Get send one Toji panel. Send one Toji panel. I, and I'll, I'll put it up. Yep, yep, yep. Let's get let's get it up here. Let's, let's get it up here. Cause the my Toji, that's crazy. That's mm -hmm. insane. Um, goofy, goofy. Actually, shoes. the more <laughs> the more desperate she gets, the more she ends up looking like Toji too, which is kind of funny. Right. What are you, Liv? <laughs> what are you really saying right now? What's going on right, right oh, now? Okay, okay, okay. Chat. Toji spent a lot of time with those twins. This Toji. Um. It's a damn wig. Sugar free <laughs> Maki. What what does that mean? Sugar free Maki. Just a worse version. Um what? the closest thing you got is the cut, but no. Mm -mm. To what? To Toji? To Toji. That's the closest that's the closest thing I can see. Oh my god. It, it look, that cut in that picture, it, it's like she's wearing a helmet. Like she just put <laughs> on a football helmet. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, take that picture off. Exit that. <laughs> Exit that. We can't ever have her look like Toji ever. <laughs> Too much of an L. Get that on my face. No, that <laughs> cut is fake. No, no, no. Um, mm -mm. yeah. MC Hammer pants. I'm saying. Yeah. I don't, I, okay. Where would you Where would you put it then, Liv? Like, where Where are you? What What are you pushing for for my? I am a reformed my fan actually uh, and bias would have me put her in a mm -hmm. but i will <clears throat> accept the top of b okay okay due That's... to mm -hmm. due to post-mortem sword status yeah yeah there wait Let wait hold on to appeal to me. <laughs> you're not slick you're not slick at all <laughs> Outside of her being a sword and what it means for her to be a sword, do you still think she belongs at the top of E? <laughs> you want me to start talking for like the next two hours on the virtue of my <laughs> Zenin? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> no. I, I, <laughs> like, this I, is a never ending uh, mm -hmm. restriction pool, I guess. Is that what we're calling that uh, thing these days? Sorry, I won't. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna be honest. My she, what? There's still she's she's a second year. Yeah. So that bar is that bar is 
majority of like the way that the rest of the characters are being placed. Yeah. Majority of the other characters. So, and I also don't think she has anything notable outside of that. She just mm. kind of a, she just kind of portrays herself as like a, a mean girl. <clears throat> yeah, boneless Maki is a uh... boneless Maki. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Nobara says it herself. She's just like, "Yeah, Maki's prettier than you." I'm like, "Damn, okay, that's, that's crazy to say." But I mean, you know. Nobara might be a little biased. Maybe, maybe I could see that. Like, Mai is holding a gun to her face and you know threatening her at the time. So maybe, maybe she's not. Maybe you know, maybe she's not feeling the conversation at that point. But yeah, I'll I'll put her somewhere in B. She can she can go below. B below Karara. I don't think she has more style than her. Um, no, she definitely doesn't. Okay. Yo! Maki would not be here right now. Alright, okay. I'm done. <laughs> it's just design. We're looking at only design. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Speaking of Maki, we got two Makis on the table. So so one is, is pre-Jogo, one is post-Jogo. What are, what are we thinking? I, Well, Liv, I think you're the premier... Maki, um, stand here at least in this group of three. So please, we can put we can put Maki, Goodwill Maki in S for um her weapons customization versus Miwa, or we can put post Jogo Maki in S due to outrunning Mach three Naoya. Yes. So your choice. It, it sounds like to me we're not Airfield. we're not we're not um going off our design. It sounds like uh, almost like a power tier list. Well, I mean, like yeah. one or the other has to go in S. Those are that's like that's like my binding vow here. That's like my deal. Hmm. I can give you character design reasons after we settle on that. That's interesting. Where's Jogo at again? Oh, he's in B tier. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I just <laughs> Jogo the hill that you were dying uh, on. I, I just remember being slighted before. What I'm a just... small hill. Interesting. Interesting. Um, <laughs> a small hill that saved your character. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Damn. Let's see. So Accidentally didn't kill. Saved. You're welcome. Um, uh, <laughs> make sure to send Jogo a postcard in the afterlife. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Maki. Okay, so let I'm gonna get this right. Maki post Jogo, you know, giving you know, forcing her to get a haircut, giving her some new scars. You know, like I think that Maki's better. I think everybody knows that Maki's better, right, Tessa? You agree? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The post Jogo Maki is better. Okay, cool, cool, cool. But Tessa, are you thinking S tier? Because S tier sounds kind of crazy to me. I don't know. S tier uh... is kind of wild. Tier, she'd be competing with like, if if it's just based on looks, mm -hmm. she'd have to compete with someone like um, Junpei's mom. And yeah, not only is Maki still in high school, she she just like, she 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 looks good, but she just she she looks like pull a pull up the sumo like, domain, pull up the sumo domain. She's cool. <laughs> she's cool. She's cool. And it has a, she has a really good design. But like, okay, in order to be S tier. Better than Ishigori, Kashimo, Higuruma, Mahito, like all of them, like a tier above all of them. I don't know, man. I don't know. That's what hold up, hold up, stop, stop, stop the everything. Black on here. black turtleneck sleeveless onesie <laughs> is amazing. And yes, chat, I think that it's a onesie with a belt in it <laughs> for the sword. Yes, I think it's a onesie. Maki's fit slay. <laughs> Maki Maki has a nice fit. I fucking love that fit. The, the fit goes crazy. The fit goes crazy, right? Like all of, like Maki design post Jogo specifically. Just I think Maki design like looks really good. The contention is S cuz S is just different, you know what I mean? Wait, yeah. the short cape is stupid. I don't like, like the short cape. Like stupid good? I don't like the short cape. I think it's dumb. Okay, I Okay, cool, cool, cool. I don't like the makes short cape. Makes zero sense. I don't like the short cape. Like even like not from a practicality standpoint, I just don't think it looks good. I think she looks better when she's just like she just straight up has the um like Maybe she borrowed it from Joko. Maybe, maybe Joko gave it to him. So, it Maki, his dead body. so Maki should think uh should thank him twice. One for well, that's for helping her design more. Nice, nice, nice. nice. She got rid of the shoes and the cape in the sumo domain. Yeah, yeah. She's got, free now. Beat off okay, Let, let's be honest. I think I think Maki 
post Jogo looks cooler than Inumaki. Okay. Doji haircut. I, I can stand on that. I can stand on that. Um, I would I would be fine in putting her like in like around Kashimo, Ishigori, and Higuruma. Like that's kind of where I see her at design wise. I don't yeah. Know. We really got the finger bears. But all right. <laughs> if you want, I'll move the finger bear <laughs> below that group. There you go. We'll keep we'll keep we'll keep the finger bear lower. Maki here. And then Let's just pull a gay game and be like, I'm not going to rank Toji and Maki. We're going to no. put over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, besides, besides these two characters, this is where everybody scales. Um, so where is Toji? We'll get to Toji, all right? Toji's, Toji's going to get his due. Um, all right, cool. Cool, so now that we got that done. Maki's mom. Maki's mom. <laughs> Maki's mom. <Yeah. laughs> um, she looks Maki's good with a kitchen knife in her hand. Jesus. Um... She did us all a favor and um, killed Naoya, so... She should have put did cursed she? energy in the blade. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, she, killed, she killed him and then made Maki look even cooler. Um, so, points for that. But in terms of design, she just seems like the typical housewife character. Nothing remarkable. Nothing, like, egregious. Mm. I just think she's average. She's kind of creepy. <laughs> you think so? Like when she yells at Maki to come back here when she's walking towards the uh the warehouse door, it's yeah, it's weird. Yeah, maybe I don't remember that. Ah. She kind of looks like that curse that Ghetto pulls out on Toji. Yo? Wait, are her eyes black? Yeah, shrieky like that. Mm hmm. Huh. She does look a little creepy. It also <laughs> looks like she has like a, a mustache. <laughs> like. Like an old man stash on the sides there. Jesus. Interesting. Uh, this is what a life of three steps behind does. This hmm. is what that does. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Does she, does she consistently have blacked out eyes? Or is that just like to add to the creep? No, it seems to be consistently like that. Yeah. I don't know. She looks a little bit like she looks more at peace when she's dead, I guess. Um like when she when she's when she's like going off into the afterlife and like playing with Maki and Mai and the the flowers or whatever, she looks more at peace, I guess. Um, then she does convenient this. angle. Her <laughs> eyes are closed. Yeah, uh, you know th things are really going in her favor. Um, maybe not average. Maybe no, not maybe. I think below average. Yeah. 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 Ugh. yeah. Mm. No, she, Get it off she my doesn't screen deserve this. Average. She does not deserve this panel for the way she treated, at least the way on screen she treated the twins. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, next, Mechamaru robot form. Mecha, uh, the robot's cool. Yeah, he's cool. I guess. He's good he's dishwashers. Cool. You're insane. Um, he, what? <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, but I don't, I don't, I don't know if I, I don't know if I think it's anything super special. Oh, his like original robot form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about the big, big one. Yeah. Mode albatross form. Oh, this, this thing. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll say this, but it is unrelated. Mm -hmm. If anyone's played Tekken, there's a character named Mokujin who's kind of just like a, a big walking wooden doll. Mm -hmm. And he kind of he um this version of Mechamaru kind of reminds me of that, so I'll give him some points from that for that. But outside outside of him looking like Mokujin, he, he's just kind of average. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat on that. I think he's cool. It's, it's fine. Um, yeah, Liv, any any thoughts? Um, this is my least favorite of all the Mechamarus, including see. the pitching machine. Okay. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I think he's cool. I think he's somewhere in C2, wherever. Um, Mikamaru, and when he's in his bathtub, I actually like this design a lot simply because it makes me feel, like, really bad for him, I, which I think is the, the intended point. It's supposed to kind of be... Um, it's like... I don't know. It just, make, it just makes his situation seem super unfortunate, which I think leads into, like, some of his later stuff plot-wise. Him being like, I can't go into the moonlight. My skin will literally burn. I have to sit in this tank, and I don't have a lower body. It just makes it. It just I don't know. It just makes it seem like a very, a very almost 
pathetic and pitiable character on purpose. Um, and I appreciate that for what Gage was going for, for like what the what the purpose of his character at this point was. That's oh, when he's Maru. complaining to Panda about like how this was put on him and he didn't have a choice in it. Yep. Yeah. Tub Maru. It almost <laughs> <laughs> That almost makes me uh I don't know. Panda shuts him up right away afterwards, but it sells me on the complaints and it sells me on his reasoning to do what he did. Yeah. Because this heavenly restriction to me seems like a, a a bit of a like more of a short change than Maki's. Like both of them result in like you mm -hmm. like, but it's like, dude, Maki doesn't have cursed energy, but she can function in the real world even more so than normal people. You know what I mean? Like, if she decides not to be a sorcerer, she's okay. Mechamaru's only viable option is to be a sorcerer because physically he is less than inept. You know what I mean? He can't even something as Something as little as the moonlight is burning his skin. You know what I mean? Like, he can't move. Doesn't his time. family also think that he's dead? Like, didn't he have that arranged so that they wouldn't worry about him? I have no idea. I, I, um, if so, that's oh a detail. I definitely, I, I definitely don't, don't remember that. Yeah. That's possible, though. But, yeah. He a traitor, though? What's that got to do with how he, what, how he's designed? <laughs> he's a traitor to both sides, though. Yeah. So he traitored. The traitees right back. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, they okay, converted into fans. Hmm. We get okay. it. You want to buy Mechamaro's bathwater? That's really gross. Yeah. Sure, he doesn't ever get out of that bathwater. <laughs> yeah. And that's kind of the other thing. Like when Yuji and Co. show up looking for him with mm -hmm. uh, Udahime. Yeah. Like the condition of that room is kind of like, yo, this Grimy is how you live. Yeah. Like that sucks. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Um and yeah, to me it makes the the like this form his human form post auto transfiguration. I like it. Um I I I think part of it though is is like I feel like like yeah, you you betrayed us blah 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 cuz you're going to try to betray him back. It make it made me root for him cuz he was like he was like, dude, I just wanted to be like a normal human being. You know what I mean? And I just wanted to like be able to stand with my friends in Miwa. So, my friends and Miwa, because <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think he considers Miwa just a friend. That, that's my uh, that's my reading of it, though. Um, Kokichi bathwater. Okay. Um. Yeah. Sorry. Muda's still alive. He's currently a overhead projector in America somewhere. Alrighty. <laughs> um. <just> small take. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I don't know. What do you guys feel about him post title transfiguration? I really like it. He he's he gives me main character vibe. Like he looks like he's designed to be a main character. Um, yeah. In his normal form. For sure. And he just came out swinging in terms of like what he did with this opportunity. He he was trying to like he, although he was like betraying everyone and whatnot. He was trying to do something really ballsy, mm -hmm. and it was really respectable because he almost got it done. He was so close. Yeah. Although he probably would have gotten killed by Kenjaku right after. Yeah. But but I mean he was like <laughs> he he was like okay, I just got to I just got to beat you guys. And he was he, he, for a, for a regular human body. Like did, I don't know, to me that the design and like the willingness to change that design so much kind of adds context to his character because it's like he felt so alienated and ostracized that he was basically willing to betray everybody but but, but like try to fight Mahito and Kenjaku himself just to be normal i don't know yeah. i like i like that not just i like, think it's hmm. go ahead I, I think it's interesting too that he still has a scar yeah like when he's transfigured like in his true form like as he would be he still has a scar on his face yeah so that's kind of like i don't know like the toto having a scar thing scars mean something to people but also having a truffle tree for a ponytail is kind of cool <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah. Also, the way that he summons all of his <laughs> Mechamarus from behind the bathtub. Yeah. Just as like a smokescreen decoy to dip out of there. Like that's that's like one of those moments that's going to mm. do, do the goosebumps. Unrelated to appearance, but him holding up the middle finger to Mahito when he brings out the simple domain is super funny. Because I don't think he needed to do that. 
<laughs> but he's just like he's just like he when he thinks he's get the, he got the win he's just like yep all right simple domain you're dead bud um, yep. i think he actually did have to do that didn't he wasn't it loaded in each finger so he oh, had to like been, yeah it may have been yeah that's true um that's kind of yeah, cool yeah. <laughs> he said fuck you mahito yeah um <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 very deserving of a volume cover very deserving for sure yeah um now uh i put i personally be cool, cool putting him like low a i'm not gonna lie i think he, i think it looks really cool um okay, okay. uh next megami me, uh s tier uh may may well i mean there's, there's no root, like there's no reason to debate this right I, I don't think i don't think there's reason to debate it but i i, I personally think megami should be above um <clears throat> mecha i'm not mechamaro um well mechamaro yes but mm. i meant to say maharaga okay yeah i'm cool with that that's yeah, fine with me um live i mean you you agree with megami ness right the urchin fine Fine. He does look good bleeding from the head. Like, Gege seems to like doing that to him. Um, fine. <laughs> S. Okay, okay, okay. Nice, nice. She yeah. like has so much more to say. <laughs> fine. <laughs> I just... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay. Cool, cool, cool. I'm glad, I'm glad chat's also agreeing, you know. Uh, I mean, obviously... It's the right answer, but you, you know. Do you, you see never what know. Melon Lord said? What did Melon Lord That's say? That's goaded. What do you say? That's facts, Melon. He said, "If Megami is S, then Yuji is S." Oh boy, here we go. We'll we'll get into like like I don't know. I mean, I'm not I'm not opposed to that idea. Like Yuji Yuji being S is not some some crazy thing to me. You know what I mean? Um. So yeah, we'll 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 keep that in mind when we get to him. Uh. Next up, we got Mei Mei. Uh. I mean. I feel like mm. I, I feel like we know what's going on. Uh, S tier, right? All in agreement. Mm. If, if we take away her whatever kind of relationship she has with her brother, mm -hmm. then yes, I think I think um, May May actually surpasses Junpei's mom. Oh, yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with their hair like out of that braid, mm -hmm. Lord. <laughs> you get it. You know, ball for real. Um, <laughs> you, I, I'm just gonna be honest, bro. You, you, you understand. Um, yeah. Let's see. A any thoughts? The Liz? poses with the axe. Yes. Yeah. There is undefeated. I gotta, I gotta find. I gotta find because I know exactly. Right. What you're talking right about. before the coffin. Right before mm, the coffin. Okay. Yeah. 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 Got you. Um. Yeah. yeah there. Yeah. Mm, hold on. Yeah. May 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 be. She be doing her thing, you know what I mean? That's it. Um May May's a city girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um let's see. Where there's one particular one one panel, I think. There, there we go. Let's get at it. Yep. Yep. She really did spend <laughs> all of her life working on her body. And then <laughs> picked up her curse technique. <laughs> Yo, are those abs I'm seeing through? Dead, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even notice that before. Yeah, maybe maybe yeah. maybe may, may gets it for real. That's it. She That's just it. might be the best. Yeah, the I, best um female character in JJK design wise. That's, that's kinda what I'm saying. That's kinda what I'm saying, bro. Uh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. Let's steer. Perfect amount of like sleeve extraness too. Like that's not gonna get caught on anything. It's not gonna get in your way. Hmm. Yep. But it's still poofy. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh next up we got Miguel. Uh he's he's cool. <laughs> I guess. Uh -huh. I like I like his like army commando outfit he's got going on. Yeah. But like outside of that, I would have liked to see his hair like what kind of hairstyle he has. Yeah. Like is he is he just ball faded like buzz cut? Does he have like Hakari kind of hair or like what kind of does he have an afro under that? What does he have under that hat? Yeah, for sure. He has the rope. The rope is all his hair. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that makes <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I I like I like his vibe. I like his vibe. He's also bold as fuck. 
uh, to just to just be like, he all right, I'm, I'm going to fight Gojo. But he can back it up, though. To be Loki, honest, I like, mean, like Gojo was hitting him a lot, and he just he kind of just was okay. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Go, Gojo was punching the shit out of him. He was just like, oh my goodness, and then ran. I was like, okay. Wait, I complained about Ghetto the whole time too. <laughs> His manga design and his anime design are noticeably different. Yeah, he's a lot thinner in, it, in the yeah. manga. Um, kind of looks like that character from Street Fighter in the manga, but in the anime, he just kind of looks like a buff Chad <laughs> with, with hoop earrings. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I like his design. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like that he dodges Gojo when Gojo goes overseas to meet up with Yuta. <laughs> it's just like, I ain't going. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, the one negative is his red, his red shoe. Those red shoes are, are not it. Let me see. Uh -oh. I, don't, I don't remember his shoes. Let me see if I can find... Oh. He, yeah, you kind of... Mm. <laughs> Yikes. Um, nah, you kind of right on that. I was like, red shoes. I guess I just didn't notice. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not vibing with the red shoes, to be honest with you. I'm not vibing yeah. with the red shoes. Oh, I have those shoes. I'm vibing with. Okay, the red but shoes. I'm, I'm pretty. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. I'm pretty sure you could put it put it together better than Miguel because yeah. I don't know what he's doing here it's, with it's, those red it's, shoes. It's the fit combination. It's the fit combination. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, B tier, like low B. Is that cool? Like. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Cool, cool, cool. Those shoes over Jogo. Damn. It looks super I, I'm gonna, uncomfortable. I'm going to time you off for that, buddy. Sorry. That's, <laughs> that's unfortunate. I can't let you speak again. Uh, I think they probably just met in elevation, you know? I'm going to mute you on stream. You don't have a on here. I'm not giving you a platform to speak anymore. I'm sorry. I can't let this happen. Um, uh, allow me to allow me to step away once more as you guys talk about, uh, I think this is Mimi. Is it Nanako? It's one of the. It's one. Of, I'm gonna bring. Where's the other sister at? That's the light haired twin. Yeah, yeah. The one, the one that like tried to use the phone to kill Suikun. I'll let you guys talk about these two. I'm gonna be right back. Um, so you know, you guys, you guys can discuss. The one that also used her phone to bring her and Nanako back to life after Jogo killed them. Like, wait, full they're killed them. No, they were alive for a short period of time until Sukuna killed them, but. Yeah, they regen themselves or like respawn themselves with her curse technique. I didn't even notice that. Neither did I until I was looking for uh, pictures of them today. Well, I'll say that Nanako. Um, well, hmm, I, I I guess I'll speak on her individually before her and her sister. She kind of gives me like I don't know, Liv, if you've ever seen or heard of the anime called My um My Dress Up Darling or. I think that's what it's called. I've kinda, totally seen the cover of it. Yeah, thumbnails. Yeah, she kind of gives me like the same vibes as the main character. They don't look alike or anything, but just kind of like that like that bubblegum popping high school girl that's always like talking about boys, <laughs> going to like the boba shop and stuff like Kid that. Kid Sister Kelly. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's definitely Nanako. Yeah. Uh and Mimiko kind of gives me, this is going to be the worst thing I could possibly say. Wednesday Adams, but like a beta. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could see that. It's, yeah. I don't know. Like, even, okay, so she hangs people. That's creepy kid stuff, you know? Typical creepy kid behavior. But weirdo. she can't do anything on her own. Sister can, like, bring us back to life if we take a selfie real quick before we die. But, I don't know. Worthless curse technique, too. Totally looks like uh, Miwa if, you know, her mom was still dyeing her hair black, though. Don't you do that. Don't you do that. Hey! You summoned me. I, I think I would have pref preferred <laughs> these two to be, like, um, the two characters from Tokyo Ghoul who kind of look like just, like, black and white versions of one another. But mm, just have different okay. personalities. Got you. I know what you're talking about. It does, like, the twin thing, since that's so prevalent with some of our main characters, it would have, I don't know, these two, like, how did twinmanship hold them back or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
what twinmanship twinmanship i was gonna let it rock i wasn't gonna call you out on it but no, you, you you called yourself on it um, the lexicon is mine yeah wednesday adams but like a beta what did i just Ooh. read <laughs> what was the sequence of words i just read um okay okay um did you guys um what did you guys think like I, you know while i was gone um uh d uh c <clears throat> I, I i'll give i'll give nanako um extra points in her sister because she just feels a lot more quirky mm -hmm. and it'd be like maybe i could see my myself hanging out with this kind of um this kind of person back when i was in high school mm -hmm. so I'll, I'll say i'll say nanako, nanako is yellow hair, higher than her blonde yeah yeah she okay i'll put her her sister just seems like just kind of, she's just like the quiet kid who's really weird, but she, she keep she doesn't keep her weird interest to herself. <laughs> like the first thing she says is, "Do I hang him?" Like, yeah. Uh. Well, it's like okay, so the older sister or like the blonde sister is super popular, and like little sister stays in shadow, but like big sister's platform allows little sister's weird tendencies to like, you know. Be put on display. Yeah, yeah. yeah for um, sure. be before we continue though, Pep Rally yeah. Hangman, your boy Plank. The reason why Hikari is in B, um, you had to be here earlier, but we were talking about how Hikari looks better with his like dreads or twists that he no longer has. And now, kind of just looks like he has a a sponge on his head, like a purple sponge. It's an L. But yeah. but like Hikari with the dreads or the um the twists. That that's the best version of Akari. Forget his forget his current version. Yeah. He's still cool though. Yeah, I agree. I agree, I agree, I agree. Akari's so. in B because of Tessero is what that <laughs> means. <laughs> hey, Ron Ronan agreed with me. Yeah, Liv would put like Hikari in like Esther or well, maybe. I don't know. Maybe something. Well, I do believe that Hikari's like kind of steez entirely depends on who he's fighting. Like he was cooler against Charles because he had his hands in his pockets the whole time. He's cool against Kashimo because Kashimo's cool as fuck. That's true, but don't 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 get it twisted. He carries himself. I mean, he lost half of his face <laughs> from a, like a a freight door and kept fighting. He what? I think he lost like his brain temporarily <laughs> as a lightning bolt was going through it and still kept fight. That's a goat right there. Yeah, it's a cool he never guy. showed up with a brain. <laughs> yeah. Um, just gambling on the on the mind. Um, yeah, He's got it automated. Pure instincts. For sure, for sure, for sure. Akari uh, does support the LGBT. That is a W. W. Good for Akari. Yeah. Mm. Now, next up, we got another S tier. We got Miwa. Um, and we can move on to Mio, who is the sumo guy. Ha! Um, <laughs> we're not gonna talk about Miwa. How, how Miwa sat down in the at the salon and just said, "Fuck my hair up." Like, Bro. look at Miwa's hair is a mess. Miwa is like Yo, Mi Joe Cutter bangs. Yo, listen, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I, I don't know if you guys convened before and decided, you know what, we're just gonna attack what Ronan like. Cause, cause listen, Jogo and Miwa, that's insane. Listen, this, this is this is just, it's just. She's just like a, a squirrel. She's just, just an adorable little character. That's it. That's you know she's got the same outfit for? as the managers. You Yo. know what squirrels are known for, Ronan? What? Stuffing like acorns <laughs> in their mouth. Is that, what, is that what you're comparing me with, too? I'm saying she's adorable. <laughs> like a cute animal. You pick your cute animal of choice. She is adorable. Me with blue mm -hmm. hair, greater than Gojo. So. See, you get it. You get it, man. Uh -huh. You get it. Now yeah. that it, that does look like a wig, like it could just slip off if you're she moves. You're such a liar, bro. You you're just you just look, making you just making look at her bangs, up, bro. bro. Look her bangs. Nah, <laughs> Who bro. did that to her? Mima must have took scissors to her own hair. Nah, like, bro. I wonder what happens if I do it this way. No way. I'm telling you, Gojo closed his eyes under the blindfold and cut her bangs. <laughs> Yo. That oh, doesn't yeah, yeah. count. You can't see her messed up bang. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, shut up. It does count. This part of her design, you freaking loser. Mm. Yeah, okay. Then, listen, me with me the with an S tier, that's crazy. <laughs> me with the code. Like, she, she might be above average, but an S tier, that's crazy. Bro, 
Okay, listen, listen. Besides her, her, her bangs, right? Give me one reason she's not nested. I'll wait. Give me a motherfucker. <laughs> give me some reason she is an S tier. Yo, 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 yo. With right. the outfit that she wears, she would be a target for Haruta. Listen. She would be. Target for Haruta. Oh, the suit? Miwa, Miwa would body him. Hello? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, bro. Listen. Not if she's taking a nap in the woods without her sword. I'll say this, right? I'll say this. I'll say this. Haruta can beat up people that aren't cooling games level. But guess what? Me was in the cooling games right now, right? She's in Sendai Colony. She's out here. She oh, probably has she? more points than you two. list. Yeah, guess what? She is her blade now. You know what? Like she, she, <laughs> she's, she's so she's so skilled. She's refined herself to such a, a high degree that she doesn't even need a sword anymore. You know what I mean? And that's why she's gonna kill Kenjaku. It's gonna be great. <laughs> she showed up like, yeah, Kenjaku can use his body for a domain. That's fine, but I am a simple domain. The blade is me. You get it. You get it, man. You get it. The, <laughs> yes, bro. You know, she's my not going to ask first. for her sword's help. No, she my did not do it first. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Um, mm-mm. No, me was going to pull up. She doesn't need to ask her sword for help anymore, right? You know, they're one in the same. It's like her Zan Pacto for real. Yeah, so me will S tier. Uh, now that we've all agreed. Okay, but for real, where you guys put it, though? <laughs> Wait, bring bring up the tier list again. Mm. I don't got it up, got it up. I put her in S tier, right? But you know, I I'm willing to compromise. I'm willing to even go down to A if if that's what we decide. I think me was better than my. Oh wow. Okay, I can work with that. <laughs> I can work with that. I can work with that. I can compromise, Ooh, buddy. All right, okay. Let me reorient after that <laughs> shock to my system. Um. <laughs> I like the way that she uses her katana for an armrest. That's kind of cool. <laughs> what? What? Where does she do that? Right before the uh, Goodwill event starts. And uh, I think Kamo is bitching at Mai about where Toto is. And she's just thinking to herself, like, let's all get along or something. I know exactly what you're talking about. Let me find it. She's, yeah, she's got her hand resting on her katana like it's a stick shift. It just, I don't know. <laughs> Makes she me feel like she could probably drive what, a tractor. What about <laughs> anything else? Other than that one moment. She's Any also other points? super intimidating. Yeah. She's oh. in the culling games yeah. right now without a weapon on board. That is in, interesting. In Sendai, probably the strongest call. Wait, wait, she doesn't have a sword? No, she has there's no sword on her. Oh, she she must already be dead then. No, that's man. an L. She she's, she's using Ishigori's granite blast like. She's walking. What do you through. call she, that? She, she's, yeah. she's, nah, she's hunting Yuta down because she doesn't know it's Yuta right now. You know, she's like, damn, somebody came through here. Guess I'm gonna have to take him out. That's what's about to happen. So you know, you heard. Why would story. Momo say they don't need to communicate between barriers? Why would Momo? Never mind. They got, they got Miwa on their side. <laughs> they don't need to do anything anymore. Miwa's got it handled. That's that's all. Um, One day I'm gonna I'm gonna find the root, the cause, the source of your weird <laughs> obsession with Miwa, and oh, it, I know it's twisted. It's gotta be twisted. What is going on? Nah, bro. Like, I, you like Yuji, right? You think he's a great character? Don't you think, compare you think, on, what I think about on. Yuji <laughs> to what you think about Miwa. You, thought, you think Yuji's got big things planned? I feel the same way about Miwa, man. That's all. That's all. <laughs> Please get it. Miwa's always in the room. She's always in the room when important stuff is happening. She's got whatever. I hate it too. But <laughs> Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm glad you said your true feelings on the Miwa topic, huh? That's okay. I just feel like I don't know, this cult might not be a good guy cult. I feel like maybe Miwa Listen, is not on our side. If Miwa's a bad guy, <clears throat> I'm a bad guy. That's all I'm saying. Like what, <laughs> like what? Hello? <laughs> uh, She's gonna die horribly by the soldiers. How about this? You'll donate me a thousand dollars if she doesn't. Deal? Shake on it. Cool. Me, well, please don't die to those fucking soldiers. No, I'm joking. Die um, to the soldiers. That's what? not gonna happen. Me was an antagonist to go hard. After she kills Kenjaku, I could see her like usurping his role. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Anyways, um, moving on. What do you guys think of uh the sumo guy? Good old Kappa. I think he's the human form of Yaga's first cursed dog. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! They Amen. look very similar. Mm -hmm. Very but grateful for I, the late game teacher. 
Appreciate that. Outside of that, it. I don't really. I mean, his design is just. <laughs> Yikes. He gets peed on by a dog. It's weird. <laughs> Wait, that actually happened? Yes, and he's face down when it happens. And the yeah, Ugh. it's so nuts. this is part of his design now. Um, you know. That well, he that can't that smell good. Haircut. Oh my god! Like I get it, sumo wrestler, and it might be culturally relevant, but damn. I feel like that's exposed and shined skull. <laughs> like, it might be. Until we see it colored. And this dude has just been bashing his head against a wall, trying to find somebody to sumo with until it's perfectly <laughs> rounded and polished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's a Kappa. I, I get the Kappa aesthetic, like the green turtle monster thing, but it doesn't mean it's not ugly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Kappas are, are I think, are ugly creatures. <laughs> yeah, they're like, they're like demons or something. Yeah. They're yokai. Yeah. Yokai. Yeah. Sewer yokai. Let's see. Um, he's yeah. menacing. Is he? No, I think Dida is menacing. Dida. I don't know about this guy. Mio's not. I'd put him with Awasaka. Okay. All right. Let's get out. Where the fuck is Awasaka at? The, oh, okay. No, MD2. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Um, let's see. Uh, next up, we have Momo. I always like the magical girl aesthetic, but something about her 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 version of the magical girl aesthetic is boring. Like you know how usually they're like pretty colorful and like um they they just pop when and they're they're like very individualistic in terms of in comparison to other magical girls. With her, obviously it's because she has to wear a uh, school uniform. It's just not there. Like, She's wearing a nighty. It's it's uh, just not she, it. She's not really. She's not mm -hmm. super cool to me in that in that regard. Like, yeah, I don't know. Cause like she plays into that. She tries to be that. I guess like the just the the aesthetically clean and picturesque, not super individual type of thing. I'm not really feeling it. Like you said, I don't know. She doesn't even. She doesn't even work super well. Like if you go for like a witch type of thing. I mean, maybe a little bit more in how she looks in the cool mm -hmm. game now. Maybe, but. She I mean, rides a broom side saddle. That's crazy. What does that mean? <laughs> like, it's like not the most side? efficient way to <laughs> not ride. Not the most efficient way to ride a broom. <laughs> like, you're in the culling games. I don't know. Maybe efficiency is something you want to think about. Her hair just... It looks like a scarecrow or like, like corn or something. It's not good. Yeah. Hell. Um... And her, her curse technique is lame. <laughs> and she's lying. We need that communication rule. <laughs> okay, I'll put her, put her here. All right. And she's American, so ew. Is she American? <laughs> Half, yeah. Oh. Mm. No, oh, indeed, huh? Mm. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Next no up, comment. <laughs> next up, we got Nanami. What's the... I mean... A or leave S, me out of this one. I said next one. We have Nanami. Yeah. Goggles off, Nanami. Yeah. Huh. Okay. We'll put him in S tier. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Everybody in agreement then? <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was at least going to be a discussion. Okay. Fair enough. I thought you called Nanami boring earlier. No. I, I said, well, yeah, I think he is boring. I think Nanami is really boring. But I think that's the point of his character. I also don't think he belongs in S, but I already gave up my oh. my opinion on him. So Jesus, bro, bro didn't yeah. even try. Okay, where would you, where would you in in your in your like your best your like your personal thing? Where would you put him? I think y'all already know about my opinion on Ghetto, and I think Ghetto looks better than Nanami. So oh shit. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. I mean, Ghetto does look better than Nanami, right? But. It's more of like knowing. Okay, so what? Like B tier? Is, it, is that where you would put him? In a in a. In a he, he, he'd be above Hazanoki, but mm. we all know the real reason why Hazanoki mm. is there. Mm. Mm. So because he should be. Saying, right? <laughs> it's, it's where he belongs. He be. <laughs> At least. <laughs> um, I'd say Nanami is probably like C tier. Ooh. I don't know. I don't get what the appeal. His hairstyle is. Meh. 
He's wearing goggles that look goofy as hell. He I, backhands a pretty boy into a pillar across the that, room. Nanami's cool. Don't get me wrong. He is cool, but his design is just boring. Even with the cheetah print? Even with the cheetah print. Interesting. I will say his Shibuya fit is like a lot better. Like I like the way he's portrayed on the volume cover essentially is is to me his best. Also the watch is, is crazy. The ice the ice is insane. But watch is nice. Yeah. But those goggles, how do they even stay on his face? Because uh, he's different, bro. Necessity. <laughs> bro said he needs it to happen and it happened. It's in, it's it's wild. Um yeah. So I don't know. I like Nanami. I think he's I think his design is dope. Um blade on his back is crazy. That's also cool. I don't know how, I don't know how he holds it there. Maybe he just like uses a shoulder blade or something. But No, what? his uh his suspenders are like multifunctional. Suspenders? They also Yeah, it's kind of like a gun holster sort of. Mm, got you. But oh, yeah. he does be hiding that under his coat. You are right. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. Which also makes that part of his design practical because when he takes off his coat not only does it look badass, but he's just doing it because he needs to get to his blade. Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, so Nanami is... Uh... Yeah, Nanami's cool. Nanami over Toji? I will, I will actually ban you. Oh, I will actually that? ban you. I will actually ban you. That one, listen, that Yikes. one is crazy. That one's crazy. Listen, I, I say this. Reevaluate your opinion. That's all. <laughs> um, I'll put, we'll, we'll keep Nanami in S tier against Tessero's C tier wish. Nanami equals Toji, just L's in the chat, just That's back insane. to back L's. That's wild. That's I can't even process both of them at the same time. <laughs> Jesus. Um, all right, next up, we got Naobito, the cooler old man in JJK. I will say that I think he's cooler. Yeah, I think he's yeah, he, he, he the looks... coolest old man. <laughs> Let's see, JJK. Uh, I don't know. He's just a he's just an old fucking drunk. Um, his design hmm. is cool. It's nothing crazy to me though. It's not. It's not insane. It's not insane. Yeah, he. It's not. It's, he's just average. He, he's hmm. not. He's not egregious. He's not like super duper cool or anything. He's just nice. Yeah, right in the middle. Yeah. Um. <laughs> He looks like Hulk Hogan in like another twenty five <laughs> years. Yeah, Nabito design greater than Toji's. Okay, Lamillion. I, I gotta stop reading chat. That's my fault. That's my that's my bad. That's my bad on that. Old Kashimo over Nabito. All these L Hold on. L they comments. Might, they, they might be kind of spitting with that one. I'm no, to be honest, but no, whatever. You ain't hear that from me. Getting up blood. No, uh, yeah. <laughs> Old. <laughs> I mean, Naobito ain't spitting up shit. He's burnt to a crisp. <laughs> He's done. <laughs> Fucking beef jerky. That's insane. Yeah, um, isn't that great for your clan head? Huh, yeah. In any case, time to talk about an interesting one. I want to see your chat and you guys react. We got Naoya Zenin. Um, Who? Love him or hate him. Wait, what'd you say? Who? Naoya. Naoya, Naoya, Who? Naoya. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. That's an ass. Right. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> bro! I'm not gonna lie. You're you might be kinda, you might be kinda spitting, bro. You might be kinda spitting, bro. Now he's an easy ass, <laughs> and b- barring his like crap personality, we're, we're, I'm not looking at that. Where is this? Is just looks. Now he's an ass. Well, why'd you put him at the bottom of ass? Sorry, right. where would you put him? I would actually put him above Megumi. You lost me. <laughs> yeah, you were spitting, okay. and you lost me. Soro, are you also saying that Naoya is over Ghetto? No, no, not not over Ghetto. Whew. And y'all already know how I feel about Ghetto, but Naoya is very much up there. Mm. Over Maki is a crime. No. Maki's a high schooler. Yeah. Also, I mean, like it's it. I mean, it's <laughs> unfortunate for Maki that she. I mean, like get a better design i guess i don't know like i don't know what to tell like yeah she beat now <laughs> but like <laughs> now you now you got the better design I, I simply don't know what to say um now yes and not yes i mean they're both in s tier <laughs> um sorry you know it's funny that now you wears more skirts than maki does you, 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 what, what? now <laughs> is the closest thing we got to <laughs> so he's the 
What the hell? All right, whatever. I'm gonna. I'm not. Yeah, whatever. Megami is way better. Andrew Tate. You get it. You get it. <laughs> Megami is way better, bro. Wait, what is it? Can, uh, Harun, can you can you elaborate on that comment just a little bit? I'm curious on what you mean, way better. In what in what regard? Design, no. cool fact. Don't character, even character, no. power, and everything. And Let's fucking go. Yeah, no, and cool uh, and cool factor. Now you has Megami beat. You're 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 on cope. Now you was so you, cool. You every were on every the craziest bro. Yeah, wait, okay. what when does now you win a fight actually in the series? When does he win a fight? Yeah. Like when does he go into a fight and then he wins? He never <laughs> wins a fight, but his fights are always interrupted or he's facing Maki. Didn't bro or you just standing one, over him. Bro, wanna, bro saying, lost a one v one to Choso. Oh, Choso's just that guy. Choso's Himothy. So I mean, do we do we really so blame him? Choso beat him. Maki beat him. Maki beat him again. Dido sliced him in half. Like that's just embarrassing, bro. Okay, he doesn't have to win fights to be a good design. Get out of here. No, but you said cool. I'm a puke in this yeah, he, he, yeah, that's all the way the way he Maybe uses um projection sort yeah okay <laughs> the way he uses projection sorcery is really cool in my opinion no it'd be so better canonically actually um <laughs> yeah okay yeah. now yes now yeah is over maki because we're talking about design we're not talking about power um it's the now is not hits. taking any l's he he's an s tier s is above all the rest <laughs> no l's I don't know why he's not above Megami, but whatever. Because he's not above Megami, like, bro. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. He knows that he's above Megami. Yeah, he spit. Wait, well, not true actually. Eh, depends. Um, whatever. Um, anyways, Maki's not a Zenin anymore. Well, Maki isn't above Megami, anyways. But <laughs> um, is. let's see the now uh, the triple threat. We got Naoya in his worm state. Now you're in his chrysalis ish state. I guess the one where like he be he be jet skiing around in his worm. Mm -hmm. What what y'all thinking? All bottom of the barrel, in my opinion. <laughs> worm is disgusting. The uh the jet ski spaghetti is kinda cool. Um now you see. Yo, <laughs> no. yo, that's insane. That's one. <laughs> Yo, 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 yo. That's crazy that you said that. That's cr <laughs> I got fucking stun locked reading that, bro. That's fucking wild. Bro, strong Brackman. That, mm -mm -mm. That's yeah. nice. Tessero. Tessero. Look, I'll type in chat so you can know how to spell my name. How you spell my name, bro? <laughs> God. <laughs> Tessero. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh,. Yeah, I don't know. That's for sure yet. <sighs> My favorite is like his mermaid form, his mermaid curse form. What? What's that one? What does that mean? Where he's got like curse from the waist down, mm. but he's like human from the waist up. Oh, got you. Um, you like that one? Basically, a lot? I do. Yeah, it reminds me of like finger bear, but like pure human also. Got you. Uh, I don't think it's. I don't think it's bad. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we just didn't see as much of it as we did the other ones, but I, I don't think it's bad. I think the like moment he like erupts out of it is cool, but mm -hmm. um, I wonder if Maki hadn't like punched him or kicked him in half if he would have had a full body. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Punched him or kicked him in half. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Yeah. So like Dido cuts like bisects him, and then Maki kicks the part over before it heals. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was thinking of like their first fight. And I was like, wait, did I did I miss something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I'll put those down there and ugly. There we go. I think that's fair. Uh. <laughs> next up, we have Nita. Uh. She's fine, I guess. She's cool. I don't know if you guys have strong opinions on her either way. If not, I can put her in S. Not in S. C. Probably Jesus. share suits with Niwa. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> not I can put her in S. Like, what? No. C tier. I like her hair color. Um, yeah. yeah. It's cool. It's cool. Um, yeah. Okay. Nice. Next up, Nobara. Um, what does that even mean? She's a watered down Nobara. What does that mean? No bar is a watered down no bar. No, the 
the the character we just placed, I forgot mm. what her name even was. Nitta. Nitta. How do you spell that? N I T T A. N I T T A. N I T T A. Very interesting name. Yeah. Navar school. I th- like I I mean, I think when I like her coolest design, it's when she's in her fight with Eso and Kechizu. I think when she's like batshit insane, I think she just yeah. she just looks the coolest. Um normally, Gotta get rid of the sleeves. Normally though. I don't know. Nobara be looking kind of whatever. I guess I don't know. Her design's fine. Like she's cool. I but like I don't know if I think particularly. Every time she fights, though. Every time she fights, she's cool. You think so? She mm-hmm. she flexed on Ketchizu, mm-hmm. and I think that is kind of a flex because isn't Ketchizu like? Are, are they are sure those unregistered special, special I'm per, grades? I'm pretty sure those are both special grades. Yeah. And then she flexes on, although a clone, it is a version of Maito, and she. She bodied, in my opinion, she bodied him. Uh, yeah. And the way that she did it, it didn't matter if he was a clone or not. She figured resonance would work for the same reasons that it did, and that's kind of cool. Yeah. When she gets savage, she is like, I don't know, she gets that crazy girl look in her eye. And like the animation makes her hair so cool. Yep. Yeah, I, d- I will say she's animated. Um, she's animated really well. Um, let's see. Yeah. She got that dog in her. I read that and then you pulled up this. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Haruta. Mm, uh, I will, I will, I will ignore the fact that Haruta put her in a pack. I will ignore that fact because I, I do like, I think, I think even though I don't think Navarra is the best character, I think I just like her personality the most. Out of any of the uh like the the rest of the female cast, I guess, in JJK or whatever. I, I don't know. I'm I, I'm a sucker for Nobar's like personality type or really just her interactions with Megami and Yuji. I feel like she really completed the trio. Um so gay gay. Nudge nudge. Hurry up, please. This is taking a while. Any day now. Any day like, now. Seriously, like, like... We, we get it, man. You know, you, you gotta build up to it. It's been it's been almost a hundred chapters. It's almost been like what fucking two years. Jesus. Wait, wait. Your boy Plank said <clears throat> milf privilege is real. No. Who are you yeah, in reference yeah. to? Maybe it has to be Junpei's mom, right? It can't because it, 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 it can't be who we're talking about now. Like that's not. It, it's got to be Junpei's mom. It's got to be. I feel like it's like all the moms aren't yeah. all the moms ranked pretty except for Maki's. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean. What, what do you want oh, to do about that? You know what I mean? Like Gege, Gege seems to have uh Gege seems to have made a choice, you know? And you know, it's his choice to make about how he just he decides to design them, you know? Curse. I mean Curse. even Kenjaku no counts as a mom, so let's not talk about that, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, you know, it really completes the package. Uh... Can, can, like, can you imagine it do you think Kenjaku might get some kind of like freaky creepy satisfaction and i don't think so going in like a woman's body and I doing whatever so he anymore. did do we know like <laughs> do we know what like kenjaku's base form gender was or like because the earliest i think we go back is noritoshi kamo but that was someone he took over right oh i thought noritoshi kamo was his base form uh-huh. no, he oh, had never stitches mind. too it goes back further so I'm, i imagine i'm like okay is he a woman jump. I don't know. It's uh, it's it's ambiguous still. I guess we'll never know. No, I think we need to know. I think that is very important. <laughs> yeah. Like, cause the amount of stuff that that guy has put himself through, regardless of what he started as, I mean, if he doesn't feel regret anymore, and he's as much of a, what do you want to call it, like lab rat, mm-hmm. as anything else is to him. Yeah. Then he doesn't feel anything. Yeah, that's also possible. LOL, just for fun. That whenever a, an enemy says they're doing all this for fun, this yeah. Kenjaku is fascinated. A, you fuck I with just, Mahito? I can't. You fuck with I, I I I do I do with Mahito, but just know that I hate him because of his <laughs> reasoning. But I think it's a good reason. But with Kenjaku, it's just like the way you present yourself and the way that you're scheming and planning and whatnot. You're telling me this is all just for fun like can you imagine what this person would 
actually be capable of if he had a real goal. But he's just a troll. <laughs> um, <laughs> bro, he's trolling for he's trolling for evil. That's that's the best kind of trolling right there. Um, the troll is the goal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of Naruto Shikama, we have him up here with the uh, the good old interesting iconic stash. I'll just leave it at that. Um, let's see. <laughs> oh, you guys... I like the umbrella. Yeah. Oh, what he said, iconic. <laughs> 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 I see it now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's definitely you know, it's got its place in history, I guess. Um, no way, is it actually? I never noticed that before either. Yeah, <laughs> there it is in all its glory. Interesting facial hair. Um, yep, yep, yep. The um, what does his hair look like? Bro probably got a bad cut. That's why he's hiding it. I'm not going to let you. <laughs> His barber probably fucked him up and he's like, damn. I got to, okay. I got to have this. I got, I got to get rid of this, bro. I can't let somebody see this. When you take this picture, make sure that, make sure the umbrella is, is shadowing it. All right. That, that's what I imagine. Album cover material. What? Okay. Ishiguro should be mm. S. Delusion. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that is delusional. Mm. Let's not revisit <laughs> that topic. <yeah. laughs> All right, where are you guys? Where are you guys thinking? Uh, good old, good old Noritoshi Kamo. Where do you think he sits at? Uh, it, for me, it's really hard to judge him because we can't see his whole face. Mm -hmm. We only see half of it, and his stash is not stashing. Yeah, but he has a nice jawline, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I live. Uh, he's a Kamo. He is. That's, that's all I that's got no from him. Point. He, that, yeah. No point for that. <laughs> Being a combo. <laughs> we saw his whole face I, in Shibuya. Oh, we do see his whole face in Shibuya. Yeah. Right? That's where we see the stitches, right? Yeah, hold on. I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up. Pull it up. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see. Where is he at? I think it's 134. It rhymes with Hadolf Sch Schmittler. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. The the mut oh yikes. That gets even worse for him, bro. Yeah, you can really tell Gege was really trying to invoke the evilest guy in history thing with this one. Um Yeah. Yeah. Oh that that cut ain't it either. It just looks like greasy slicked back hair. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> L. And he has that nasty must L. Sorry, mm -hmm. man. And it wasn't he known to be like some Gross, he, creepy he was murder. The most evil jujutsu sorcerer in history. Yeah, that's that's like go. one of his titles. Or like he had a has... secret lab and a shrine in the woods with the Kamo clan. Yeah, that's how he's known. Mm. History's most evil sorcerer. Um, I don't know if Sukuna is considered a sorcerer. I don't know if that's how they consider him. But if he is, that's a crazy fucking title. <laughs> like, that's a crazy. That's a crazy thing to be known as in a verse where Sukuna could possibly fit in the same category. Um, yeah, um, I, yeah, I was, uh, I'll leave that one up to you, Ronan. I'll, I'll, I'll put them in D2. There we go. Um, now next up we have Granny Ogami. <laughs> um, Ugh. no comment. Black <laughs> Solera, right? No, that's yeah, not. that bothers me. Yeah. yeah. Hey bro. Uh, well, now that you've gotten two out of the, your system on the third time, it, it won't bother you, right? <laughs> right. Pretty sure there's one more person with black sclera. Yeah, but that one won't bother you. Like that one is—is is it done right? Right. You can't have the same take on that one. You agree? You can't. You because he, he doesn't. He doesn't agree. We'll see. Actually, yeah. There's yeah, one. We'll there's see. one more with black sclera that you can make fun of. Uh, I'll put Ogami in uh, ugly. There we go. Um, Ogi. Ogi also has black sclera. I think. Only when he's really scared. Is that true? Does it like change? No, well, it's just which part of it is more black than the other changes, but... Oh, got you. Yeah, because his, eye, his eyes are black all the way. Ew, interesting. I'm trying to remember what Ogi reminds me of. Oh, oh, uh, Ogi reminds me of um the cockroaches from Terraform Mars. <laughs> That's what oh. he looks like. <laughs> I haven't read that manga because that shit looks like it would strike fear into my heart. I'm going to be so honest with you. Those things look insane. Um. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Um, blazing courage while he's literally shaking in fear. Never will ne the irony of that will never uh, will never be lost on me. But yeah, he is. I mean, sword attacks 
so I gotta boost him up a tier. I guess I'll put him in D tier. If you guys are cool with that, unless you guys are like adamant about him being ugly. Is there a tier for like Kenjaku's Shikigami snacks? Alrighty. Because that's that's what Ogi <laughs> is now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. We'll, 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 you know what? We'll put him next to to a version of Kenjaku. You know. Uh, put him below him, like you know, like like he was below the curses as he was getting eaten. Um, I don't know why I put this old dude in here. It's the guy that Ghetto beats up. Yeah, why? Why did you? Do that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what mind state I was in to place him in this list, but I did put him here, and he's kind of like, I mean, Ghetto made sure that he, you know, he fucked up his face, so we'll, 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 put, him, we'll put him down here in ugly. Um, the rice patty sorcerer. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, the guy with the dog. Rat. The guy with the dog, who who got beat up so bad he thought of his dog back home or whatever. Oh my! God. <laughs> Wait, really? Ghetto baited him yeah. so hard, yep. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You were just bad. itching to get in close, weren't you? Yeah. God, Ghetto was smug. Yeah, 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 <laughs> for sure. Um. All right. Next up, we got Panda. I mean, he's. I feel panda. like Panda's like he he's like the Pikachu. Of no JJK, way. the map. I feel no. like he, I feel Kogane? like you know, <laughs> Kogane just came about. Let's be real for a second. Panda got his own miniature version and live. You mm. use his little like you use like yeah, a panda emote right. all the time. <laughs> Let's do the pandash in the in the tier list. Put panda in B. <laughs> panda in B. Panda, I, I, panda in S. All right, y'all, relax. Panda in S. Mm-mm. And then us is kind of is kind of grimy business. I don't, I'm fine with that. Um, I mean, he is just straight up a panda, but you know, I think I mean, you I can, can put him at the bottom of B, the very oh. bottom. Yeah. Let's see, any complaints? Live higher and lower. What you thinking? I can't complain. Okay. I cannot. It's panda. Panda is panda. Splattered panda after Kashima fight his best panda. You kind of spin. Um, let's see. Why did I put these two people in here too? Whatever. I'm gonna just put y'all in ugly because it's uh, wait, 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 wait. The first one, it, he's giving me as not vibes. I think that's a girl. That's Bear, the leader oh, really? of Q. Yeah, I've always thought that was a girl. Well, if their gender is wh whichever gender it is that they're listed as, um, I think they look like as not, and I think as not's design is really cool. I really dig their trench coats. Thoughts, Ronan? As not. Oh, you remember who As not I is, know right? Who As not is, bro. Of course. I'm okay. Afraid. I'm saying the comparison is what's getting me. Long, um, dark hair, creepy vibes. Doesn't say much. Even has a mask over his face. And he's wearing like like uh well from what I remember they're wearing like um, it like army clothes, right? Yeah. Or, Inspector they are. Gadget outfits. Yeah. They are. They are. I guess I. I guess you know. I guess I just see this. Like this, this panel right here with Gojo posing over their unconscious body, and I'm just like, "There's no way." Um, yeah, I mean, okay. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't Gojo's know. such a clown. <laughs> Bro took a picture and just sent it to Gojo, just like for no reason. Just said, eh, <laughs> "You got to have this." Um, yeah. I don't know. They're fine. I'm. I, I don't you know. You can put them in ugly. That's fine. I just. I just really like the as not vibe. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. All right, let's see. And we got fucking Reggie's greasy ass. Um. Wait, Reggie pull. He pulls off the long hair really well. May what? Maybe it's the long hair and the the facial hair combo, like this specific facial hair that may that allows him. To oh wow. So you think Ishigori looks better than Reggie? Yeah. Live. No. Yeah. Absolutely I'll let fight not. This one out for a little bit. Go ahead. Look at like his his long hair looks like it has volume. It, oh. it, that, <laughs> it actually looks like you could run your hair your hands through this, right? <laughs> Ishigori just kind of looks like like I said, like someone dumped a bucket of water on his head. It's all sticking to his face and whatnot. Reggie, he's suave. He got if money. Gege would have colored this panel. That outfit would be orange. Like, what's your point? He, he looks. And he be rocking it. Greasy, like like a ex con greasy. Not like 
<laughs> XCon in a minimum security. XCon in Texas somewhere. Like, I mean, mm. an XCon that looks better than Ishigori. If he didn't have the facial hair to back it back up the long hair, I, he would look. The facial hair makes it creepier. Like, why do you have to throw Jafar feel, in there? I, I feel like we're worrying about the wrong thing. This guy is we he, this guy wears receipts. Like, this yeah, guy wears he has money. A dress of receipts. Yeah, he has money. There's it's no not way, a dress bro. either. And, and bro, I I know you're being a little rat because every time making me gets brought up, <laughs> right? You're always like, bro, bro's fighting a guy with a an, an aggressive receipt. Like, I, I know you. I know I you. Never there's said no that. way you don't fuck with this. There's, there's no way you do. This is insane. I never said like, that. Like, y'all keep talking about his hair and facial. Like, I'm like, bro, he is wearing a dress suave. of receipts, bro. Well, there's he's not no wearing way. a dress right here. He's wearing clothes. Okay. All right. Well, fine. Since, since you don't seem to remember, I'll pull up his, his receipt. No. History. No, 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 no. It's okay. Because <laughs> clearly, like, clearly your memory doesn't moment. work. Like in the spa moment, he's supposed to be at his best, right? Like, yeah. What, what about when he's wearing his swim trunks? Pete character design, man. Yeah, for sure. Really. Do you remember when he's wearing his swim trunks? Like when you first get to see Reggie, like the first time they show Reggie. Yeah, he looks like a loser. No, not the receipts. I'm talking about when he's wearing just like. I know. I'll grab it for you. He looks like a loser there too. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's okay. See. Yeah, bro. He 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 do be looking a little loserish. Wow, Cedric. What is it? What are you implying Reggie looks like, huh? Why don't you just say it? Yeah. That's what that's he a... looks like at his peak. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. Bro, this this. He looks kinda he looks pretty cool there. I don't know. He looks the like tattoo, a Mad Hatter like, late for tea. Like he does kind of give me Mad Hatter vibes. But Mad Hatter the Mad Hatter can be cool. I don't know. I'll I'll die on this hill, but I, I won't put I won't push the agenda for too much longer mm -hmm. because his little his little outfit with receipts is an L. Mm -hmm. But it does show that he's a very practical gentleman, which is cool. A very right? Indomitable. Huh? <laughs> he's wearing yeah. boxers, bro. Aren't those swim trunks? Those look like swim trunks to me. Whatever. Whatever. All I know is that his fit ain't 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 nothing crazy. I I will concede a a low B tier in your honor. I can concede a low. You know what? No, we'll put them together. They, uh, you, you know, both of your, both of your fucking, both of your, your fringe picks, your, your little bit ones that are, that are unconventional, both being a little dynamic duo. I think Reggie being next to Hazanoki is fine. I think that's cool. <laughs> I okay. Think, I think well, fringe wait. picks? Hazanoki is obvious. Hazanoki, Reggie no, no, ain't no. it. L listen, listen. Hazanoki being high up on the list is just a What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying to your average layman, Hazanoki and Reggie are like in the same tier of ugliness. You know what I mean? Like they both <laughs> exist in that like nobody would no nope, most people wouldn't rate them high. But hey, you got you know, you guys got interesting tastes, you know? So, Reggie above Hikari is crazy. I agree with that. Okay, okay, okay. Well, you want to put him below Hikari then? That's yeah, cool. that's okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, you can leave Hazanoki where he's at. You can leave <laughs> Hikari in high school. <laughs> yeah, but Hikari, Hikari, this is the cool factor with Hikari. It's the it's the drip factor with Hikari. Yeah. Um, for sure. Next up, we got we got Remy. Uh. uh. Blah. Remy is there's just yeah I agree blah Remy is there oh I can't separate the design from the character I can't there's <laughs> I <don't>... the same. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> I don't mind the fact that her ponytail kind of moves on its own that's sort of cool but once again practicality of the evening wear in the streets of the Cullen games. Hmm. Stupid. Got you, got you, got you. Get her out of here. Yeah, I'm not gonna down a hill for Remy. No, thank you. No, thank you. Um, yeah, whatever. Put her in D tier. Maybe an alley though. No. No, no, no. Thank you. I'll, I'll leave Angel that to save you. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hmm. She reminds me of that friend from Chainsaw Man. What friend? Who? Who are you talking about, Melon Lord? Yeah. 
Remy because you need to be really careful with who you're comparing Remy to from Chainsaw Man. <laughs> Wait, what fiend? Uh, not fiend. She looks like a fiend from Chainsaw oh, Man. Rize? Oh, oh my boy. god! Oh Yikes! I don't know what you're. T- <laughs> Let's move on. I don't know what you're talking about. Alrighty, uh, Rika. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. My yeah. girl. I love Rika's design. I love what Gege does with it. I love that she gets summoned and comes out of her little black portal hole like a superhero or something. I like that she talks back to Ishigori after she palms Granite Blast. Mm -hmm. Um, I like that she can see after Yuta kisses her and tells her, you know, go get Ghetto. Um, Rika's kind of my goat. Plus... I don't know the way that she handles that first curse in Zero is savage. Yeah. Um. Not gonna lie, I actually forgot about Rika, and when I said Ma- Maito is the best curse design, I think Rika she's unmatched in terms of um impression and creepiness. Because I also forgot um as I'm re- remembering that I said the curse bear for mm-hmm. first finger bear or whatever mm-hmm. um was the best curse in terms of impression i think the way that jjk zero did it with mm-hmm. Rika, like introducing rika mm-hmm. and their, their backstory that just felt like a creepy pasta kind of thing um it actually just felt like like some scary story out of uh reality so i'll, I'll get i'll give i'll give rika all my stocks here i think mm-hmm. she's the best um impress imp- like best curse uh, oh, impression I, I don't so, know if she's the best design but so you put her in a tier would you put her above like uh true for mahito yes yes okay. i would gotcha yeah. cool 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 all right now rico have i read her backstory no <laughs> i I just mentioned her in jjk zero but i actually have not read her backstory yeah unless you mean like that weird thing where she like wants to kill her wanted to kill her grandparents or something mm. that's what you mean or didn't her grandma to? think or assume that Rika was responsible for killing her parents, but it was never confirmed or anything? That, yeah, yeah. that, yeah, yeah, that is that is that is all it was. I think, yeah, yeah. I'm um, really kind of curious to know if there's more though. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. Okay. Next up, Rico. Any thoughts on her? I feel like she just kind of looks like a just kind of aver- like the girl. average school girl. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. We'll put her there. Um, let's see. Sorry. This is Nobara's friend. Like, it's, like, ran out of town. Uh, the only thing noticeable about her to me is her earrings. I think those, like, <laughs> they remind me of something. But besides that... Wait, what do they remind you of? I think Hughes flag. What do you say? Hughes flag. Hughes flag, yes. That is it. Um, they are very similar to, like, uh, the Q group's, like, symbol. Um, and by like very similar, I mean I I think they're the same thing. Wait, sorry, kind of spitting. Like it get a different image on screen. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Uh, let's see if we can get. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Um, yeah. Mm. Yeah, she's cool. I guess. Um, I I don't know. That's the earring. Let's see. Uh, her earring reminds you of what? The Q. I mean, hold on, I'll find it for you. Um, give me one second. The Q group is that the thing? Yes. The people that Gojo beat up and took. Yeah, yeah. Bear and the other dude that Ghetto puts right. in a curse pillar. Give me one second. I'll show you. Let's see. Okay. Look. Rika has a separate ability. Then Yuta, I want to see what it is. I don't know if that's true. So it's yeah here. Um, so this Q group, Q group, uh, that's their symbol or whatever. Um, and then I don't know. To me, uh, Sari's earrings have a similar similar design. That's what I. That's what I think. I'm missing something. The Q group symbol looks like an eight pointed star, and Sari's earrings look like. Just like a circle? Mm, they're little firecrackers. 
Oh, I didn't see the things hanging down. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, never mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that, I don't think like, and that's that could be something that could turn into later some crazy thing that I was like, oh my god, the foreshadowing. I don't know. Um, I just thought I'd mention that since we're talking about her design. Outside of that, um, I mean, practical use of the oversized sweater. Practical use. Yeah, I think I think because she's not fighting. Just use yeah. it just to, for, I guess, maybe because she's cold. Yeah. Or maybe she thought the outfit was spitting. <laughs> yeah. It kind of sucks that her hair is actually brown. Is it? Yeah. Ooh. Yikes. Um, Cause ooh, I thought I it was white that. based off of... Um, what kind of brown? It is... Like dark chocolate brown. Hold Interesting. On. Hold on, let me see. Unless I'm seeing different images, because I see two different images, or ones like milk chocolate and ones like dark chocolate. Yeah, um, it's from the Nobara like anime version of the flashback, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. This this is what I see. A thing against brunettes, please. Don't play with me, uh, greasy thighs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Let's see. Yeah. I guess like light brown here. Um. Any case, yeah, I don't, I don't think she's too much of anything. Then I'll put her, put her over there. Um, next up, we got Shoko, easy S tier. Not really much else to say on that. No, uh, okay. I, I want to hear what is so good about Shoko. What, what, what do you like about Shoko? I'm not, I'm not denouncing her in any way. I just want to hear other people's opinions. Um, the doctor vibe. <laughs> kind of kind of kind of nice I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some reference images on here for you guys you know um i will just say i will just say you know for the sake of science and nothing else you know for the <laughs> sake of, of of moving the needle forward in in, in you know jujutsu biology i would be willing to be a test subject that's that's all nothing crazy <laughs> that, that's all i'm saying um like once again no ulterior motives there for the sake of science we're talking about. Yeah, okay. Are those bags under her eyes or is that makeup? Bags. Oh. Adds character. It it adds something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. Um <laughs> <laughs> anyways. Yeah, I mean you agree, right, Tesro? You 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 wouldn't disagree with something like this. Um Well, I want to hear what Liv has to say. Okay. <laughs> Oh, the dungeon doctor is my cup of tea. <laughs> so, <laughs> the dungeon doctor. Yeah, and plus, it seems that Shoko is the one that Maki always goes to. Um, I think that her role is like frontline healer. Is I don't know. Her personality kind of plays into that a little bit, like. Blase, I don't give a shit about anything. Like, I'll take a light from Ghetto while also calling Gojo to snitch on him. Like, I do get I those. Know, she's cool. Yeah. But she's just cool. That's, but we're talking that's about it. just design. It don't matter. Yeah, how, many, just design. how many sorcerers, like, automatically skip straight to reverse curse technique? None, but you're right about that. That she is a very impressive sorcerer, but. That oh my you god! You did say it. She's hot and cool. Thank you for getting to the heart of the heart of what we're talking about. That is, that's pretty much. Damn! Much. I need some water. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't see Look at there. that pile of cigarette butts! Holy bucket! Oh, that's her a... lab has to stank. Her breath too, and her teeth probably look like death. Mm-hmm. Reverse that... technique. She's fine. Oh yeah, that's true. But Ronan, that that's. That's cool with you. That it looks like a bowl of French fries. That's how. Bro, how bro, many cigarettes listen, are. listen, listen, bro. I'll th- I'll th- I'll I'll dump the bowl out for her anytime she needs me to. That's all. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> okay, we gotta move on. For the, for the sake of science, bro. For the sake of science. <laughs> um. Yeah. So S tier, right? Cool. S <laughs> tier as long as she's nowhere near May May. Okay. Um. And I I can respect that. That's fine. Like I would, I may disagree, like on a on a personal bias thing, but I can respect that. I can respect that. Um, or yeah. Uh, anyways, next up we got the smallpox deity. A uh, bit of a bit of a tone shift here. Um, I think it 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 looks pretty intimidating. I don't remember what that thing looked like. Uh, let me look it up real quick. 
smallpox deity? Oh, shoot. Like the wrong kind deity. of Play-Doh. Like moldy Play-Doh with a marble for a belly button. Somebody say that Shoko had Henny in the background? <laughs> she did. She did. She really? does. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, her and Udahime like drinking. Oh, I gotta find that real quick. Let me find out. Let me find right out. next to the French fries. <laughs> oh, <God>. the French fries. <laughs> Oh, interesting. <laughs> interesting, interesting, interesting. The um, smallpox curse kind of just looks like a, a... Is there anything lower than beta? Oh my god. What? Damn. Like, I was going to say like a beta version of Rika, but I want, I want to make sure the distinction is very clear how far above Rika is of this in comparison to this thing. Hmm. Uh, Whatever. I don't like I don't it. Know. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, its arms are kind of grossing me out, actually. It looks like bubble wrap. Jesus. Um. <laughs> yeah. I, I, you're not. I'm not defending the fucking smallpox deity. Um. And Jacko even feels like he has to lie about it and call it a deity when it's not. <laughs> yeah. Why do you call it that? I don't, I don't know. Do you think that kind of like works? Like. Like revealing curse Psych techniques and amps them, yeah. Like pseudo not amps, against May, not against May May. Hmm. Yeah, she gonna pose her way out of that coffin. <laughs> we putting this in ugly. <laughs> Bleh. I'm okay with. Well, I think yeah. No, hmm. I, I, I yeah, ugly ass. Okay, uh, Ryomin Tsukuna. Let's let's. Okay, open I just want to start by saying this. I think. And this might be very disagreeable, but I think all the people that think Sukuna in his current form is attractive, it really bothers me because Sukuna is just in his current form is just Yuji with his hair slicked back. Yeah. So he's still like a 15 year old. So I I'll just start by saying that. So the just Sukuna I'm talking wise, about yeah. is not the current Sukuna. Yeah. The forearm Sukuna in the past. That's a top tier looking curse. Yeah. He do be scary. It's drip. It's what drip? He's just Yuji without a shirt and, and his hair slicked and, back. He's got some tattoos on. Yeah. Like, it, it doesn't make sense to me. That is Yuji. Okay, but I do think that the robe has a certain like place and that's like on the throne and not in fights. So maybe maybe that distinction does matter for me. Like the robe he wears in his innate domain? Yeah, and like also, what does he wear when he fights with four arms? Because, what, special made robes? It kind of looks like he's wearing the same robe, but just, just like a on the sleeves. So you're going to say he wears women's robes because they're bigger and they can, like, the, the sleeves are a lot, yep. like, sleevier, so he can, like, fit his arms, his extra arms in there. Oh. Um. Yeah, I like. I mean, I like for arm Sukuna more. I think I just think it. Uh, let me use a better image. I think it just fits him really well. Makes him a little bit grotesque, a little bit scary. With the yeah. weapons, he's pretty cool too. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. I think like when he's when even when he's in Yuji's body and he's transformed, like I just think he looks cool though. I think the tattoos are cool looking. Um, his disposition totally changes how Yuji appears, too. Hmm. Like, yeah. I don't know if it's the way that he's drawn. Like, the fisheye lens, I keep thinking that when he first appears in, like, episode one or chapter one. It's like, he looks like a demon, whereas Yuji still looks like Hibara's Hi cousin, you know? <laughs> Not like, gonna let that one go, huh? <laughs> well, I mean, that was, like, innocent, innocent Yuji. Like... Oh, I ate it. I ate that finger. UG. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to get that out there because I always see that people just, they just say wild, outrageous things about Sukuna transformed UG. Always just like, y'all, <laughs> get it together. Anyways. Somebody this is a body hopping series. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. But yeah, I think, I think Sukuna's forearm design with his like weird deformed face is really cool. Yeah, for sure. Um, is S tier cool? Was that where everybody put him? I don't. I don't know about S. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know about S tier. Okay. I'm not making the mistake of not bowing low enough. So, uh, um, 
Yeah, I'd probably put him. I'd probably put him low S tier as well. I think he's. I think he's really cool. But I. I didn't get his thing where it's like opposed to someone like Gojo. I think it's just purely he just looks fucking sick. Um, I just like the tattoos. I like. I like how he's typically portrayed. Um. So yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll put him. I'll put him very low S. There we go. Um. Okay. Let's see. Next up, we got Takaba. <sighs> I'm, oh my god he canonically is just like yeah yeah nah um that's my goat but i hate his design <laughs> <laughs> i think i'm gonna have to agree 100 percent with that sentiment. <laughs> that's my goat but i hate his design yeah like and i get it like it does make it funnier when you have to put a little curse censorship because he's only wearing half an outfit but so wait yeah. Wait, Did I not, thought that you was never peep that. Yeah. I thought that was like just a, a half and half shirt. Hold on, I'm he's gonna, half I'm, naked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you real mm -hmm. quick because I'm gonna show you real quick. What? Come on, because mm -hmm. Gege has to, <laughs> Gege has to. Say Even his right. pants? You're, you're gonna mm -hmm. see. You're gonna see. Um, oh my god! You guys are destroying my image of him. I thought it was just, just a hat, like a half yellow, half black outfit. Imagine him doing the little Russian wedding dance that he's doing to dodge the uh, the bullets. Just... Oh my god. Hold on, what is that curse? Oh yeah, here you go. Let's see. It's definitely... Yikes. No damage. It's definitely interesting. Bro just, bro just out here for real. Um... Oh, <laughs> I can't believe I've never noticed this. <laughs> oh my. Like... Yeah, I can see why. They oh, can... that's why he's covering it up, dude. This guy's kind of a weirdo. <laughs> oh <laughs> wow, you're just realizing. Like at first he was like just a funny weirdo. Like I would always love to see him on screen because he always just brings comedy. But now he's <laughs> he's standing next to Megami doing this. <laughs> Megami's like... just walking away. He's like, bro, <laughs> ew. <laughs> yeah. It makes all of his like more serious moments like really fucking. It, it's like, dude, you're you were being like, I'm an entertainer. It's like, bro, you're naked. What what are we doing? I don't know. Why yeah. someone say creams? Oh hell no. Um. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyways, uh, where do you guys want to put Takaba? He's clearly oh, doing wow. it to establish dominance. Therefore, S tier. You're insane. Um. <laughs> I don't game? really know where I would place because I was gonna I was gonna ask to place him in B tier, but after finding out he's literally walking around half nude, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it does take balls, you know. Jesus. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It's fucking. I, I'll put him in C tier, I guess. He he has at the bare minimum his design's unique, right? That's something. He's got a, he's got Wait, what did Cream say? Cream's retracted his message. What did he say? Probably said tell, tell me, tell me what he said. Um, interesting title. Uh, he probably said he's just like me for real. That's what I'd imagine. That sounds like something Creams would say. Like Creams would, Creams would. Uh, yep, I he called it. Said I called, that. Oh. I called it. I called it. I knew. I know because it's like that. That's the one joke he's got in the back pocket at all times. I knew. I knew it. Anyways, um, next up we got talking to Chan. <laughs> Let me, Talk let, me, let me check something. Well, you guys discussed that. Let me do. Let me do a quick. Check. She, she, she kind of just gives me like the typical idol vibe. Yeah, which it looks I, like I'm, she's I'm just as of. tall as Toto. She's really tall. She's like she's like five <laughs> eleven. Yeah, she's she's tall. She's damn near six feet tall. Yes. Well, uh, she's she's like body positive, like Sailor Moon. Is she is she in high school? I I can't I really no, tell I by her no, face. I have no idea. Um. Which is why, like, I went to go check. Uh, oh. <laughs> I, I was like, I was like, let me take, like, I'm just gonna make sure, but I don't know. Um, it, it apparently it's never said or like you know made clear in that way. So, um, yeah. Can we assume that as an idol, she'd probably be of age? Yeah. No, I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe yeah, I'll yeah, maybe I'll that, just keep all my yeah. comments to myself about Takata. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Takata's Takata's cool. I'll put. Yeah, you know, I'll put her in somewhere in C tier. There we go. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, Be solid motivation for some goats. There we <laughs> go. True. Yeah. Um, okay. Next up, Tengen. What do we think? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to think about Tengen. He looks like I Satan need the onesie. W. 
Jesus. <laughs> what, why do you need everybody's onesies? Because I love onesies. It's, it's going to be a win, you know? If they have a onesie on, that's like half a point. Jesus. I can't <laughs> believe a onesie is for you what a sword is for me. That's, absol- that's absolutely insane. That's um, a solid comparison, actually. Yeah. Um, Tengen's cool. Um, apparently, he looks like Sukuna sometimes, or somewhat, so... I, I guess. Why do you keep calling Tengen a he? Isn't Tengen like You're an right. old woman? Mm. I mean, yeah, I guess. Oh. Tengen's a tree. Tengen's free and A dead. tree. Oh, a tree. <laughs> <laughs> um, I kind of like Tengen's character design as far as curses go, because it's not, nothing else looks like that. That's true. That is true. Um, I think... I mean, I think it kind of, like, especially initially, kind of has a weird, I mean, obviously this is the point, like, transcendent sort of, um, like, transcendent in sort of, in, in the sense that, like, you're clearly different, like, I don't know, he seems to be, like he says, like, more cursed than than, than human at that point, and I, I think that's interesting. I, I like the shock of coming into it, because I always assumed Tengen was going to be humanoid, like, completely, um, so... The way that she laughs is kind of like Jabba the Hutt, though. Like that bottom jar or lip or whatever that thing is, hmm. be jutting out. It's gross, huh. but it's also kind of cute because it teases it. She teases Yuji a little bit. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Four oh, giggling in. eyes is kind of cute. Okay. Um. Sure. I'll I'll put ten get in B. I'm fine with that. Um, I'm cool with, I'm cool and let that slide. Next up, we got Toto. And Tessero, I'm going to put you on the spot. Give me your opinion. Give, give everybody your opinion on Toto. Well, you already know my opinion. <laughs> I'll be real with y'all. It really is hard for me to like a smoke demon character, meaning like the people that are kind of just crazy about fights and all they really care about is fighting people. Kind of like Kenpachi or like, um, I don't, who's the smoke demon in Naruto you can compare him to? I didn't think there was I, one. Yeah, no, not really. Anyways, Toto is he's lame. He's lame to me. He has a cool curse technique, but he's lame. Everything else is lame about him. I don't like Toto. <laughs> Boom, there's a bomb. Alrighty. Yeah, Liv, would you like to follow up? What? Yeah. Okay. Toto showing up and crying over Megami's boringness is beautiful. Big, no, the hell big man not. crying. How would, how, would call that something, how would call that something else? <laughs> I don't know mm-hmm. if that's stream appropriate. Um, yeah, maybe I should, uh, I don't know. Maybe I should put Toto in, like, ugly as fuck because he decided to, like, <laughs> power bomb Megami directly onto his spinal cord. I don't know, man. That... But maybe I can't... you should put Megami in ugly as fuck for getting tower bomb. I Listen, Toto. We, we still haven't ranked Yuji yet. We can always we can always make a new tier for Yuji at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> like, relax. Watch out, bro. Watch out. Um. Mm. Also, how cute he gets over Takata-chan is adorable. Like, you is that what you call it? Yeah, it's like this giant trapezius muscle just like fawning and blushing over an idol. You know, mm. that's still somehow taller than him. Yeah. Um. Mm. What about okay? Hey, so why don't start. we pull up that weird image of Toto at the beach? No, thank you. <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay. It is all right. The thing about Toto is like his design is fine. Like it's cool. I think he's. But I feel like a lot of why I think he's cool is because I like his personality. I don't know if his design elicits some cool factor to me. He, I mean, his hairstyle's fine, but at the end of the day, he's just like a big buff guy you know what i mean it's a cool scar i really like his scar his scar is cool yeah yeah one of the few cool things yuki never mind um let's see yeah. let's see let's see whoa um sorry sorry that <clears throat> was literally slip freudian slip um <laughs> fucking accidentally happened not not intentional um let's... just like the black hole yeah just like the black hole um right. i will say no nah, hold on i will say here though like in this moment Toto looks absolutely, he just looks so fucking cool. Like, the design is really cool. Um, like, when he pulls up and saves Yuji, I like the jacket. I like the necklace. Um, obviously, the scars. The scars. God. Are oh, my God. What, bro? Lame. <laughs> you're, you're so, you're I so. I can't stand him. <laughs> bro. 
man. Like his his curse technique and the way he uses it is so fire, but I can't stand Toto. Nah. I don't know. The moment he has where he shows up in Shibuya, there he yeah, that's it. And then he rips his shirt in half and says, What have you been entrusted with? Like that's cold. Yeah, I like mm-hmm. I like this design. I don't necessarily know if I like how he is in Goodwill all that much. Somebody said Toto with his hair out, bro. What? When does that When does that happen? When does Toto have his like hair? Like I'm I'm assuming they mean like not tied up. And I'm like, when does does that ever happen? Am I am I literally losing my mind? Hold on, let me see. Maybe it's after. <laughs> Stop misspelling my name. And I th- me not liking <laughs> Toto is not an L. <laughs> Toto, he's just boring. Maybe it's after Toto gets like punch in the chest by mahito maybe that maybe here comes undone that nope nope toto tied that shit really well it says um i i don't know what toto with his hair out means to be honest with you but um i think this version like i'll, I'll give toto the benefit of the doubt shibuya version toto i like design wise a lot i will say i can kind of take or leave the other version i'll put him in b tier put him in b tier i'll put him like a like no like next to or above reggie or whatever I got. I think his up tinker he showed up in Shibuya. That's nuts. nice. <laughs> I like his Tinkerbell shoes with the parachute pants better than I like the Doc Martens with Choso's parachute They're pants. Martial art shoes. shoes Tinkerbell shoes. Martial arts. Whatever. Oh yeah, he does have some cool shoes. Yeah. Real practical. Yeah. Breaks EG's face with them. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now next <laughs> up, I think I, I think it's a unanimous, clearly the best looking character in JJK, Toji Fushiguro. All right, cool. All right. What did you say? I said Toji is the best looking character in JJK. That's no, huh. he, he's now Toji. Toji is a god amongst men, just like Gojo, but he's not better than Gojo. He is. What? He is, he is, he is, he is. No, Gojo's just top of the top. You can't beat Gojo. Ah, but Toji can in terms of looks. No. It, it just, Why do you need to beat something in a box? <laughs> Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let me pull up some, uh, some, some exhibits of... Tessa, are you actually showing some very <clears throat> positive feelings? Uh, to- no, I'm joking, but, um... I really like Toji's design. <laughs> His de- Toji's design is... If Gojo wasn't there, Toji's undisputable number one, but... He already is. What do you mean? He's just not, though. He's Sorry. Gojo's he just... not here. Oh, that's also... Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hold on. Where's, I the, mean... where's the panel where Toji's licking his lips, bro? That shit was crazy. That shit was wild. Lick? Huh? Huh? I said the um, dumplings. I said the panel where Toji was killing Gojo. That's what I, that's what I was saying. Oh, that's what he said. Yeah, for sure. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. Um, when does Toji not look cool? Toji's so cool. Yeah, like the coolest, actually. Um, yeah, go ahead and talk yourself into that. Uh. <laughs> Lit, Wait, lit. You, 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 all, you back there in the background talking about talk yourself. Who do you think is the best The best on the list? Who do you think deserves to be absolutely number one? If You're not Toji, asking Toji. me that question? Yeah. Okay. Other than um, the, um, the fucking, the little bug thing. God damn it. I Kogane. forgot its name. Kogane, Kogane. I'm sorry. Yeah, Kogane is cool as fuck. Um, okay. Of all of them. All of, of them. All of them. Mm-hmm. And we're just talking design. No, we're just talking yep. design. Oh, this answer sucks. Oh, no. <laughs> Do not say some bullshit, please. Oh, okay. Continue. Sorry. I just had to prepare. I just have to prepare myself because that saying that before you answer is uh, it's making me nervous. Preparations needed. Okay. <sighs> it's going to be... Uh, Haruta. Oh, oh Lord! Oh but oh rewind the tape. Haruta. We're going back. Haruta. Oh man! Haruta. Yeah, like the usefulness of that character design is infinite. Like, okay, you take the little eye tats, right? Look how they look on Kashimo. Yeah, you take the onesie. Look how it looks on uh, Maki or Tengen or any of the other onesies. <laughs> like the side pony. Nobody else has one of those. Nobody else wants one of those. Trust me. Oh, oh, well, okay, but they wouldn't wear one either way. His sword is autonomous and it holds his hand. 
and plays defense. <laughs> Bro. He's I, got a weird ass attitude. There's like no way you think hard to He medicine. doesn't even know his Boy. own curse technique and that it saves his ass daily. But like, he's it's dead. just so cool. <laughs> Toji, listen. Like, listen, I understand the heart <laughs> like hearts hearts is getting to you, right? Look at Toji. All right. Why Back is Toji, Toji licking his lips looking at Rico? Hold up. Okay, that's, Rika, that's Megami. <laughs> that's money. Rika, Megami, and Kamo. Those those three aside Me from Arta. Megami, you say? <laughs> yeah. Cause maybe, maybe you are cooking. Hold on. Let her cook, chat. Let her cook. She seems to understand ball a little bit. Um, Wait, because but... I'm not gonna lie, like Megami, when he's in his element, is cooler looking than Toji. No, Toji is just a oh a bullshit. Pull He's up just... the domain expansion. What? Which one? Yeah, no, Megami Which looks one? just as cool as Toji. One? Uh, one? Second one, Reggie. There's there's shadows above you too. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, you, keep, keep... <laughs> you moved him up. <laughs> <laughs> on, I mean, it's clear. Toji I mean... is just an older Megami, an older, cooler Megami. No, an unleashed Megami. All we've seen is restricted Megami until he starts laughing. Well, he's killing. That's Please. that's Pete. This is blasphemous. Like, I mean, this is what I mean when he when I say that he's cool. got like, yeah, that okay. blood crown be hitting. Okay, okay. Here's here. Sure. Well, we're because okay. Toji versus Gojo seems to be a big one. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a poll. Chat, choose correctly. Toji. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Before you put that poll up, okay. can you bring up the anime version of Toji? I don't remember what the anime version of Toji looks like. I'm, Oh my god! You liar! Uh, yeah, you're. I'll, I'll say. I'll, I'll, I'll say you specifically, <laughs> buddy. Yeah. I'll no, no. Why don't you show the stream real quick? Um, I, I'll, I just I'll, want. I'll, yeah, no, no, no. I'll just show it to yeah? you since you need to remember. There you go. There you go. Um, Mystic Ice. It's because Megami doesn't put his blue eyes behind a blindfold. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Mm, anime Toji. Hey, who asked me that earlier? Someone <laughs> asked me the question twice. Let me give you my opinion. Interesting Season. title. Hmm. I think anime Toji looks, um, in Go my on. honest opinion, kind of zesty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, like okay, chat, 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 chat. Here's what we're gonna do. So look, look, Toji, Gojo. All right, these are keep engrave how these characters look in your mind. All right, remember, Toji, suave, a uh, uh, cool guy, assassin. Clearly, just him. And Gojo, right? That's the picture that you <laughs> and, and, and grave, <laughs> engrave these guys' minds into your head, okay? Now. Wait, minds into your head? Hmm? <laughs> engrave these guys' minds into your head. Well, yeah, Just... do that. Do that too, I guess. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Now, chat, pick. Which one is above the other? I can't believe you showed that picture. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all pick Gojo. Chat, pick Gojo. Pick Gojo's Toji. the only one true. He's the Chat only one true answer. Chat pick Toji. Gojo's kind of lanky. You've never seen Gojo with his shirt off, though. The ugliest, to Toji with his Gojo oh. picture. Listen, you can't. You simply can't find a picture of Toji that looks that bad. That's all. Like that should speak to it, right? There, Toji. There, there are some ugly Gojo panels, right? But there exists no ugly Toji panel. That's all I'm saying. There you are no ugly said? Gojo pan yeah, panels. Yeah, I'm sure. Panels. Okay. Panels. Listen, I'm, panels. There, there's no panels. ugly. Okay. Yes, there are. Hold yeah. on. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pull one. How about this? I'm gonna Why pull don't you pull up you. Anime Toji? No, no, no. I'm going to pull up, I'm gonna pull yeah. up an ugly, I'm gonna pull up an ugly uh, Gojo <laughs> panel for you. I got you. Yeah. Okay. I got you. I got you. Um, I got you. Let, me, let me grab it for you. Let me grab it for you. Uh, I'm going to. I'm he won't gonna, he won't do yeah, it. He won't do you. it. No, I, I, I promise you guys. I promise you guys. I got you. I got something for you. It's in volume zero. I just got to find. OG looked ugly when he ran away from Sakuna. Fear is disgusting. What are you? When, bro, bro, when did OG bro run from imagined Sakuna? a scene into the into the manga? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick, bro. Bro, in order to in order to even fathom the idea of Toji being ugly, he had to make something up. <laughs> That's impressive, bro. That's different. <laughs> like I don't that. remember that either. That didn't happen, right? No, it doesn't happen. Um. Let me see. Here we go. I finally fucking got it. Here we go. Right here, guys. Look at the look at these two fucking these two goobers. No ugly Gojo panel exists. Okay. You're lying. Look at this. Bottom right hand corner. 
Where is he ugly? He's just imitating someone. He's no, he's not, bro. He's, he's imitating ugly. Inamaki. He's, he's ugly. That's go. Where is he ugly? And bro said, "Where is he ugly?" You're in denial. You're talking about Ghetto. Yeah, I'm I talking, do agree. Both, Ghetto both of them are ugly in here. I'm saying yeah, Gojo was also ugly, bro. Is this Isn't Gojo in high school here? Gojo was repulsive. Oh, okay. A high schooler can get be over ugly. it. A high schooler can well, be ugly, bro. It, what, what, what that mean? What that got to do with I, anything? I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna refrain you, from. You said you said no Gojo, <laughs> no ugly Gojo panel. I pulled one when, up when he's of age, of age, uh, of uh, age. Look, Gojo. Uh, backtrack, backtrack, yeah. backtrack, backtrack, backtrack. He's move not ugly post, there anyway. Move the goal, he, goal post, move the goal he's post. just impersonating yeah, you're a rat. You're a rat. That's it. You're a rat. You're a rat. You know my love anime Toji. Pull up anime Toji. Oh no. <laughs> this is my Why stream, not? buddy. I'll do what I want. I'm pulling, I'm pulling it up is up. wild <laughs> that the woman has the least say in this one. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Toji. L. Oh. <laughs> Duh. Duh. <laughs> she's Duh. a monkey fan. Obviously, she's gonna like. She's gonna be biased towards the Zenny. Oh my God. You're L. <laughs> the chat seems to be uh, fifty-seven percent in Toji's favor, huh? That's interesting. That's interesting. That's who are all these people? <laughs> who are all these chatters, huh? People that are spitting. That's all I know. When you guys you agree know. with me, y'all are always y'all are always right. When y'all agree with me, for real. Um, yeah, bro. Yeah, I don't know. Log. I like Haruta's character design. Hmm. Uh, the rest is forgivable. Not... But <laughs> making me above Gojo, Haruta. please. Making me above. Okay, since you asked. I guess I got you. Yeah, I'll keep I'll keep him above Gojo. Since since Shad is clearly begging for Megumi me to be above Gojo, I know it was just one person, but you know they represent you all. Uh, Hello but, has been consistently giving out L takes the entire stream. Can we said, not put, listen to Hello? He said put Megumi me back. So since you said not to listen to him, I got you. We'll keep him here. Wait, what? <laughs> he said to put Megumi me back where he was in S tier, like below Gojo. But you said to not listen to him. So I, I won't. I'll keep him where he is. Nah, Megami needs to go back. Nah, bro. You don't agree with Hello. You, you already said he has L takes. <laughs> oh, I thought he said put Megami above Gojo, please. No. Nah. But oh, damn. The, the, the illiteracy whoops. the illiteracy coming to strike again. That's crazy. Reading comprehension devil. <laughs> um, yeah. Megami A tier. All right, Ben. Ben, Ben, Ben. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> fucking a tier okay i actually almost <laughs> accidentally banned you that's my that's my fault just uh just kind of for a quick one year let's move on till we get to ug oh uh, okay anybody any any anybody got thoughts on arame mid fair enough i came to that realization recently um <laughs> what does that mean i mean i thought he got arame, bamboozled i thought arame looked better than she did i guess i don't know then I like I, I I don't know I don't know how I fucking tricked myself into thinking that she was better looking, but that hairstyle it's like someone took a marker across her hair. All right, well, and just went crazy with it. <laughs> yeah, um, it's mm -hmm. Arame's fine. All right, next up, Uro. Uh, oh, Upsilon, thank you for the the two pounds thighs or biddies. Um, both with Uro. Ha ha! Good, that's a good mm -hmm. answer. That's a good answer. <laughs> the first one anyways black um, scalera yeah, yeah. So, so now now that now that we've gotten that out of your system now that we've gotten the scalera hating out of your system you agree that she's at least a tier right look i'll tell you what i like about earl okay. i like her pink hair okay think she has a nice figure mm -hmm. and i think she has a cool curse technique yep but those black scalera destroy all the compliments that i've give, given oh. her and just put her right in the garbage can she, she that doesn't look like a human humans don't humans do not have black sclera i mean there might be like some fringe cases but damn that looks very like alienating Donnie, i don't know Donnie, you can't you can't say that bro on bro. the cream team <laughs> don't shut up you're done you're fucking oh my god yikes bro. <laughs> Yeah, Earl's an L. I, what is attractive about Black Scalera? She just looks like an uh, un like an otherworldly thing. Uh, I mean, I was about to be out of pocket. I was about to be. I was about to say okay, and but uh, <laughs> I can't. I can't follow that up with what I want to follow that up with. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave it alone. She Loki is an out of this world thing. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I don't mess with that. Oh my god, Bro's boy. Sorry, Bro's vanilla. I'm sick. 
Tessero wish she looked more like Yuji? X Men, is that you projecting? Is that you? do you have something to confess, X Men? Bro, all I'm saying is, listen, please stop using the technique for just a second. Anyways, uh, let me get this off screen. Huh? The refined, <laughs> cursed energy manipulation that you have to have to keep on clothes at all times. Like, yeah. that's crazy. Unrefine it for me, Uro, please. Thank you. Um, like, she, she looks like a demon. Uro, is he? I'm sorry? <laughs> what? Y'all, I don't know what, what, what kind of chokehold choke this character's got everyone in. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it. I do. An icebreaker. Isn't that one of the name of her curse yeah, technique? I think so. Yeah. Names. Now, if she had normal Scalera, she she'd probably be be an S tier for me. Mm -hmm. But that that I'll I'll, that I'll, shit is I'll hard bring too. I'll bring her down to A tier. You know, but I can't go I can't go further than that. I can't go further than that. All right. Next up, Utahime. Utahime. What are we thinking? I I think Utahime is better than Arrow. I will. Oh. Right, I, I must, sorry. Um, I think okay. her scar is cute. Her scar is cute, but cute doesn't get you better than Uro. Yes, it does, because Uro ain't she ain't anything. She ain't cute. She ain't anything above cute. I, I, I'll say, I'll say, uh, I can, I can slide Utahime in A tier, right? I'm not mad at that. But above Uro, Utahime is like filler chapters are really cute. Like her. I don't know, like when she's shopping for makeup and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like she's cute then. I think when and she, she can put a fit together too. She can put a fit together. I think she was. Um, there's a chapter where like the 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 second years are like making ramen or some shit. They all get like side jobs. Oh, uh, I know. I remember this chapter. Shoko's in it. Anyways, um, Utahime pops up too. And I think I think her interaction is kind of cute. Um, but I think she's cool. Jesus. Okay. Um. Hold on. Gonna... Gigi's uh, uh, Liv Gigi's way strongs are back at it again. Um. But what? Nothing. Um. Yeah. Utahime is cool. Maki greater than Utahime. <laughs> that is like a one piece. Um. <laughs> kind of waste. Yeah. You know exactly what I mean. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Fucking. That belt is on. Goddamn tight. Um, like, where's her stomach even at? Yeah, um, I'm I'm cool with placing her in A tier. I like I like her. Um, okay, next up above Ur Uro, not happening. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's not going above Uro. Sorry. Um, okay. Uh, next up we have Yaga. What are we uh, what are we thinking for him? Dude, uh, Yaga's kind of kind of mid. Yeah, he's kind of just an oaf. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yaga is like I don't know. He's like everybody's dad. He's scary but fluffy. Mm. Fluffy. Why we not scary to Goku Ganji? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I think I think does anybody want him to be higher than C tier? Mid B B Yaga strong C C. Okay. Yaga is Ishigori, but like forty years older. Mm, no. What? I don't. That's an interesting. I'm seeing thing. a lot of C's. Okay, we'll keep it. We'll keep uh, it. What do you think of Yaga's haircut? Uh, it's like Hakari's gone wrong. <laughs> in my opinion. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm not feeling it. Uh, I don't. I don't. Cedric Gordon. <laughs> don't. Yaga got a better haircut wanna, than you. You want to get banned? <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. Nah. I mean, he's spitting though. Shut know. the hell <laughs> up, <laughs> bro. Listen. Um, Let's look at Megami's haircut. Okay. Since uh, the last time he's been a urchin. Yeah, like, oh god. You got bubble gum on his head, for real, bro. I'm sick. Who said that? You said that. <laughs> he got bubble gum on his head. <laughs> yeah, not. I don't. Yeah, bro. I don't know. I don't know who said that. It's crazy. Um. All right, you just, I don't know why he's here. I'm gonna put him in ugly. Um, wait, 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 wait. Uh oh, so, uh oh. What are you about pull up the picture I sent oh to you. Oh my god! I knew this was coming. Jesus. Y'all don't write him off yet. I'm. Just, Let's listen. look at Yuji's grandpa when he's a bit younger. Okay, buddy. About. Let's yeah. look at him. Come on. Okay. 
cool, cool, cool. Here if that's the case, then maybe maybe original Sukuna was like Jogo sized. Let's right. not think about that. Maybe he was. All right, y'all. Look, look, look at Grandpa Huge, <laughs> and tell me he's not he not kind of inspiring something in y'all. Inspiring something. Yeah, maybe like, maybe he maybe like an older Yuji, like quite literally. Yeah. Uh, do you want you want me to show the other comparison? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> not until you show me anime Toji. No, I'm. I was gonna show you the fucking Sukuna one. I thought that's what you were getting at. Oh no, I don't. I don't have to drop that bomb on on the chat mm, yet. Gotcha, no gotcha. one's ready for that. Mm, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> Somebody said. This is Sukuna coming out. I don't know what that means, but I think Yuji's grandpa <laughs> kind of fire. Um. Okay. All right. So. Where would you put him then? I'll, I'll I'll completely defer to you on this, just knowing that this is completely your pick. <laughs> um, I want to put Yuji's grandpa right right above Jogo. Oh hell no, <laughs> that's not happening at all. <laughs> yeah, he go he go and he'll go in C tier, buddy. Um, okay, so okay. next up we got Yuki. Um. Where where would we put Yuki, guys? Um, I already ranked Yuji, by the way. Just it was what? Stream, but um, where we put? <laughs> I, I just put Yuji in ugly as fuck. I know we all talked about it before stream. Yeah. Um. So no, bro. Fuck Yuki. We're not talking about Yuki <laughs> over Yuji. Um. What? Spin uh, the spin the record back. We're going to Yuji. Alrighty, alrighty. Tessero, what are your thoughts on Yuji? I think Yuji's cool factor. Ever since he's like uh, changed his ideology and, and you know got a little scars, his cool factor is just shooting through the roof. My UG stocks are high right now. All right, Tister, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you something, and this is this is really gonna see if you're plugged in. All right, this is really gonna see if you're fucking plugged in. Okay. Yeah. Does UG now, in how JJK currently looks, look as good as UG did in the Mahito fight? Does UG now? Mm -hmm. With the way JJK currently looks, mm -hmm. look as good as he did in the Mahito fight. Correct. In Shibuya? Uh, mm -hmm. I think he looks the same, but he just can't have the 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 demeanor of like looking down upon someone as he did with Mahito because he 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 just he shot on Mahito in the fight uh, as a result. But I don't know. He can't really shit on anyone in the calling game, so he doesn't really have the right to look like condescending towards them and like just know, superimposing man. shibuya yuji was different shibuya yuji he Rest that's his peace. best design like yeah. that's his best like Listen, um demeanor and everything hands yeah. down scar over the eye scar over the nose hair pushed up looking down like as he's like he's ready to kick some ass this yuji different easy s tier right no, 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 not even like, not even gonna joke about him not being an S tier, okay? But you already did that though. Not, not this <laughs> Yuji. I, that joke was about current Yuji. Um, oh, and, please, they're and, the same character. No, not quite. Let me, uh, let's see. Let, Bro let's has see. better drip than Toji. No explosive grape. He doesn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> it, yeah, you don't, don't lie. Like, you just, you just, <laughs> you just didn't tell the Toji truth. got. Got summoned into somebody else's body and pulled off the fit better. Like yeah. that's facts. Yuji got his his clothes picked out for him by Gojo. Like what? <laughs> um. Yeah. No, bro. No, 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 no. Just throw Yuji in S tier, bro. You gotta call you gotta, it a day. You gotta see the difference though. Yuji just doesn't. He just doesn't look the same. He's like. He's, what do you mean he doesn't look the same? Like he, he doesn't look pissed off? No, he doesn't look as cool. The scar he, moving he, is a tragic event. Can I say that? It's, it moved? Yeah, it mo it moves quite a bit on his face. I'm surprised you as a UG fanboy didn't notice this. Here. This is probably why, Here. why does that matter to me? The scar is still there. Yeah, because it's less cool where it's at now. Looks less cool. I also hate the scar on his mouth. It really bothers me. It why? So lame. It just looks like he just has food on his mouth that he won't wipe off. Is there, it doesn't look imp like as cool as it does. Usually, it's just like a like a slit, like he got cut by a, a sword or like a diamond or something. Here, it just kind of looks weird. Yeah. Wow, that scar moved 
I don't. I guess Gege forgot where he drew the scar or how big the scar n- n- like was initially. Mm-hmm. But damn, that does not look like the same scar. Yeah, it's hard for me to think that though because he never forgets any of Maki's scars. Well, maybe it's his healing really well. Yeah, I mean, it's fine that it heals well. Like, it's not saying that it can't do that. I'm not saying that it doesn't make sense. I'm saying that it looks worse. It's just not as cool to me. Wait, why don't you pull up his um what Yuji looks like when he's talking to Hikari after eating all his punches? Okay. Uh, let's let's pull him up. I also sent one hmm. that uh should not be neglected. It's like the same pose that he has against the Grasshopper cur- Curse, but cooler against Higuruma. Really? This this UD doesn't yeah, UD, in the Grasshopper Curse fight? I don't know. UD's just a fucking go. I don't care what you say. <sighs> and yeah, his scar is definitely moving. Or it's healing or something. Yeah, I don't know. Not a fan of the moving, but I'll say peak UG is S tier pretty easily. Um, let's see. And you wanted to pull up him in the Hakari fight. I got you. Let me grab let me grab it for you right now. There we go. Reverse curse technique. No, probably not. <laughs> probably just a natural healing factor with Sukuna inside of him. Yeah. Should be scar is better. But yeah, um, so here's what Yuji looks like in the Hakari fight. There we go. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, uh, a little bit different. Some minor. But he ate that. <laughs> he ate that punch. Or whatever that was. That's not even a punch. Ate mm. it, though. That's a haymaker. Yeah, I don't know, bro. Bro mushed his face in. I'm sick. Um. Anyways. Yeah, I'll put Eugene S tier. Um, Wait. I think you might have to uh, consider what Upsilon, mm. Upsilon just said. Ooh, Upsilon, thank you for the eight pounds. Eugene's top of B. Well, I guess Eugene's top of B. Um... No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, thank you for the eight dollars, eight pounds. I don't know why you put Yuji above Gojo. What are you doing? Oh, uh, do you not? Oh, do you not agree? Got you. Let me put that. Let me put them above there. Sorry, I just thought you thought they were a little bit closer in terms of design. Um, Who? Uh, Yuji, <laughs> Yuji and Megumi I, I, I are close in design. I, I, I they didn't, are close in design. I, I didn't know you thought there was an entire character that stood between them, but you know that's okay. There isn't. There's <laughs> not. <laughs> oh well, I mean, okay. So is Yuji above Gojo or not? Yuji, as well as Megumi, <laughs> neither one of them are above Gojo. <laughs> L. No, not quite. Not quite. Not quite. Um, Whatever, just get to the next to the next lame sorcerer. I don't even care about this next character. Alrighty, Yuki Tsukumo. <laughs> uh, remember, character design. You don't have to. You don't have to be disappointed. It's character design. I'm disappointed in that too. <sighs> Damn, Ooh. Jesus. We get like a whole runway out of her. She switches fits like what six times with Tengen before they finally fight. Yeah, Yuki. Tsukumo. Wait. Well, you know what? I'll say whenever she's um. She she's like um sitting next to Chosa on the bar. She looks real good there. But her normal hairstyle, that ain't it. That ain't it, she. But her fits are always nice. She she does know how to dress. I'll say that much. Hmm. But she's kind of mid. Really, I, you think I, you think Yuki pulls off like the refined sort of look? Re- well, I don't know. When her hair is up, yeah. If she's not talking, she just looks. <laughs> oh my god! Like, Bro said as long she She's kind of like brutish, like kind of savage okay. with it. She kind of just gives off like that fierce tiger vibe. Yeah. Like Kenjaku said. And that doesn't match with like that refined, I'm sitting in a bar drinking scotch kind of, you know? Yeah. But bro, bro said, as long as you can eat talking, she's kind of hot. I'm like, that's, that's funny. <laughs> that um, sounds really bad. That's not what I. <laughs> that's no, not how I meant it. Bro channeled his inner now. He said, if you just shut your mouth, oh, damn, you know, you look all right. It's like, okay. Oh, crazy. God, calling me a top G. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Where would you put, where would you put Peak Yuki then? Peak Yuki's character design. Peak Yuki? Mm-hmm. Tesro is dingy. I don't Bro know what you that dirty, means. You grimy, but... you dumb. That's insane. Yeah, okay. Oh, man. The last I'm going to leave this to Liv. Liv. No, don't do that. I am trying to hold back agreeing with you right now. <laughs> um. Okay, fine. Um. Well, let's see. Let me be on. Let me be a little honest. And chat, you're just going to have to go kick some rocks. <laughs> y- Yuki belongs in C tier. I just said it. Even below okay. Earl the Demon. 
Here's the thing, though. We understand that most of that judgment is biased. So I feel like I kind of have a lot of Yuki's outfits. And I can't get mad at any of them. But they are best worn with her mouth shut. Now, hear me out. Sus. Had she shut her mouth <laughs> and let Tengen talk about something instead of, like, cussing Tengen out and talking about what ifs and coulda, woulda, shouldas and, like, slamming boiling water, then maybe she would have learned something about the past or, I don't know, like, what Tengen's hiding. Anyway, am I in the Twilight Zone right now? What's going on? Op G Lib. I do really like the Malibu Barbie uh poolside outfit best. The side pony. Uh, you Harvey really like worthy. the side pony, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's been hitting lately. I even did a little like drawing of Maki with one, but she don't do it. It it doesn't work there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Wait, Maki is a side pony at any point in time. Uh, she has. A reaction panel to Miwa to where it, yeah, you can kind of make it a side pony if you want to. Yeah. Um, but it's also like Chibi Maki, kind of. Got you, got you, got you. Yeah. Yuki and S tier is absolutely insane behavior. I'm not going to lie to you. I can get behind Yuki being better than what these two are saying. Um, because oh my really, gosh. I, I do think I can get behind it. Because C tier, I think, is wild. And. Yuki's best being. I when think she's, she's S tier, like fit wise, like character design wise. Jesus. Yeah. I don't know about that. But her uh, fits are nice. I could put her in I could I could I could spring for an A tier personally. And like I put her over Itahime. I wouldn't put her over Uro though. And if I'm putting Uro in A tier, I don't know if I can put Yuki in, in S tier design wise. Uro's in the high Pool bar. Poolside Yuki is cute. Poolside Yuki's cool. Um but S tier though, like you got to go beyond for S tier. You think she goes beyond with that? I feel like you can't drive a motorcycle if you aren't S tier. I feel like you can't get done in in three chapters if you are S tier. <laughs> There's all kinds of S tiers. Some uh, of them have one off techniques, Kashimo. Hold on. Is someone with a Naya profile picture disagreeing with one of my takes? Liv, can you <laughs> handle this? Um... Yeah. Yo, can you repeat that? <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Yuki and A. I can do. Shoko that. looks dead. Damn. Exactly. Oh. No, I'm not. I sure. mean, like it. It fits the character. Shoko looks tired, and I can get behind that. Shoko works with the dead. Takes one to no one. That I mean, Shoko's just a hard worker. Like, come on. Um, yeah. Anyways, A tier. Uh, I'm going to rank Zumbacus before we get to the last one. What do, what do we think about this guy? Ugly? Or why, where is this I? Guy? Yeah, the Zumba curse. The Zumba curse. Um, yeah, he's pretty ugly. Yeah. 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 Bottom of bleh. Alrighty. Cool. There we go. Finally. We have Yuta Okotsu. Top of S. Damn. Damn. <laughs> so above Toji? Yep. I'm not with that. I'm not with that. <laughs> I'm not with that. I'm not, I'm I'm not, not with that either. I'm not with you. Yuta top of... Explain yourself. Uh, Well, would you put Naoya above Yuta? Tessera? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I sure yeah? would. I sure would, yeah. No, you wouldn't. What do you mean? He throws his hands up as soon as Yuta shows up. Look, I, we're not talking about Naoya's ability to fight. But I, in terms of design, sorry, Yuta's lacking. Like, there's some panels where Yuta's hair looks so greasy and disgusting. He's a hard worker. <laughs> Put the bags <laughs> under his eyes are for too. Yeah, <laughs> Um, yeah, but y y Yuta can he he I think he's an easy A tier. Okay. I could I the panel the panel after Rika equips his arm 
I have never seen a character pull off Hunchback before, but that's it. Wait, what panel? It's like after Rika, he like, you know, puts his arm in the Rika closet. She straps on the arm thing that he's using in the Uro versus Ishigori fight. Hmm. I and he's like, I don't know, like Iron Man adjusting it <laughs> oh, or like shrugging it on or something. I don't really know what he's doing. But full hunchback, and it looks cool. Okay, so... God! Yeah. What's going on with his back? <laughs> it's the weight of the world. That's what the weight of the world does. So weight of be, the world. So I'm going to be honest, right? I'm going to be honest. I, I thought about it. Initially, S tier, S tier... Well, top of S tier, I think, is still, is still out, of, out of what I'm able to, uh, to get. But I was thinking about it. That now your question had me thinking. I was like, okay, yeah, sure. Now he's like hot or whatever, attractive, whatever. But Yuta's, Yuta's character design, like even though he's like an ugly, creepy little motherfucker, it's cool <laughs> though. Like, yeah, sure. If Yuta showed up in my house, I would like pull out a flamethrower and try to like take it out. But that doesn't mean his design doesn't work. I mean, Yuta is in in series a creepy, ominous, sometimes like childish looking person right like i don't know i think his character design is really cool in spite that's of him. not good no that's not better than like the pretty boy now you ah i gotta disagree bro i gotta disagree i i so like i'm not top of s because above toji i think is it's something right <laughs> but but i'm also probably putting him over now yeah you to just wait, wait. once is also really good yeah Pull pull up pull up the cover art for now, yeah. Okay. Cause I I don't know I guess people forgot since he's <laughs> dead and gone like what he actually looks like. Let's see. Boy. Now he's so boring. Who asked you, Donnie Darko? <laughs> you were asking how you feel about Naya being boring or not. <laughs> yeah. You just you just. Hold on. All right, chat. You can you can give a look at now. Now he's cool. You took out a base. You does. I don't know about look at the way prodigy at panel. His just this once panel. W Riz. <laughs> w Riz is insane, bro. Now, he, okay, Jesus. Um, you're talking about Zenny men licking their lips. I mean, there you go. Yeah, but okay, you're comparing Toji to Naya. Do you want to play that game? No, I'm just yeah. saying they're both doing the same action. They're both zenning men. It, it di First of all, Toji was a Fushiguro when he did that, all right? It's different. Second of all, Toji's Toji. <laughs> He's clearly also different. Uh, anyways, Yuta's cooler. Yuta's cooler. Like, once again, creepy little weirdo. Mm -hmm. Um, If I, like, if he was, like, a monster under my bed at night, I would have to evacuate the entire neighborhood. However, I think his design is still cool. We've already established... That you know, cool designs can exist with ugly motherfuckers. Um, let's see. Look at that presence. Look at that. Uh, let's see. It's... Yeah, yeah. I think I think I'll, I think I'd put him, and I and I may move Naya down a little bit to like low edge. Naya looks like Phineas, like Phineas and Ferb. Phineas. Yeah, that's actual delusion. What does that mean? He... <laughs> Yuta has, Yuta no, has fashion. no fashion. He's in a school uniform. <laughs> yeah. Bro said his pants are too low for me. Jesus. What is that? <laughs> what? Now you looks like doofenshmirtz in the face. Donnie Darko, you just want to spite me. You're being <laughs> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You just, you just dope. I'll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Let's see. I'm gonna put Yuta. We're gonna put Yuta here. I think I can. I think I can. I can swing that one. Yuta has one fit. Oh, How many fits does now you have? <laughs> like what? Uh, I don't know, man. Yuta a pedo. We're we're steering mm -hmm. away from this conversation. Jesus. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Now he has two fits. Didn't he just pull up in his like fucking clan robes and then die? I thought that was just that was all he did. Um, <laughs> I don't remember multiple fits from him to be honest with you. Yeah, I don't know. You to better. You to better. You to better. You to better. And who? No, yeah. Hmm. Mm. You know I'm right. Can we address Megami? I don't know, Mister 
Ginger, I'm not sure if you watch Ronan's content, but he's very, very biased for <laughs> Mega Me. But when's the last time I was biased towards Mega Me in a video? Yeah, I, I said content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That includes like, streams, goofy. Bro, listen, I'm never, I'm never even biased towards Mega Me. Like, if he just is the best, what do you want me to do? Like, lie? I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Um, if you want. What am I talking about? What? Now he has zesty for misogynist. Do you think Wildwoods? Do you think? Do you think <clears throat> Andrew Tate is kind of chatty? Like, do you think he? Oh he, Jesus! He's like a very good representation of misogyny. Could represent this fucking Andrew Tate? His character design is very symbolic of what it, it means to be a misogynist. Like, <laughs> what? What are we doing? Why are you touching um, Yuji, bro? What are you doing? Why are you I'm, grabbing Yuji? <laughs> If I'm moving Megami down, I'm sure it's all moving Yuji down. For the love of God, put Angel in S tier. Jesus, man. Get a grip. Stand up. Okay. <laughs> Bro said Angel in S tier. Splash some cold water on your face. Reevaluate. Um, They're begging. They're on their knees. <laughs> Damn. Reevaluate, man. Reevaluate. Yuki is S tier. Incorrect. Um, Megami is fodder. What does that have to do with him being goaded? What what the fuck? Oof. No no correlation on that one. Is Jogo higher than B yet? Yeah, I'll move him up for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um Congratulations on the growth spurt. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Your name one Where's Maki? I'm moving it down a tier. I'm moving both Maki's down a tier. Hold on. Give me a second. It doesn't matter. Absolute zero is absolute zero. You're right. Absolute zero <laughs> on the list. You spit in. Get him get down there. Um Megami should be legally forced to get a fade every two weeks. Jesus Christ, Damn. man. Um I'll be kind of funny, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um Cedric Gordon, uh thank you for the two dollars. UG above Megami for his fit on the one sixty eight cover. Bro, I'm gonna show y'all what he's talking about. There's no way. The There's no. You don't even need to point out a specific point. Yuji's just always above Megami. It's always incorrect. Is. Incorrect. The one time where like you have a, a a good a good comparison, um, like where UG is just he just is in a better like uh, design version is is only in the when you compare volume one to volume two. Megami's on the. Second volume and Yuji's on the first. That's the only time you can compare them and Yuji looks better. Because cause I'm going to be honest, right? I'm going to be real. Gege fumbled on that cover, to be honest with you. But every other time, Megami me come out swinging. Um, and, dude, can we talk? Okay, never mind. Um, listen, I'm not going to talk about I'm not he was talking about? Yeah, it is. I'm not going to talk about the fact that Yuji's hair uh, looks dusty as fuck. I'm going to leave that alone, all right? I agree. He's in, he's in S tier. It's okay. Bro, you're a Megami fan. That dude never puts a brush, a comb, no, anything bro. in his hair. That's I'm not even hair. That. That's not hair. hair color, bro. That's that's dusty. That's dirt. That's grime. That's dandruff in his hair right now, bro. That's crazy. Oh, hell. <laughs> dandruff. Yeah, listen, listen, listen. Megami's hair may be a little wild, right? But it, it's sheening. It's it, it's it's voluminous. Sheeny, sheeny with grease. Nah, bro. It's a creature. With it. Nah, bro. Yeah. His hair is its own living thing. Yuji's hair is brittle. <laughs> that shit, that shit's snapping off the oh. bone, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> nah. Yeah, nah. Anyways, um, Jesus, the stream has been a long one. Um, yeah, that's that's JJK characters ranked based on their appearance. Um, appreciate. Liv and Tessero, thank you guys for coming out here and, and ranking these guys with me. It would have been pretty interesting to do this on my own. So I thank you guys for coming out here with me. Um, shout out to both of y'all. Thanks for having and me. Shout out to us. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Yeah, shout out to you too, I guess. Thanks for having us. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> um, do a poll. Hell no. I'm not doing a poll with the possibility of Megami losing. What the fuck? Anyways, um, thank you Megami's guys. Megami's hair is one of his shikigami, by the way. That's definitely a thing. <laughs> Uh, uh, <clears throat> Megami is um, the goat thank you guys for coming out here uh, it was super fun nice long stream so hope you guys enjoyed hope everyone that came through has a nice rest of your Sunday and uh, I'll see you guys later peace mm -hmm. end ooh